If you're a weeb once, there is no leaving. Unbeweevable. Okay, so uh, this game got a patch, and it seems like now he holds his thing up instead of it being um, on his side, and uh, it didn't switch to windowed mode instead of full screen when I booted it up, so they fixed some problems. Maybe they fixed some of the typos too, not sure. But yeah, I got a patch. Okay, take stuff bird to guard, dead body on the boardwalk, call jam roll public library information. All right, so there's a bunch of shit that we need to do. All right, where are we? We're down here. I remember seeing the church as a boardwalk who went further to the left. I had a bottle of pills stuck in my hand forever after the patch, really. Looks like we avoided the, whatever bug that was. We did this last time, right? It was the lineup for the execution. Yes. Nothing new with Kim. Why hasn't he convinced Kim yet? Because that doesn't seem like something that, that Yusuke our cop would do. There's another trap. This is the trap Moral just set. Checking it over, he said, is just a technicality. But look around, the reeds by the abandoned campsite hiss and shake in the lazily falling rain. The later it gets, the colder remnants of the camp can still be seen in the sand. The fire that's gone out, you feel strange somehow. Reach for the trap. The trap is also full of panicked locusts. No sign of any cryptozoological beast inside. Another empty trap. The lieutenant takes a note more out of habit than duty. Let's keep going. The next one is the lucky one. How are you enjoying the cardio, lieutenant? I'm quite enjoying it myself. Again, I want to be absolute, want to make it absolutely clear that I don't really believe the phasmid exists, okay? Of course, noted. He looks at you incredulously as you place the trap back in the reeds. I like the word incredulous. Did Mandalore ask you to do anything for his video? Nope. The gothic one? I saw it, but I haven't watched it. Uh, I can't remember if we briefly spoke about gothic or, gothic or not. Last time I spoke to Mandalore was about Total Warhammer 2. Okay, we spoke to you. Okay, so I'm hoping at some point down here we loop back to a place where I've sinned before and I'm gonna go, oh, I know where we are. Hey, Pink Asparagus, how's it going? Oh, I know where we are. All right, nice. All right, so that's where we got the bird. Uh, let's talk to everyone that we missed last time. People are going to like this one, especially Q2. Especially. It's very, dare I say, it's very JoJo. Dare I say, not knowing anything about JoJo. What do you think, chat? Am I right? Not even remotely. Really? More like Death Note? What the hell is that? Do you think that the book collector is a funny way to say you are a communist because you don't know where the two real come from and so you don't understand the economy? <laughs> uh, was was that the book collector? I thought it was not one more door. Wompty Dompty Dom Center. There you go. Yeah, this is the communist one. Wompty Dompty communist. I isn't isn't Jojo the one with the hand in front of his face? Damn, Yusuke Stylin. Thank you, Q2. I can't believe you've kept this up. I can't believe it. I don't know how you've managed it. Let's shrink it down. We'll definitely do a, uh, a, a poll at the end of the playthrough to see which one people like the most. There you go. That's it there, right? It needs to be a little smaller, maybe? No, it was better the way it was before. There we go. There we go. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, it could be a little better. That's, a, that's okay. That's okay. Wow, my chair is even squeakier than usual today. Squeaky, squeaky chair. The scruffy-haired little boy kicks a stone. He can't be more than five years old. Other twin. Was there someone in the house I've forgotten about? Was that Lillian? The other one looks indistinguishable from him. He watches his brother kick the stone. Uh, with his tongue lolling out of his mouth. Hey, where's your mom? Is your is little Lily your sister? Point to the house. Okay, yeah. Yes. 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 That's it. You're being laconic about it. Okay. Yes. You guys look identical. The stone kicking one becomes frantic all of a sudden, as if that's something to be scared of. The obvious fact that you just stated. He looks just like me, the other one says. Yeah, I said that. The boy doesn't answer. His brother throws another rock. Both of their hair is covered in some kind of dirt. You're bad with kids, Lieutenant remarks with evident glee. Damn, Kim's coming out of his shell. And what are you, Kid Master General? Maybe I am, he grins. Now how about some actual police work? We're not getting anything out of here. Hey, where is your mom? The kids don't reply, absorbed in their little game. Alright, see you kids. 
I like Kim. Kim is best boy. Is Kim better than Yusuke? Dare we dare we yes. even go there? Hi, Jakayla. A 37 man clad in a two piece Lycra TM tracksuit. Is that like the new Adidas? Puts down his Pilsner and extends his hand in greeting. Good to see ya. How's business? How's the old reality situation treating ya? Shake his hand. So what's happening? He picks up his beer. Wait, tequila. Yeah, tequila sunset. He takes How a are the um, high concept reality based adventures proceeding? He says it like it's obviously your name, like you call someone Billy Brun Brunel or leader of the 4th Street Gang. Success. Good, these people know your true name. Looks like it has preceded you, Mr. Sunset. More on that later. Not too hot. I'm on a 50-year losing streak. Reality, it makes me aggressively sad. Don't know. People tell me I'm a cop. I'm getting used to that. I have re-entered reality to conquer it, to bend it to my will. I am the law. Uh, three. It's good to hear you on top of things. Talking about the use. Did you know that I used to be a real mover and shaker? He thoughtfully picks at, the, at his shit-stained liquor TM jacket. Sadly, things ain't going that well in idiot Doom Spiral Land. Haven't found those keys yet. Haven't won that great piece of arse back. No word from my business buddies. He takes a sip from his beer. Idiot Doom Spiral, huh? This is bound to be good. High concept conversation at last. What do you guys do around here? We are saving the world. He looks at his comrades. Please, please don't call. Don't call. Don't call. Begs the man in the pipe. Okay, what? We're drinking. We're drinking alcohol. That's what we're doing. I tried to save the world once a long time ago with enterprise, creativity, and willpower, but that didn't work out. So it's a pirate's life for me. What is Tequila Sunset? You keep saying it. It's you. You're Tequila Sunset. How do you know this? We've met before. Don't you remember? Oh, nice. Nice. Nope, you sure don't. No. Aha, he takes a sip from his beer. Do you want to know how Tequila Sunset came to be? Tequila, Tequila Sunset. Something ominous there. For some reason, the name Tequila fills me with foreboding. Maybe I shouldn't learn what it means. You think you feel bad now? Wait till you've heard the story. No, no, you don't. You you need the wisdom. Go ahead. All right, time to, time to take a, a morale hit. Mm -hmm. Let me take a bit. Let me take a sip. Uh, to moisten up my cords, he takes a big sip, then begins. Tequila Sunset rolled into Martinez last Friday, and by te Tequila Sunset, I mean you, the man, the myth, the lore. Wait, did we meet on Friday? Hey, let's not jump ahead. Do we, did I did I do that on mainstream yet, or was it just Q and A? Did I tell you the guys the awesome Mandalore, the the awesome Mandalore merch idea that I had? Did I show you? Did I show you guys that? Wow, my chair is squeaking like crazy. And then I and then I sent it to Shammy, and he didn't like it. <laughs> The t-shirt, I think you did. Did I? Did, it wasn't mainstream. Was it really? Did I do it on Tuesday? Did I really? Do it again. All right. All right. Do it again. All right. So, you know this kind of shirt? Everyone knows this kind of shirt, right? The man, the legend, right? Everyone knows this shirt, right? Okay. All right. So, how about instead? Eh? Right? That's good, isn't it? Isn't that good? That's amazing. I would wear that. <laughs> uh, you would outside. Of course, I would wear that outside, under a sweater. Sure, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, of course. Hey, let's not jump ahead of ourselves. This is your story. Stop interrupting. He takes another sip, then continues. You got here on Friday to solve a case, hoping to be the early bird who gets the worm. And by the worm, I mean the buzz, because as far as I know, all you did was get pissed drunk. Word on the street is that you went around the local hostel telling people that you're a police officer and that it would be really fucked up if you shot yourself in the head right in front of them. So we, we have a history of doing that. <laughs> We've died twice like that, haven't we? That's pretty high concept if you ask me. It is. Your partner's brow is furrowed. He's listening as casually as he can. Please continue. Oh yeah, not the first time this comes up. Cough awkwardly. Hey man, I'm not judging. He waves the bottle towards you. This life's a valley of, of woes. Some of the highest concept people in history have killed themselves and been drunks. I mean, yeah, that's... Huh. Fuck. 
Oh, man. Either way, it was a late Sunday, Saturday night when uh, we, the union of moribund alcoholics, got our drink on. Nothing remarkable about this. We get our drink on 24-7. Makes everything warm and glowy. I trust you know the feeling. One moment we hear the sound of a motor carriage revving up somewhere on the plaza, followed by a series of dings and bangs. Do you remember the sound of wood crack cracking? The billboard? Naturally, loud noises peak, our, peak the interest of anybody owning a pair of ears. That's just the reality we're in. Naturally. Anyway, there was a brief silence, a gasp of silence, if you will, followed by a real commotion. We heard the carriage careening towards the coast at top speed. It sounded like someone jumped the canal. We grabbed our brewskis, <laughs> I love the word brewskis, and rushed to the jetty. Never underestimate the speed of an alcoholic. What we saw was a sight to behold, a beat-up police carriage containing you right there on the beach. You revved the engine and screamed at the top of your lungs, The, ti the time hath come. The time hath come. So naturally, being the curious cat I am, I asked what time hath come, to which you replied, The time hath come for tequila sunset, the end of all things. Oh god, what happened next? Say nothing. The more digni It's more dignified that way. Every word I said was true. Tequila sunset will break the looms of reality. Oh god, what happened next? Your reality co contracted. You jammed the pedal, plowed right off the jetty, and, and through the ice. We ran towards the ice whilst you crawled your way out miraculously unhurt, covered in seaweed and shit, like some kind of sea monster. Orphan of cause. When we finally got there, you were sitting on the beach crying. You said that your badge and uniform were in the car. It was too late to get in there, though. The carriage had sunk too deep. I wonder what would happen if we had done this before we investigated the carriage. In this way, you and your motor carriage have a lot in common. Recognizing a brother in need, we offered our condolences and invited you to party with us, which you naturally agreed to. We asked about the whole Tequila Sunset thing, and you told us it was your name now, and insisted that we call you that from then on. Wait, so is Tequila Sunset an event or a name? Tequila Sunset, huh? Sounds pretty good. My real name is Harry. No, that's just what your mother called you. Your real name is Tequila Sunset. Just embrace it, brother. How long did we party for? Hours. It was an all-night drink-a-thon. Then at some point, I think it was Saturday, Sunday, Sunday morning. Wow, I got mixed up again. You got belligerent and wanted to talk about Revachalian women. How they're beautiful and also whores and so on. How one of them fucked you real bad. After a short while, you crossed the event horizon, looked sullen, got up and left without saying anything. Wow, that's quite a story. Yeah, I bet Tequila is a fucking legend around the precinct. You must be proud to work with it. <laughs> if only, if you only knew. <laughs> I really like this game. Did I tell you anything? Did I tell you anything specific about this person that fucked me? You were pretty vague about it, but you kept saying you got fucked real hard and that we've all been fucked too. Please don't open that door. No one's fucked me. I do the fucking around here. Abigail. Don't call me Abigail, says Abigail. It seemed pretty painful, to be honest with you. If I had to guess, I'd say you're still working through some shit. Did I mention losing anything else? Besides your gun and your badge, you said something about your hope. Your hope, or heart, or something. To be honest, the details are a little hazy. In retrospect, I guess you lost your motor carriage too. That's a big one. Anything about my colleagues? You told us that they were a bunch of fucking losers whose main interest was cramping your style. It's more like you were cramping theirs. No specifics, though. It was more about you that night. You were the star of the show. Did I say anything about the case? Yeah, you said it was no biggie and that you'd solve it in no time. He takes a strong, um, quaff or quaff? Quaff or quaff? I think it's quaff, isn't it? It's almost certainly quaff. It's quaff, right? Quaff. Yeah, it's quaff. All right. And that you didn't need anyone to do it. You're doing it solo now. A lot of cops go solo and hermit once they reach that level of alcoholism. It's not meant as a joke. He's sorry for the hermit cop. Did we talk about um, politics? No, not really. You talked about some sad churches and how everyone's just out to fuck you. Did you get a read on what kind of cop I was? You kept apologizing for being such a bad cop and for the damage you've inflicted on everyone around you. Aw, oh, damn, even back then we were a sorry cop. You also kept pausing to knock the heel of your hand against your temple saying, stupid, stupid, stupid. So is that is that determined on... Oh, that'd be interesting. If, if you were... If I was more like of an art cop, I wonder if that would have been art cop. Because we're a sorry cop, so that would be... We were sorry back then. That would be kind of a, uh, a clever way of uh, making your choices more in line with, with the kind of person we were before. What the fuck is this? That looks interesting. 
Is that like a beer dolly? I don't need to hear any more conclude. He nods. It's a hard thing for a man to confront his past. That's why I avoid mine at all costs. You seem like you're characterized by your storytelling ability. Want to tell me another one sometime? whoop de doo So now I'm a fucking storyteller, he says, slapping his knee. Right, why not? Better than a beach bum. Yes, want to tell me how you became idiot doom spiral? No, actually, I've heard enough stories for a lifetime. They S-U-C-K. Goodbye. Uh, one. It depends, really. Are you willing to help me out? You might get scammed here. I have a feeling this is going to cost me a lot. No, the reality of the situation requires a rather modest contribution, a little motivational package. So that this is how being on the other side of the barrel feels what you need booze did you already forget our party he taps his finger to his temple the thing i relayed to you earlier so have you got anything for good old idiot doom spiral a bottle for a story seems fair to me i've got some potent pilsner give it i've got some sweet commodore red give it um i think let's give him the potent pilsner not much, but it'll do. He grabs the bottle from your hands, hand and uncorks it immediately. Before you can start, one of the other bum one of the other bums interjects. Hey, Spiral Boy, you gonna share that? Don't call don't call Abigail. Oh, not don't call me Abigail. Don't call Abigail. Don't call Abigail. Shut up, guys. I'm telling a story here. He turns to you. Something happened to you. Something happened to me too. My actual name is George, but around here you already know. George and Harry. I was once a reasonably high net worth individual, founder slash junior partner at a high concert creative services agency. When my story begins, I had just landed a major contract with an insurance firm. I used the I used the profits from my agency to finance what I called a cultural incubator, abstract value generation, value per person, high concept stuff. I developed the paradigm, worked with the paradigm, but the burden of leadership and weighed heavily on me weighed heavily on me, so I went jogging every so often to keep myself sane. Wait, how many people did you have working for you? 22 full-time employees, an all-star team, a potentially historic set of individuals worrying about them often kept me up well into the morning hours. Did the jogging help? It did. With my trusty Sansarik tracksuit, I felt like I could conquer the world. But now dreams are worn thin, much like my tracksuit, he says thoughtfully, brushing dust off his shit-stained pants. What happened? One day I left on my evening run. As you may know, it's impossible to clear your head when you're distracted by the sound of keys jangling your pockets. This is true. He shakes the bottle and makes a ringing, ringing sound. His eyes are clouded, his dilated blood vessels encircling his irises like stinging brambles. <sighs> Good line. His eyes are your eyes. So I removed the key rank, specialized, and put the keys for the front gate on and the apartment into different pockets to stop the jangling, you see. At least that was the plan. I was halfway done with my usual lap when it started to rain. The reality the reality situation the reality situation became very wet very quickly. Eh, how wet are we talking exactly? Wet, okay? It was raining really hard. There's a trace of derision in his voice. Did you lose your keys and you're like, fuck it, I guess I'm a fucking drunk now? I made my way back home and discovered that I didn't have the key to the front gate. I'd mixed it with the key to the letterbox, which was useless. Wait. Naturally, the situation required me to climb over the gate, which I did. There was no climbing down because I slipped and landed on my ass. Ouch. Was that? I would have landed on my feet. I have I have feline reflexes. Ouch, indeed. Reality was looking rather grim just then. Me lying on my ass in the mud pit in the middle of a heavy shower. But when life knocked me down, I always got up. So I made my way across the yard, standing in front of my apartment door, fumbling with my pockets. I realized I'd also forgotten my apartment key. You've got to be shitting me. He turns his head toward the, towards the skies and says, I wish I were, Tequila. I wish I were. Instead of my apartment key, I'd taken the key to the office. So what happened next? I ran my neighbor's buzzers it was late most of them didn't even answer those who did assumed i was trying to sell them something and hung up before i could even explain the situation people are naturally wary of admin you see one moment someone chats you up five minutes later you brought a box of edible lingerie lingerie and a strap on what i don't begrudge them especially since i was known to be one of the best he pauses meaningfully heavy is the head that wears the crown just then I experienced a moment of clarity. I still had the key to my office. I could wait out the storm there. But when I reached my office, I remembered that I had asked one of my producers to change the locks that day. And since I hired only the best, he'd already done it and I couldn't get in. Anyway, long story short, life, life spiraled out of control. What? I haven't gotten to my apartment for years and my girlfriend left me because she didn't want to date a homeless man. The company, well, you see, I would... You see where I'm going with this. So now you've heard my tragic tale. What do you think? Like nothing you ever heard, huh? He takes a long swig of his drink. Wait, is that it? I feel like there's some steps missing. Yep. Tequila, I've thought about this series of events for a long time. If there was anything else to it, I would have thought of it by now. 
why didn't you go to the authorities? Well, at one point they came to me, but you know, I didn't have any ID on me, so they tossed me in jail for two days. I can't say it increased my faith in the RCM. No offense, gentlemen. He shakes his head. I'm almost homeless myself. Doesn't seem so bad. Look on the bright side. You've got one hell of a story. You do realize this is all your fault. I literally can't believe it. Me neither, Tequila. When I lost my keys, I lost more than, more than access to my apartment. I also lost my leverage over humanity. I wasn't a high concert creative director anymore. I was just some homeless asshole in a premium sans... Guess Licra TM tracksuit. You can't imagine what that does to a man's confidence. He turns his eyes to the bottle. Anyway, that was all the story one bottle gets you. That was all the story one bottle gets you. Okay, it's fine. I'm just reading it badly. Almost empty this one. Why do you keep losing all your stuff? Good fucking question, Tequila. If I knew the answer, you think I'd be hanging out on a beach in this formerly premium but now extremely dirty two piece Licra TM tracksuit? <laughs> I used it to own my uh, reality situation. My business buddies and I had our own creative services agency. I had a nice apartment and even nicer piece of ass, but somehow it all got away from me. Now I can't hang on to anything. Just last week, I stole this new nice jacket, but then I lost it too. The only things I haven't lost are these two drunks. You of all people should empathize with this. Perhaps this lost jacket is something you could help with. What was the name of your agency? My agency man, he takes a long melancholic sip. The Boom Boom Room. Our concept was combining high art with the lowest forms of marketing, the color red, breasts, and oil painting. I convinced my partners to reinvest some of our profits in an even more high concept cultural incubator called Thin Air. The artists were happy, the clients were happy. I was financing a group of poets in East Revachal who were developing a new universal poetic language, but then it all went to shit. He looks toward the bay. Sounds intriguing. What say you, art cop? If it sounds like it makes no sense, that's because it doesn't. The female isn't yours to objectify, not in art nor anywhere else. Mixing oil painting and breasts to make ads isn't high art. It's just cynical wankery. That's so high concept, I have no idea what it means. Man, mixing high and low, com commodifying culture, that is extremely my shit. Right, okay, never mind that I asked. Uh, art cop would be number two, right? For sure. Nothing is good enough for art cop. Well, you know, sex sells. That's the first rule of advertising. Maybe, but it's still tired. Yeah, actually, you're right. Let the market sort it out. No need for me to regulate this stuff. Maybe, but it's still tired. Maybe you're right. Who knows? Maybe we were, we were behind the curve. We were fucking rich, though. That much I know. What's up with the tracksuit? This is a red check? What, you never seen 100% liquor before? Go on, feel that primo, primo material. The man extends his arm. Why is this... Uh, okay. Good God, it's nearly impossible to describe how dirty this texture is. It's like rubbing two jellyfish skins together. You feel about 15% less human for having touched it. Randomized trials have also found Licra TM to be associated with a number of exotic, highly malignant cancers. So you also have to have that to look forward to. And then there's the smell. You don't even, but you don't even want to think about that. Pretty nice, huh? This might be one of the last of its kind. Should probably be in a museum, honestly. He takes another sip. Wow, you're lucky. He never lets me feel it. That's because your paws are fucking filthy, Rosie. We're right next to the bay. You could wash them anytime. What about the other drunks? My fellow members of the Union of Moribund Alcoholics are exactly what they look like. Hey, tequila, you want to buy some speed? Shut the fuck up, Rosemary. He's a cop, remember? I thought he was a cool cop. Don't call Abigail. And this is Abs. He points to the man in, in, th in the pipe. Oh, right. Uh, so, yeah. That's basically us. We drink together. What's this about the lost jacket tequila? It's a verifiable tragedy. It was practically brand new. Sure, it didn't really go with my liquor TM threads, but it did itch a lot less. He looks at you bleary-eyed. Say, you're a detective, right? Maybe you can help old Doom Spiral out. Solve the case of the missing jacket. What do you say, tequila? Wait, you're asking a police officer to help you find a, find a jacket you stole and then lost? Okay, sure. Where'd you lose it? If I'm... If I knew where I lost it, don't you think I'd have it? I mean, maybe I was up by the boardwalk or walking along the beach or checking out the abandoned fish market. Somewhere north of here, that's for sure. You could ask around, see if anyone's seen it. Let me ask you something else. Be seeing you. Okay, so I guess we can exchange booze for, for stories from him. Is there any other reason for booze? Well, we have th Oh, we have three skill points. Holy crap. Three skill points. So we can start replacing some thoughts if we don't really like them even. I wonder if anyone's gotten ev unlocked every single every single thought. The homosexual underground. Nice. All right. So, um, was there something we should check? Let me see if uh, if we can talk to these guys. 
Grumbles an unshaven man with a ruddy nose. He narrows his eyes at you as if in recognition. Then he turns his head away. The noxious odor emanating from the drunken man is strong and familiar. Cool though, you oh my I god, you can talk to all three of them? Okay, so how long is this conversation going to be? I, I like the, the, the pacing of that conversation, the one we just did. You know, there was some more stuff to talk about, but it was mostly direct. I wish there was more of that in, in the game. I feel like a lot of the conversations go on for a bit too long. But... I don't know, maybe that's because I'm reading it out loud. Don't you call her, you hear? Don't call Abigail. I am the law. Who is Abigail? Oh, Abigail. Don't you fucking call Abigail. He draws out a disgusting snort, then mumbles, waving a finger in your general direction. You're not going to get anything from this guy who's too drunk. Who are you? What's your name? His eyes move around erratically, the look in them hazy and unfocused. Don't call Abigail, he says. Where am I? What is this place? Man hiccups and mumbles something unintelligible. Why shouldn't I call Abigail? He snorts and beckons you to lean closer. Lean in. His breath smells harsh like a toxic swamp as he whispers to you, Don't call Abigail. Don't call Abigail. He then waves his hand as if showing you away. Hey, I'm on an important official investigation. I demand you answer my questions. There's no use in yelling at drunks. Lieutenant interjects. He's barely holding it together. The drunk man starts coughing. A really disgusting hacking cough. Tell me about your friends. He glares at you. Don't you fucking call her. Hear me? His voice trembles with every word becoming ever weaker. Abigail, he whispers in the in the end. Don't, don't. The man stammers. Don't call. Slowly his head falls nods off to the side and he passes out tongue dangling from his mouth there was a little chance there was a little chance he'd be a reliable witness anyway okay so if we had if we had talked to this guy first before he went and did the phone call and we spoke to that woman would we have been able to say is this abigail good to see you friend do i have deals set up for you buddy boy he spreads his arms as if wanting to embrace you what are you talking about F good to see you too friend i'm a police officer not your friend what are you talking about so what do you want i got smokes they're cheap very cheap I got Duh. Pilsner, great deal. You won't get a better deal on that piss. Spirits I can let go for 300 real. Also, I have speed. And by speed, I mean amphetamine. Ooh. Why is it so expensive? Amphetamine? I By amphetamine, I mean speed. <laughs> I think you didn't hear me when I said I'm a police officer. I thought by speed you meant amphetamine. Eyes, eyes what I said. Right, got it. Why does the bottle of spirits cost 300 real? See, friend, he brings out a, a one liter bottle with bluish liquid. The mouth is corked shut. It's real valuable. Worth every real if you catch my drift. Got it from a bit of a business venture. Nod, let him speak. No one can buy spirits for 300. Yeah, nod, let him speak. You know, it's funny, actually. He bursts out laughing and takes three gulps of his pills and stares at you intently. He's finding it difficult to focus his watery gaze. What is it? What? Keep him talking. What do you mean, what? What did you think was funny earlier? This guy, this guy, he says and shakes his index finger at you. Where'd you get the ball of spirits from? Oh, this is medicinal spirits. The good stuff got from the doctor's office. I got one of those scientific ampules a few months ago. Torpedo, they call it. It's supposed to keep a man from taking a drink. He spits a nasty yellow clot on the ground before you. Didn't stop me for shit, that's for sure. His voice rings with pride. Five lemons with half a pack of butter and you're good to go. That's a good tip. I should remember it. Well, it really isn't, he croaks. In a week, the goddamn kidney started giving me all kinds of hell. Finally, the missus took me to a private private doctor's office not a charity the real thing those assholes he gets visibly angry those assholes charged me four real to remove the damn thing but it came out on top after all assholes but the idiots left me alone in there now i used to teach high school biology what i know that what doctors use to preserve dead thingies he gets an excited gleam in his eyes so i have three cans of this blue medicinal stuff from the back room threw the snakes out and voila what's left is this beautiful blue stuff he he shakes the bottle. 98.7% almost pure alcohol. Two I already sold to these fine gentlemen here. He nods at his companions, but this last one is yours for three real if you want it. <laughs> I thought it was 300 real. Can I smell it first? I think it will prove useful. Yes, yeah, three real and it's yours, friend. The deal of a lifetime. Nice. That makes much more that makes much more reasonable price. That's a much more reasonable price right there. It makes sense now. Fucking hell. Like smashing those two together. So so bad. Alright, let's take it. He hands you the bottle. Just make sure to enjoy that one, friend. If you drink this, then you will die. That's a fact. And that's why we're going to save you from yourself and store this as a sellable item. Go sell it at the pawn shop for profit. 
quick the business adventure you set up here. Oh, he gets a proud gleam in his eyes. The system's been good to old Rosemary here, and I'm milking her like a bitch goat in the backyard. Joe can't read. Joe, Joe is something close to dyslexic. I said it a few times on stream before. Not officially diagnosed, but I, I, my eyes smash lines together all the time, even when I'm not reading out loud. What do you mean? You see, friend, he raises his index finger. Man makes his own luck, and I made mine real good. Got my eyes on three bottles of liqueur ex exquise sold to uh, to the fellows around here and immediately invested the profit. Bought cigarettes, bought beer, even bought a bit of speed, and look at me now. I got everyone on my hook. He spreads his arms and smiles a crooked, toothless smile. The hook, where is it? I can't see it. Looks like you're on your own hook too. Impressive entrepreneurship. Point to his vice stand. I approve. Got a permit for this little shit show? Um, number one. Of course, of course, of course. The drunk raises his pilsner and nods. It is it is what it is, you know. What it's always been. People, buddy boy, it's the people. Damn. So we could we could probably like buy things from him and then sell it to uh to tracksuit guy for stories. I'm off. In the civilized world, it's a custom to tip the shopkeep friend, but come back anyway, he waves you off. Alright. So how much is this worth? Eight real. Ah, oh, damn. The liquid has an unearthly blue tint, the kind that might or might not. The kind that might or might not, but definitely does glow in the dark. Oh, okay, this is ninety-eight um, common instead of decimal. Nice seven pure alcohol. Keep it away from an open flame. I know some places do that instead of uh, instead of decimals. I prefer decimals to comma commas for that. Mm -hmm. The old woman next to a bucket of clothes hums an odd melody. Her eyes are closed. Nice. You're not sure about the melody, but it might be South Samara and possibly Sigayan, also known as the Apricot Suzerainty. Welcome to the fishing village. She opens her Please eyes. Lean in closer. I have cataracts. Lean forward. Oh, welcome, police officer. We don't cause any trouble around here, and we don't want any trouble either. We are not here to cause any trouble, madame. What he said, we're cops who don't cause trouble. We're take, we take care of the trouble. We're cops, we're hellraisers. Click, click, bang, bang, number one. Oh, of course. Last time we saw you around here was 12 years ago. You also came to take care of trouble then, which you did. But still, in Martinez, you're considered an ill omen. Wait, I've been here before. What kind of ill omen are we talking about? I am an ill omen, all right. If I'm considered an ill omen, why hasn't anyone told me that? Wait, no, before? not you personally. I meant the RCM. Some of the men got into a fight. One of them killed another. Lock himself in that woodshed over there. Oh, wait, what? He was brooding, needed some help opening the door. You got it open for him and took him to think about what he'd done in a more secluded place. Somewhere more quiet. She says it as if he was on some kind of spiritual retreat. What kind of ill are we talking about? Oh, the usual. Dark tidings. Black hound. That's you alright, a black hound licking your own heels. I'm an ill omen alright. If I'm considering an ill omen, why has anyone told me Maybe that? Maybe you're afraid. Why? Because you're an ill omen, but you're still welcome here, as long as men with guns aren't chasing you. And maybe even then, because that's the kind of fishing village we've built. I'm sorry there's not a lot of room to park your motor carriage, and not a lot of houses, or a lot of people. My kids are long gone, searching for treasure. So are others. Ah, look at me, Rambelon. What brings you to us? Hardcore, hardcore mode coming for Disco Elysium? What? Where could someone stay around here? What is this fishing village? What's further down the coast? Tell me about yourself. Who exactly are you here? Do you know anything about a lost jacket? Tell me about yourself. Me? No one. Just an old washerwoman. Mother called me Isabel, if that's what you're asking. And my married name is Sadie. Now it's your turn, mister. Uh, call me Harry. Lieutenant Double Yefriter Harrier Dubois. You can call me Tequila Sunset. Uh, call me Harry. Why, I guess I will, Harry. Uh, I just rolls off the tongue. I used to know a Harry, strong lad, but dumb as a rock. What happened to him? He did too many narcotics. So many he fell off his boat and split his skull on a boy. He ru She rubbed soap off her hands. Folks who saw it say his head cracked open like a melon. Nasty, nasty. What are you guys talking about? Disco Elysium. Hardcore. 
Ich mal raus. Disco Elysium adds hardcore mode and widescreen support. Oh, okay, it, it, it makes some gameplay changes. I'm not gonna read them out, just in case no one wants to be spoiled on it, but okay. Yeah, it makes some gameplay changes. Interesting. Work is someone stay around here. Stay, most people here are trying to leave. That said, if lodgings is what you're looking for, I've got a free room in the shack. Her soapy thumbs. Her soapy thumb points to the building behind her. How much is it? I won't charge you for it. Take it as a gesture of goodwill from the village to the RCM. Wait. Hold on, you're just giving it to me? I'm not sure it's appropriate for the RCM to accept free accommodations. There's this guy, Gart, who makes me give him money every night just so I don't die out in the cold. <laughs> Hold on, you're just giving it to me? No one is using it, and God knows it's not much money. She tilts her head to the side, pondering or something. You can stay there. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, I'm Actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, let's go for it. The old one shrugs or don't. It's your choice. No skin off my teeth. Wait, why is anyone using that room? My kids grew up and left like they do. The house is long empty now. I live in the small side attachment. It's easier and cheaper to keep warm. One more time. I can just have the room. I, she nods and looks at the shack. The room is pretty bare bones, but it's got a bed and a roof over it. That's more than some folks have around here. When Vasan, communist revolutionary Ignis Nielsen was in hiding, he stayed in a hut in the Boreal Plateau for 10 months. Is this what is known as a communist landlord? Don't get me wrong, but bare bones isn't usually my style. Point at yourself. It would help me stay in touch with the proletariat. Nods, this could be the first chapter of my rag searches memoir. Now this is a real Ravishalian hospitality. That Gart must be half kipped or something. Whoa! Unfortunate that incremental development hasn't elevated this neighborhood yet. I see potential here. I don't need much. This sound Sounds just fine. Uh, sure, let's go number six. An uncomplicated man, she nods approvingly. I take it that means you're interested? You got yourself a tenant. Get keys to your new home. Sure. Don't make an old woman regret opening her house to the police. A key appears from under her apron. She hands it to you. Well, if you're not in the hostel in the morning, nowhere to find you. Looks like there's an eye missing there. He looks around and adds, here, in a shack. He's a little relieved you're no longer in that room. Should he? This environment encourages one thing and one thing only, drinking. What is in this fishing village? Ralph Cogs uses 100 bits to say, a man is being held at gunpoint. Give me all your money. Wait, you can't do this to me. I'm a politician. Well, in that case, give me back my money. Oh, damn. 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 Is this is this just like showing you how, like, are you venting because of the situation in Australia, Ralph Cogs? Is, is just all of Australia just going to rise up and just you know, Julius Caesar, the Prime Minister, for what's going on. I think it might be deserved, to be honest. I think it might be deserved. Holy shit. Uh, thank you, Sathian, for the two month three sub. Dune out this year. Yay. What? Dune? The movie Dune is out this year? Is it really? The the Dennis Villiar or whatever guy movie? Dune movie. Dune 2020, nice, nice. So Dennis Vill Villeneuve or whatever, however you say his name, um, is pretty hit or miss with me. Uh, I like some of his movies, but other ones I, I really don't like. I think mostly I like them though. What has he made? Okay, um, I saw Prisoners I liked, Enemy I absolutely hated. I liked the style of it, but I absolutely hated Enemy. Uh, Sicario was really good, Arrival was... Not as good, but was still good. Like, I enjoyed Arrival quite a bit, but Sicario was really, really good. Um, Blade Runner 20, 2049 was really good. I enjoyed that. Okay, so I guess I guess I've enjoyed most of his movies, apart from apart from Enemy. I wasn't really a fan of Enemy. Yeah, Pr Prisoner's good. Enemy, bad. Sekiro, really good. Arrival, really good. Blade Runner, really good. Dune, haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Just us. She sounds tired. It's barely a village anymore. We almost don't exist. What do you mean? This is pretty much a non-place. She grins a gap, a blank spot on the map, just a cluster of nameless shacks on a nameless street. The place is so pornographically poor, it's not even funny. This place is pornographically poor. Don't say that. There's got to be something here. Tell me, who else lives in this village? Is there a way to make a little money around here? Who else lives in this village? Well, there's Lillian and her kids. A few... Ooh, a few... Ooh, what? A few new folks live in the house to the east. She nods her head across the courtyard, but they're away right now. And then there's the drunks. She saw it's not a pretty sight, but there's little we can do about it. Home is home even for them. Oh yeah, I met a couple of drunks here. I'm sure you did. She says with a peculiar smile and nods, nature keeps them in rotation, a new face pops up every now and then, and an old one disappears and is forgotten. This is who we are. <gasps> Alright, I think, so we're going to use this. 
for the first ever Twitch integrated poll. I wanted to try that today, and here we go. Let's just pile on the interruptions. In case you don't know what a yaya, a yaya is, there you go, it's on the right. All right. Who is worst girl? Reset, Makoto, Himiko, Madoka, Ayaya. All right, so let's try the new Twitch integrated polls. I've never done one of these before, so we're gonna see how it goes. Can we, is that it? You can only have five? Five is max. Really? That seems kind of limited. Allow voting with bits. Okay, th that's so scummy. Subscriber votes count by two. Subscriber only. Wow. Holy shit. Wow. Really? Wow. Holy crap. All right, those are options. I'm not I'm not turning them on. I'm not turning them on. Allow voting with bits, no. Okay, so here we go. So start poll. So I don't know how this is gonna go. So let's see how it works, all right? It's in the top of the screen in chat or something. Who is worst girl? Oh, damn, look at that. Everyone can vote. I'm voting too. I'm doing my part. God, could you imagine voting with bits? All right. Okay, it seems like Himiko is going to take it for sure. I don't think this is coming back from this. Himiko officially worst girl. Nah. Suggesting Makoto worst girl. How could you? There's gotta be something here to tell me. She waves her hand southwest. Over there you can find more of the same shacks and trees growing wild. That's the pox. It's not working for you. Really, you can't see it? Maybe you have to full screen or pop out chat or something to be able to see it? I'm not sure. Who is worst girl in Persona 5? Probably, um, I can't remember her name. In, in the bar. Oh yeah, that's it, yeah, oh yeah. Haru, wow, Haru's best girl. What are you guys talking about? Between here and Jamrock, a dusty sea of old trees, all covered in industrial soot. Small houses under them. An overgrown park, the Pox. What's that? An old military hospital and its surroundings. It looks toward the buildings to the south, where it used to be during the time of the suzerain. After the war, it was turned into a goodwill hospital for shell-shocked shell veterans and folks looking for some quiet in the old sanatorium gardens. I can't wait to do Persona 5 Royal playthrough, man. I have, I have s such lofty ideas for that run. Oh, man. Oh, that's going to be fun. Oh, it's going to be so fun. Now the area is crisscrossed with nameless streets and makeshift center block hooses, shacks as far as the eye can see. What happened to the hospital? The good the goodwill ran out. She tightens the scarf around her neck. The staff left and the place was shut down. It's long gone by now. Is there any way to make a little money around here? Here for you? She lets out a dry, a dry chortle. No, officer. The only money we have here is some coins the drunks tried hiding from their women and then forgot about. This place is pornographically poor. Yeah, I'd say to her. The lack of wealth is one thing we got in abundance. The woman smiles cryptically. Oh, look, it shows up at winner, Himiko. Damn, that's the only trophy Himiko's ever going to get. Nice. Congrats, Himiko. Congrats. 48%. Riddles, the lieutenant marks dryly and looks around, fits with the general ambience here. I, her eyes grow wide. <laughs> Sometimes this is though I've uh, also gotten lost inside this nameless nothing. I'm lost too. Oh, her expression betrays curiosity. It seems to be a common theme these days. I'm in the process, I think I'm in the process of finding myself again. Maybe I should stay lost, just move here and disappear completely. I'd really rather go back to talking about the village. Let's go with number one. Isn't that what people always think when they're lost? A fleeting smirk runs across her lips. Something I can do to help. Something I can do to help find your way, officer? All right, it's not something I want to address. What's further down the coast? Not much. She replies and wipes her forehead. There's an abandoned church, the DeLorean Church of Humanity. It's been there since before my time even. Why is it abandoned? Some things just don't fly, officer. Make a girl cry? She smiles a gap-toothed smile and smells the air. Look around. Who'd go to church here? They built it 300 years ago. Must be ni have been nicer then. So they don't hold services there anymore. The Ecclesiates? Ecclesiates? Makoto, like, no, all memory aside, Makoto is, I think, a respectable choice from, from Persona 5. There are worse choices than Makoto. Definitely worse. And def way worse if we're if we're talking about all the anime games that we've ever played on stream, which is, like, I think, what, like, three? We've played, like, three anime games. That's it, right? You shit on her for 18 hours in your... Yeah, because I'm trolling the shit out of chat. And also, she was really obnoxious when she first showed up. No, <laughs> Disco Elysium is an anime game? No, it's not. Makoto does have a... 
<laughs> Isn't Makoto does have a bad start? Yeah, she does. Yusuke does too. Persona 3 has worse waifu. Really? Fortune Girl is worse girl in Persona? No, she's not. She's not worse than Oya. Come on. She's not worse than Kool-Aid Girl. Come on. No way. No way. Uh, thank you, Certs Plexiust, for the 100 bits. Vote Himiko Kappa. Damn, that's va that's voting with bits. Meta, you found a way. Lev Delov, also, vote with bits, Stanga. <laughs> no, they've tried, but things just keep happening. Crime, accidents, other things. The place never stays open. She frowns. It's a pity. It used to be such a nice church. She's not telling you all she knows. Keep her talking. I get the feeling you're leaving stuff out. What else is going on? Well, there's that music. Music from across the sea. She scoffs. It started a few days ago, and now it's blasting. Even though the nights, even through the night, sorry. And now suspicious-looking people are sneaking around the church. I don't like that. Interesting. You could look into this ruckus if you have time. What else is is on down? What else is on down coast? Huh? Before you get to the church, is some ruins, an apartment complex, or some kind of electrical plant run down, bunch of houses empty. Which is it then? Apartments or electrical plant? I don't know exactly. A pre-war place. It used to be something. She shrugs. Before the war. I wasn't here then, you know. I was born in Samara. Anything else of note? Of note, the old fish market up on the boardwalk, but it's closed. Who'd want to come to a fish market here? No one. That's why it's closed. Ha! <laughs> After a long pause, she adds, it was once a bustling place back when I was young, and so was everyone else. But now... I just added a but. Now, what... Now what catch, now what catch we do, bring in, go straight into a lorry for the delta or somewhere else. That's it. There's got to be more along the coast. What, you're one of those big real estate people with big plans? If you want a development opportunity, you can check out the abandoned building over at Land's End. Used to be a supply depot, we think. Sending goods and ammo across the bay. It's jammed shut, though. We tried to get in, see if see if there was anything to sell scavenge. It's impossible. Yeah, we know. We tried for an hour. She drops a bar of soap into the bucket with a splash. And now you know everything there is to know about this coast. Do you know anything about a lost jacket? What do you want with a lost jacket? That's an excellent question, ma'am. That's for me to know and for you to find out. Wink at her. <laughs> <laughs> There's honor in retrieving lost things. One of the drunks lost his and I agreed to look for it. Yes, yeah, let's be honest. He probably pawned it for booze and then forgot about it. You know how drunk men are. Are you getting a reward for this at least? No. What? You're fetching someone's missing laundry free of charge? You don't have anything better to do? In fact, he does. Lieutenant glances at his watch. None of my business either way. How you spend your hours is up to you. Anyhow, you might ask Lillian if she's seen anything lately. That girl's got a way of attracting lost and broken things. Goodbye, I'm off. Alright, let's go and see our our new place to sleep. Unlock. I'll wait outside to give you some time and privacy to check out your new living arrangement, but just so you'd know. You'd know. After we're done with the day, I'll still be staying in the Whirling and Rags tonight. We'll meet in front of the shack in the morning. The key turns with a satisfying click. You can enter the shack now. Alright. Is there going to be some stuff in here we can loot? Yeah, that sentence is fine. Is it really? I, I, it didn't, it didn't seem right to me. Can we scroll up and see it again? You see the waves, the, the see the church. It seems like there's a word missing. The floorboards creak under your step. Old science fiction magazines, books about bird watching, an almanac from thirty nine. This intricate heat engine hums quietly, giving out pleasant warmth. Using a thermodynamic expander condenser cycle, nice. A brisk coastal wind still howls against the window of the shack. Occasionally, the waves crawl in under the foundation, producing a low hum. Listen. The room feels muffled, like you pulled your hat over your ears. Outside, it is cold and windy, but you're inside, and it feels safe and warm. This is cozy. What is this place to you? My new hangout, where I could silently sit, drink, and die while looking at the waves roll in. My forward base for the coastal part of the operation. It's free. That's good enough. I could live here. Looks like this is my new home. Wonder where the old one went. Uh, number one. Behind the half-built cinder block house at the other end of the village, there are three people drinking. Your new crew. You don't need the old crew. Oh no. You have a new crew to get drunk with. You already were a part of their crew once. You can get drunk with them again. You're probably going to hang out there a lot behind that cinder block house. It's where you belong. Thank you, strange sensation, for a fair assessment of the current situation. No, wait. I changed my mind. I want to choose again. There is no going back. Outside, the, whole, the howl of the wind has picked up. The waves crash against the the stilts again it's as if you think the thought but in someone else's voice look under the floorboards okay how do i do that there's nothing to interact with i would like to look under the floorboards is that a razor on the table you see a bowl of water a rough a rough soap and next to it a small hand mirror a straight razor soaks inside the wash basin oh no 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and this could go so horribly wrong. Is the shaving the right call? Oh no. The water reflects back a vague image of your face. Nose bulbous and, and red. Hair unkempt, unkempt wrinkles lining the eyes and forehead. The stash is gigantic. Like an artist with a, with a brush or a master swordsman, use the small mirror and straight and a straight razor with some soap to remove all the unkempt hair from below the nose line. The sharp blade chafes against your skin, producing a scratching sound. The surface underneath the beard feels tender. The air brushing against it chilly. Feel your clean-shaven cheeks. They feel so smooth, surprisingly so. A feeling of freshness uh, overcomes you as you, as if you came from a cold bath. All right, so you can't see it because Yusuke's here but it changed down in the bottom left. See? Was shaving the right call? The water reflects back a vague image of your clean-shaven face despite the bulbous nose, uncombed hair, and persistent swelling. You look a little younger, maybe? You almost look like a professional. Leave. An old mirror hangs in the, on the wall. You see your reflection in it, the expression fixed to a clean-shaven face. You're still not accustomed to it. Attempt to stop. Oh, plus one shaves. All right, is there any electro? Is there any electrochemistry upgrades we can find? Also, is there any perception things we can put on? Maybe that'll be how we get through the floorboards. Is there any negative perception we have? Yeah, encyclopedia. All right. Boots had perception. Oh, they did. You're right. All right. No, that didn't help. All right. Okay. All right. So here we go, chat. Here we go. All right. This is a three percent check. If this succeeds. I'll take a million monocoins off of Yaya. All right? If this succeeds, I'll take a million monocoins off of Yaya. Here we go. Nope. Still not happening. It won't come off that easy. Even the game doesn't doesn't want a Yaya. No time to rest yet. All right, so that's it. So why can't we look under the floorboards like it, like it suggested? Do we need to hire Half-Light or something? Or... Do we go outside and look under the floorboards or what? Hmm. Kim, I shaved. Kim. Yes. So, point to your face. I shaved. Yes, um, the lieutenant stares at your shaven face, his eyes narrowed. Uh, he mumbles, I don't know what to say. He coughs, perhaps. What is it? You can tell me, Kim. I know, I know. Stunning, right? I know I shouldn't shave. I knew it and still did it. What an idiot. What is it? You can tell me, Kim. I'm not really sure about this turn of events. I think the mutton chops might have been a better idea. They sort of seem to cover up some of the... He stops. Yeah, damage. He means damage. E what? Either way, good on you. The lieutenant gathers himself. You were saying... All right, fuck you, Kim. We're convincing you there's a sexy twit. No, fail! Only banal things strike you. At the core, you're a, a very uh, banal person with a very small soul. Fine. Just gonna mutter out. All right, I want to see that line again to see if it really was fine. Our tenant, the policeman. I hope the waves don't keep you up at night. Was it further down the coast what or whatever? Something about it? Ah, eh, fuck it. We'll, we'll, we'll look. I'll look at it in the VOD later and see. Oi, officer. A woman in, in a raincoat stands on the on the on the quay. <laughs> it's key, isn't it? Considering an overturned boat, a sword in a scabbard hangs from her hip. Really? Anything I can help you with? Uh, why do you have a sword? It depends. Where are we exactly? A fishing village on the seashore. She looks around. This place doesn't really have a name. It's sometimes called Elisable. Elisable. The sign on the street leading here is illegible. Has been since they built this place. The wind rattles her earrings. I have questions. The first is, what's your name? Move on. The name is Lillian. People oh. Call me net picker. I think I have time for questions, and that was actually the second one. Indeed, you're always confused as to your whereabouts. I'm looking for someone. Maybe you can help. Idiot Doom Spiral over there needs his jacket. Have you seen it? <laughs> what do you do around here? Nice sword. Point of the saber on her hip. Does it come with a story? Is that your boat? I want that one. I want the sword. Unfortunately, the factory sold this one with a three-year warranty instead of a story. She smiles at her own joke. It's to intimidate folks, mostly. Hold on. Do you know how to use it? Not really. She glances at the blade. I know some basic moves, and I know it sure as hell beats a knife when you're in a tough spot. It is imposing. Nod. It's a regular mass-produced sword, like a shovel or an axe. Nothing fancy, just for intimidation. I'd like to get a sword. Why Why do you need intimidation tactics? 
From time to time, people need a lesson in respect. That's just the way it is. Back in the day, I caught the eyes of many men, and believe me, she adds, tittering, men need a lesson in manners from time to time. Figures, typical patriarchal nonsense. Mask you venomosity. <clears throat> Can I borrow that sword? Why don't m more women arm themselves if it's so effective? Can I borrow that sword? No, I'm afraid not. Her eyes are smiling as her hand moves to the hilt. Attempting to confiscate the blade I used to keep these animals in check, it would you would put me in an early grave. Um, uh, why don't more women arm themselves if it's so effective? What makes you think we haven't? She smiles. Hannah, the truth is that almost everyone in this life is scared and tired and stupid and too dull for that. That goes for men too, And but they put on an act for us, pretend like everything's good and living in shit doesn't bother them like anyone falls for that. Behold! Point to the expression on your face. Sure. Her eyes meet yours and suddenly she starts laughing. It's hoarse as if she hasn't laughed in a while. Find someone else to laugh at. I'm not a clown. Do you like it? Sure. Her face straightens. It looks as, as if you could face down any horror in the world with that same unchanging grin. It's like a shield. The traces of her laughter are still there in her eyes fading fast. Figures. Typical patriarchal blah blah blah. Uh, uh, sure. Venomosity. She nods. But boys will be boys and God knows we don't have many around. So far the sword has been enough to keep them in line. So where are all these men now? Some went to, parch to, to patch their wounds. Not parch their wounds. Their lesson learned. Others were more thick headed. She looks down and one of them I ended up marrying. Wait. Why? If they're thick-headed, where's your husband now? Gone. Gone? Coward! I would never leave anyone! He disappeared. Sounds like a missing persons case. Gone where? To the waves. Her eyes stopped in, your stopped in yours. The sea took him. It was a long time ago. That's bad. What happened? Oh, say no more. Wait for her to continue. He died? Was he murdered? Oh, that's bad. What happened? Who knows? Maybe he fell over? She shrugs. He didn't respect the sea. Went out there drunk like like a skunk and sure enough one day the boat was found floating empty the bloated corpse turned up two weeks later now before you tell me how sorry you are for my loss well i am sorry cop know that it was four years ago and i've moved on there's only so much mourning you can do for a drunk with sinewy muscles yeah death is nothing i shit on death time is really the best cure for sorrow isn't it it's healthy to let go and move on gotta keep the wheel spinning us working folk don't have the luxury to be bed sick with melancholy she crosses her arms i buried him mourned for an appropriate amount of time and went on Alright, time to hit on her, Harry. She glances at the village where two little kids are playing with what looks like rocks. Life didn't really change that much for me and the kids. Yeah, there we go. There we go. This is neither a touchy nor a very interesting topic for her. <laughs> Kim's presence makes it awkward. <laughs> uh... Uh, I'm looking for somebody you can help. Let's see. She tilts her head ever so slightly. Who are you looking for? I'd like to ask something else. Well, how can I assist you then, officer? I'm looking for someone else, actually. What? That's weird. Idiot doing spiral over there needs his jacket. Have you seen it? Remarkable. She shakes her head. That one already lost everything else and now his jacket, too. It's a good thing, too, that he has an actual police officer looking for it. A smile lights up her face. Good old Doom Spiral, upper management to the core. That's odd. Is she actually impressed? I'm just trying to help out a stranger in need. No one plays Johnny Jacket. I find it. I keep it. And collecting evidence to charge him with, with petty theft. I don't really know why I do things. Everything just happens to me. That's true. I... We all feel that way sometimes. She turns her gaze towards the beach. Sometimes I wonder if I'm the protagonist, even in my own life story. A gush of sadness suddenly washes over her. Time to hit on her! Anyways, she clears her throat twice. I'd look near the fish market north of here on the boardwalk. Drunks are drawn to markets for some reason. Was there, was there something else? What did you do around here? Like I said, fish mostly. Sail the waves, take care of the kids, pick nets. Right now I'm tarring a little skiff. What else? I sell the fish to people in the Delta to serve at, at their fancy restaurants. Authentic Insulidian cuisine. Is that enough to make a living? Sometimes I also walk the beach to see where what the sea has given up. The sea is full of surprises. Keep it professional, man. Don't make it sound like you're hitting on her. Interesting. What have you found? I never thought, of, thought the sea brought in anything particularly interesting. Walking on the beach sounds quite romantic. All right. Fuck it. <clears throat> oh, very, she laughs, finding pieces of glass, bits of wood. Every once in a while we get dead bodies, human, animal, fish, other sea creatures, a, mo a mine washed ashore once. What else? She looks at the beach. Bottles, drugs, oh, bottles, nice. Um, lost cargo in general, but most of the time it's just wood and glass, very romantic. All right, 
major choice moment. You only get to ask one thing. It would be weird to say them all. Choose wisely. I need to know about those human bodies. A mine. The RCM could use a mine. Where is it? Drugs. I need info on this. On this major narc. Point to yourself. This place looks bad. Why don't you leave? I need to know about the human bodies. Well, you're barking under the wrong tree then, officer. She shakes her head. I have no interest in floaters. See enough of them in my life already. A very unattractive bunch. All right. How, how did we not get an extra point for the for the flirting after saying we're romantic? So I take it that's your skiff? Sure is. The sun, I call her. Coated with a fresh layer of tar just yesterday. It will take some time for it to dry, assuming the sunny days continue. All right. This is all. You can retry it. You can retry it. Wow. All right. You guys want another Yaya gamble? Let's see what this does first. Caldo Mama Dako or whatever. So we got more perception and we lost some encyclopedia. It's not only your eardrums that register sound anymore. Your very skin has become an organ of hearing. Looking for a whisper, light and low, a god who's very, very silent. Nothing escapes you. A cockroach in the other room, a candy wrapper falling on dry dry grass, a drunk falling from a chair in a in a bar 20 meters away. In fact, you haven't heard the call do mama daku, dakua, but you have discovered that you have amazing hearing. It must be the only part of you the alcohol hasn't drawn out. Keep listening. Ah, oh, god damn it, we just lost some encyclopedia. I like encyclopedia. All right. Do, 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 do. All right, so our suggestion. Should we level up suggestion? Should we just go for this right now? How badly, how badly do we want this date chat? Should we just keep doing it with all our, our suggestion points? Waves are beginning to die down. Look at those little bastards. Simmer down. Simmer down, bastards. What is it with you and those waves? What is it with the waves and fishermen? Sorry, what is it with waves and fishermen? She tilts her head and looks at the sea. We need to be out there with them, fishing, making a living, so I asked them to accommodate me. But until that happens, I can try and assist you the best I can, she adds with a smile. So what will it be, officer? That's my motor carriage in the sea, by the way. Point to the sunken vehicle. Oh, she looks at the pointed direction. That's good to know, I guess. Why is it in the sea? It's an installation, wet your lips. Very conceptual. <clears throat> I wasn't feeling it. It was an accident. I'm sorry. I got drunk and apparently drove it in the sea. An official investigation has been launched by me to determine just that, ma'am. Uh, we're art cops, so number one. Hmm, an insulation. She raises her eyebrows. Us poor people are stupid and don't get insulations. All I see is a heap of trash. This actually calls for a funeral, I think. Are you suggesting we honor the carcass of my former motor carriage? No, that's senseless. 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 That's senseless sentimentality. Yeah, that makes sense. Inanimate objects don't have souls. I'm actually in the middle of a murder investigation right now. Let's go with number one. I feels deserved, don't you think? Falling in the line of duty like that and all. I don't think they have funerals for motor carriages. What an odd thought. Maybe I should. Why odd? Our things are a part of our, our life world. They're made with human sweat and they share human history. We should care about them as we care about humans, to some extent at least. Life world. Someone's been reading up on last century Gottwaldian philosophers. Play it cool now. All right, I'm in. But organizing a funeral takes a lot of time and effort, doesn't it? Oh yeah, she says with a chuckle, you won't even be able to get it out of the water before early June, and where are you going to bury it? Who to invite? What music to play at the wake? Take it from someone who's been through a few funerals, it's easiest to just leave them there and let nature take care of it. That's all we have time for right now, anyway, the lieutenant looks at you sympathetically. Come back here in June and see how you feel about it then, it's not like it's going anywhere. It's a pity we don't get to do more frivolous side activities, like rejuvenate the doomed commercial area, or... <laughs> lieutenant looks at you with looks at you almost gently yes that is a pity but for now let's focus on the things we do get to do like the murder investigation for example all right she's going to date with a drunk badly all right okay so let's see do we have any suggestion for on our clothes yeah there's some suggestion oh she'll like this is like an, a navy captain coat do, 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 do. go on a date with kim what if because he's here we accidentally ask him out instead that'd be good okay i think that's it right Right, here we go. Here we go. The waves are beginning to die wow, it just didn't help. It didn't help at all. Alright, from now on, every single 3% check that we do, if we succeed, I'll take a million points off Ayaya, okay? That's how it is. That's how it is for now on chat. A million points off Ayaya if we succeed. Oh yes, she does. You need to get your drink on. There is no other way for human beings to procreate. Not after 6,000 years of yeast, civil yeast cultivation based mating rituals. I like you, but I'm afraid to be around you because you're a woman. I want to be close to you and there's no one and but 
but one and there's but one way to intimacy. Wow, I can't read today, even worse than usual. Since the mankind Al Ghul has watched over the reprocreation of our species, lay with me, let's celebrate the goal. Alcohol makes closeness possible. Let's connect. Um I don't know. <laughs> Definitely not three. Two is way too strong. I think one or four. One. Okay, she blinks. Where is this going? I need to be drunk. You do too. Please get drunk with me on a drunk date. Absurdly and pointedly phrased, she doesn't laugh. You can be quite funny, officer. Anyway, what did you want? Oh no, she doesn't even understand you asked her out. Maybe, perhaps you're too sober to pull it off right now. Try again later. <laughs> Alright, I'm not leveling up for that. Uh, what were we wearing before? That? If you drink, does it affect it? I don't know. If you're not careful, the weasel will rise up and seize the memes of production. Thank you, yayification. Are you Lillian's daughter? Yes, I am. Little Lily, she gazes at you with her big eyes. You know my mom? Yes, we met earlier. No, but I'd like to. That's nice. My mom is great. She nods. She never. She's never angry or anything. Are the twins outside your brothers? Yes, she frowns. They don't want to play with me. They're older and play outside. Suddenly, she starts snickering. They look the same. Ha ha ha. Sometimes I can't tell them apart. They look identical, right? I said the same thing. They look identic. She slowly processes the word, then snickers with laughter. Goodbye. Bye. The girl's large, curious eyes are being fixed on you. All right, so should we go back to town and, and do all the little errands we have, or should we go check on the traps around? Go talk to Titus finally? Who the fuck is Titus? Oh, the tent. We didn't go in the tent. Let's go over the Dark Souls uh, shortcut. Yellow moss on these stones are probably stolen from someone's garden by a goose painted with pastels. Someone is trying to bring cheer into the world. Shaggy looking girl in her late teens or early 20s kneels on the ice with an electronic contraption in her hand. Hearing you approach, she looks oh, up. Hello there. It's cold out here, but she's not wearing a hat. She must be freezing. Dear ch child, it's freezing. Where's your hat? I have some questions for you. Huh? She looks at you distracted. Maybe she didn't hear you a little louder. I said you should have a hat on. So should you? I. I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I I should. I do. Oh, I didn't notice that. All right. Great. It's nice. You should wear one too if you plan on staying outside in, in this weather. Yeah. Well. Look, man. Fuck the hat. <laughs> Lots of feeling, feel it up, way up. Oh my god, fuck the hat? Is that what you just said to me? I can't believe you told me to fuck the hat. You're saying it really loud, but it's not coming out. Maybe add more indignation? So I should just, just take this hat I'm wearing and fuck it, right? Point at your head where the hat is located. Engage in sexual intercourse with the hat right here in front of you because you told me so? On the sea ice? Are we gonna kill ourselves? More. Right here on the sea ice? More. Give you a little ice cop hat fuck show? <laughs> I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. The girl is visibly shaken. <laughs> Lieutenant is watching the scene unfold before his eyes and sure to react. Is that how you see me? The girl looks down, slowly curling into a ball. That's it, you've earned it. Start crying, life's hard. <laughs> Start crying. Anyway, I can't believe you used some settings like that in front of police officer, so certain you should. You sh <laughs> The young woman has kept her eyes trained on, on her wires, waiting for the sorry spectacle to end, but it's gone awful, awful quiet up there. Then the sound is sobbing. Looking up, she sees a grown man on the wrong side of 40, his face bloated from alcohol and God knows what else, not so quietly crying. This isn't really about the hat, is it? No, it is. It so is. No, you know you're not the only one with issues. There's a motherly hint to her voice. I self-medicate shit. Life's a horror, you know. Crying helps, though. Get it out of your system, and then maybe we can talk. Okay, I'll be here. All right. Oh, Kim wants to calm, calm us down. Hi, Kim. <clears throat> Having looked away during the final phase of your little episode, the lieutenant now addresses you. Do you uh, want to talk about what just happened? That's probably a good idea. Normally, I'm opposed to discussing one's feelings, especially on duty, but I think this is an exceptional case. So, what do you think happened? 
'Tis possible thou could, could couldst persuade the lieutenant was all part of thy thy unorthodox method, but can thou persuade thyself? Drama, convince yourself that you didn't melt down just now. A crygasm. I experienced a mental malfunction. I'm okay now. I don't think we're gonna go for three. I think I think we own up to it, right? One crygasm. A what? It's when you totally break down and it feels a little better afterwards. I don't know where I got the expression f from. I may have just invented it. I experienced a malfunction and minor malfunction. I'm okay now. Number one. In the future, could you please refrain from emoting too much on duty? The quasi legal status of the RCM means we need to project strength twice as consistently as any other police force in the world. Weakness is my sh is strength. Not when projecting strength, then it's just weakness. Sounds like typical macho bullshit to me. That may be so, but such is Ravishal, and this is what is expected of us, of us in Ravishal. You get the feeling you're being handled with kid gloves because your cheeks are still soaking wet. Glad to hear it was minor. Can you go on? Yes, it is my duty after all. Absolutely, superstars always get up and try again. The end is near anyway. I might as well see this through. I can, and I'm sorry, Kim. I promise this is the last time. <laughs> Do we want to be better? Do we want to be better for Kim? What's all this? The end is near. Is there like an apocalypse cop um, path that we haven't done anything for? I'm sorry, Kim. I'll try to be better. Apocalypse cop. There it is. A copalypse. Eh? Wow, we are such a sorry cop. Such a fucking sorry cop. The tent is just tarpaulin fabric covering a pile of stuff. The flap is open. Inside, three young men are listening to some new foreign music. It's like nothing you've ever heard. One of them looks at you. Oh, for fuck's sake, there's people in here too? Why are there so many people? Come on, get in and close the flap behind you. The warm stuff's getting out. Squeeze in. Sorry, we barely have room for one. Oh God, we're gonna lose a kidney. You go ahead. I'm too old for this. I'm actually not, he thinks. I just like, I just like, dislike delinquents. I'm sure you will feel right at home. I'll keep watch. He gestures for you to squeeze in. I'm scared. Oh, there was room for Kim. Smells like sweat and laundry detergent, plus a trace of ether. Coupri Lange. Engine starting fluid. Canister filled with what appears to be water. The label says distilled. Pile of nasal sprays. Brand name, Nozafed Ultra. Alright, for the love of God, please be a communal conversation. A speaker, the big kind they use for live music. Andre. You see a youngish man bleaching the tips of his hair with a toothbrush. He puts the toothbrush down and extends his hand in greeting. Hello, I'm Andre. It's a pleasure to meet you. There's definitely something futuristic about his hair, aggressively so. You get the sense that this is what the future will look like. Embella. In. In. Imbecilic? Imbecilic? What? Like imbecile? Shake his hand. His grip is strong, sweaty, and warm. He is he's trying to protect to sorry, to project and inspire confidence. Oh, he this didn't feel question. his. Noid. Noid. The young man with the earrings looks at you suspiciously. An egghead. Egg! Are you an elf? No, it's just the background. He yells the tape player high above his head, continues to blast strange music. Together with a little burger, who's out there right now, doing some seriously progressive sonic experimentation, we like to think of ourselves as music venue organizers. Wait, how many music venues have you organized? We have many in the pipeline, officer. That means they haven't set up a single one yet. Why are you here? You see, we've been all over Jamrock North, prospecting for real estate to establish a new venue in. All the soul for talent. Yeah, thank you, Egghead. And while there is no shortage of raw, unfettered talent spinning tapes in Jamrock, we've had rotten luck with the real estate part. Place is a shithole! I, I apologise for my friend Noid's potty mouth. I realise this is not how you speak to a police officer. I he has authority issues. Yeah, me too. There's no need. This pla The place is pretty bad. Next time, watch yourself. Was this something you wanted? Number one. Which brings me to the problem of occupied ecclesiastical property. I bet you've noticed the derelict hive of narcomania on the coast. An attempt to pander to your perceived conservative sensibilities. No person his age would ever use a word like narcomania with a straight face. Don't fall for it. Enough histrionic, histrionics. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the church. And I'm not exaggerating. Even a place of spiritual refuge can become a magnet for all sorts of dope heads and burnouts if left unattended. Dope heads. Burnouts. He angrily spits on a screw, then starts cleaning it. Well, I'm sad to say, that's exactly what happened. 
Sad because we were just about to put Martinez on the map with one of the maddest dance clubs in Jamrock. Nah, strike that in Revershol. Strike that the world! And sadder yet, because the dope heads and burnouts hold up in there with the worst kind. He leans back a little, watching you with a steady, serious gaze, letting you imagine just how bad those dope heads and burnouts really are. Good, this calls for an opinion. You're an expert in those. I won't stand for narcomaniacs of any kind. No narcomaniacs on my watch. Shake your head gravely. I feel like you may be laying this on a bit thick. What's really so bad about these dope heads and burnouts? They're spooky. What exactly do you mean by spooky? I was hoping you would be the judge of that officer. All I can say is their spookiness is the kind that keeps us from restoring this church into a community center and a place of spiritual refuge. Also, they don't heat or clean the building. Shit's gonna collapse. People just want to spin tapes without them spooking it up. Place has bad signs. No one can dance like that. Thank you, Egghead. He turns to you. So you're gonna look into it, right? It should be a police matter getting them out whatever spooky stuff they're doing i'm sure i'm not sh i'm not sh i'm sure it's not what the okay he said this word echolciates echolciates i think that's what he said right meant their property for i'll look into it tell me more get the task i'll make up my mind later i have questions for you first not now Let's just take the task, fuck it, we don't have to complete it. Alright man, he claps his hands enthusiastically. Andre is obviously very happy you took him seriously. The whole tent is. The boys exchange giddy looks. What's the status of the church? I haven't got inside the building yet. I asked Noid to install a measure against more drifters wander wandering in. A padlock. It's a temporary fix, just something that contains the situation. You locked them in? I have to do it in a hurry, not my best work, but it should hold for a while. How long are those people being locked inside there for? Not long, like a week maybe, he shrugs. Ooh, what? How can you be sure they haven't starved to death? I'm super sure they're alive. I mean, come on. I'm at least 90%, maybe 85% sure they're still alive. Somewhere in the ru ruinous past that led you here, there was something called exams. You may have learned the term involuntary manslaughter there. Andre, do you know what involuntary manslaughter means? 85% is not good enough when you're dealing with another person's physical well-being. I mean, like, yeah, we, we failed a 97% check earlier. Yes, I do. I listen to Channel 8 all the time. I know about crime stuff, and I assure you, officer, this is not what's happening here. I'm at least 80% sure they're alive. I mean, come on. Most people aren't ever that alive in their entire lives. What does that even mean? I don't know. He pauses to think. What does anything mean, really? Yeah, what do words mean? Oh, yeah, he looks at his friend with an expression of profound understanding. Yeah, I catch your drift. I knew you'd get it. You're one smart cop. Also, sorry, cop. It feels good to be a smart cop, doesn't it? That's, what, that's a good cop to be. It has a nice ring to it. Smart cop. You wouldn't want to be stupid cop now, would you? But still, maybe he's just sucking up to you. You can stop buttering me up now, thank you. I get it. Now, the, where was I with that padlock? He, he nods attentively, ready to answer the questions of one smart cop. What about the key? Of course. Noid, give the officer the key. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the speed freak dips into his belt pack and produces a yellow key. He then makes a sudden cool and fused move, tossing it in your general direction. I, I God, I hope we fail. I want to... Please, please fail. Oh, please fail. Please fail. Yes! It's as if time is frozen somehow. You think you can sense the key moving in the air? Yeah, this is gonna be way cool. Don't ruin the cool by overdoing it. Raise your hand in front of your face with minimum effort. Blam! Straight in the eye! <laughs> straight, straight in the old eye orb in the looking ball. A stabbing pain to your stream of control before your eyes are crying again. <laughs> we're, we're crying again! Ouch, goddamn asshole. What is wrong with you? <laughs> you see I'm in pain now? Man, I'm super sorry. That was totally my bad. I got overexcited through them too hard. I'm sorry. He looks like he, he's genuinely sorry he didn't throw them better. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Bend your face in mockery of his useless contrition. <laughs> you almost I murdered me, a cop. That's use of lethal force. I really am sorry, man. Just take this, okay? He pulls out some black paper from his belt pack. Wow, looks like there's quite a lot there. That's the least you could do. Take the money. I don't need your pity money. Now, where are we? I'm fucking taking the money. 25 real. Holy shit. I hope that settles it. Or wait. The key. He cautiously hands you the little key ring. He is shifting in his spot uncomfortably, still feeling sorry for the mishap. We were talking about the padlock, I think. Right? Other questions. Sure, man. Tell us what you want to know. Let's do it. 
Who exactly are these people inside the church? Truth is, I don't really know. None of us do. I don't even know how many there are. All we've seen are glimpses. You haven't even seen them when you want the police involved? Well, he leans in for emphasis. There's also the machinery. This machinery is of, is of the deeply mystical variety. When I first scouted the place back in February, it was abandoned, empty. It took some time getting the crew together, so about two weeks ago we came here hoping to set the stuff up. Suddenly there are these strange machines lying around in there. One of them has wires running into bowls of water. Wires into water. Never seen anything like it. Andre, tell him about the feeling. Oh, and it felt like there was some thing in there with us, watching us from the dark. No, the other one. Um, which other one? I'm not as in tune with my emotions as you are, Egg. Does it bother anyone else that, like, his portrait doesn't have hair, but his model does? Anyone else bothered by that? I'm a little bothered by that. Felt like silence, awful silence. But you haven't physically seen anyone? Not exactly. We've just seen someone who we think is a woman go in and out of the church a couple times, and we felt someone or something eyeing us inside, but that's kind of it. What was what was that about something watching? Can you tell us about this machinery or more me? Like, you aren't alone, you know? It wasn't quite human, if you know what I mean. Not human, is it a ghost? Do you know what he means? It was this dark shape climbing upside down along the ceiling, like some kind of crab man. A crab man? What? Yeah, you know, the way it was climbing up and down this around the ceiling, like a crab. The other one agrees. It was stalking a, a, a seal? Exhibiting ambush behavior. Odd. Crabs are usually marine creatures and not known for climbing walls. Are you sure? <laughs> ambush behavior and odd crab, man. Alright. Crab, man. Yeah, totally. I mean, I didn't personally see it. A seal was alone at the time. But I believe her. The crab went after a seal. If she comes out running and, and says there's a crab in there, there's a crab in there. You should ask her about it, but be nice. Don't tell her you don't believe in the crab. There's probably is no crab, man. Don't let them draw you in with this nonsense. Can you tell me more about this machinery? You should talk to Noid about that. Well, Noid's here. Oh my god, is there a unique conversation with all three of these guys? I just got a distinct burnout and dope head sign from them. Probably jacked up to some snuff station too. Probably very likely. So how can you be sure they're burnouts and dope heads if you haven't seen them? Well, honestly, I can't, but I am. This is a, a below feeble attempt at avoidance. Basically, is attempting to weaponize weaponize idiocy. Wow, you can't, but you do. I should add weaponize idiocy to my own repertoire. Hey, now he furrows his brow. I'm seventy percent sure they're substance abusers. Don't let all that that technology fool you. He makes little quotation marks with his fingers when he says technology. Where do you think drugs come from? All right, let's talk about something else. You mentioned some kind of exceists. Own the church. Who are the Ecclesiates? Ecclesiates. Oh yeah, that's a Meterian name for the founding party. Thought it'd be cool to use it. If you don't know what the founding party is, there might be a way to mask it with minor demagoguery. Before we go on, what do you mean by me by Meteoran? You know, of me Meteo concerning Meteo. Medio, mask it. Now humor me, Andre. What is the founding party? Don't mask it. I don't even know what the founding party is. Fuck it, let's go with that. Couldn't think of it. I've never really looked them up, you know? I can't give you a precise definition, but they're a very powerful religious organization. And? And they have roots in ancient mass society, he pauses, and they're the custodians of the Perikinesian church. What are they, like the stonemasons? Plus they anoint the innocents. They, like, made the in innocentic system no now andre in your opinion would this ancient religious organization who anoints the innocents want a dance club in one of their churches that is <laughs> totally there isn't a trace of doubt in his voice the perikinesian church is about love anodic music is about love i got love for my perikinesian per perikinesian pa posse love is the relay of death we dance he violently shakes the tape players if to see if he can break it love is hardcore Unity. Unity. Make some noise for my insolidian posse. He turns the volume up, then looks at you with a knowing nod. It's as, as if it's obvious you will now break into dance. You feel it. The anodes or anoids? Anoids? And the cathodes coursing through you. I think it's anodes and cathodes, isn't it? Coursing through you, your big toe starts tapping along to the bass as if testing the waters. No words, enjoy the beat. I don't quite understand what you're talking about. What's a posse? I guess love can be pretty hardcore. 
I now understand it was lame of me to suggest otherwise. Anodic music is about love, and is, so is the Perikinesian church. No words. Enjoy the beat. Feels good. What posse? What's a posse? Your posse is like your people, man. Like you got your cop posse. Look, you look out for each other, and you part and you party together. That's a posse. How do you not know what a posse is, Harry? Wait, is he? He's actually tapping his feet. <laughs> it sounds like you're just saying random things. Love posse, make noise. Are we? He looks at you mysteriously. Yeah, the one with the large head really enjoys it when his friend gets mysterious. I guess love can be pretty hardcore. Oh yeah, it can. He's coming around. He nods at his friend. Then he turns to you with a mischievous grin. You're getting it. I understand it was lame of me. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeko Kata, the place to be. He seems ecstatic that you share his vision of Perikinesianism. Do it for the Disco Elysium Scrabble would just be just the biggest bullshit game ever. Do it for the masses. Do it for the crew. His friend forms a fist with a screwdriver still in his hand, approvingly so. I didn't want to say it, but it was pretty lame of you to imply otherwise. Anyway, you got more questions. The one with his large with large head is still looking at you, nodding his head, waiting for your body to start moving. I want to ask about this tent full of equipment. Yes, what? I see you brought your own water. Yeah, yeah, good to have bitch to carry. When we when I first scouted the place, I did some reconnaissance. I'm not sure the church even has running water, and it's distilled too. Oh, he doesn't know what to say. It's the one they sell at the fuel station. It's like it's like he's lying to you, my liege. But he's slippery enough that there's nothing for you to grab hold of. Hate to tell you, but it reeks of sweat in here. It does, doesn't it? Told you we have a smell problem. He picks up a piece of telephone cord and, exp and inspects it. What? Wait, I also smell ether. Why? Ether? I don't smell ether. Do you, Noid? I don't smell it ether. How's it going, Lily Bell? Just a minute. It's mixed with a peculiar chemical scent. It's like not laundry detergent. Can we put it here? Yeah, can you just check if there's sugar in it? Because I was helping them do a puzzle and I got distracted. I don't see sugar. Yep, there's sugar. Okay. We couldn't do one puzzle at a time. We had to do two and like do hard mode. What so, kind of puzzles? There are two jigsaw puzzles. One has animals mm -hmm. and the other one is like a underwater shark thing. Okay. So of course Leo's trying to put sharks in with the animals. Of course. So then it's panic mode. Mommy, mommy, because it's not fitting, right? Well, good Very luck. exciting downstairs. Too. Good luck Very with that. Very exciting. This one's peculiar. Yeah, let's see that one. He sits the air, then shrugs. It doesn't take a forensic scientist to guess it's drug related. They look and act like the kind of guys who've done their fair share. However, their breathing is regular, their jaws stay put, and their pupils aren't dilated, so not under the influence right now. At least not under the influence of stimulants. That doesn't rule out hallucinogens, uh, benzos, some depressants. How do you know all of all this? What's with all the nosafed? The what now? He leans in to hear you better. Point to the bottles of nasal spray in the corner. The Nosafed Ultra. You have a lot of it lying around. Harry wants some. Oh, the old Ultra. We, um... He's like an actor looking f to the souffleur for his line. I have a major sinus infection. Stuffy nose. We all do. Shit's fall blasted up. Winter. Can't even breathe. You sound fine to me. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. You sound fine to me. Yes, he nods energetically. That's all Nosafed's doing. Ah, good one. Without the Nosa, I'd be drowning in shit right now. Nose of fed is the shit. Good. Now to the next thing. Can I have some? I have nose problems too. Um, sure. He picks up one from the corner and hands it to you. Here you go, officer. The nose of blast away. I get the nose of fed, but what about the engine starting fluid? The engine started fluid. It's her starting engines. What engines do you start with it? What's with the goddamn Ro Ro Roman Gorod hearings? It's <laughs> it's cold. The fluids from the generator. He points toward the machine. <laughs> Keep on it, sire. How's that extra high ether content working out for you? Does it do the trick? I guess it does. You're not completely satisfied yet. You know, maybe that slight scent of ether I felt before is somehow connected to ethyl ether? No idea, man. Did you know that ethyl ether is used as a light anesthetic, and a solvent, and an explosive, and for manufacturing amphetamine? Alright, enough of this. Maybe everything isn't quite as you've been told. Take a moment to analyze. Godly? Convinced you're a smart... Oh, no! No, I didn't realize that was going to be bad of us. All right, that's it for now. Let's see if we can have some logic clothes. Be careful in there, officer, and tell us how it goes. Yeah, hold on. I need to put my logic clothes on. It's just, it's just the best part of the game, by the way. Just the best part. 
Oh man. How how do we get so whoa, we look different. Why do we get so much logic from this? Holy shit. Hi again. So uh how things going? Alright, I think this one calls for music. This is a big one. Oh no, shit! I thought we were gonna succeed for sure! No, we had 58%! Well, first of all, you're a smart cop, and a smart cop like you would understand it's, it's, if something wasn't quite right, so this should be easy. Was this a red check or a white check? Shit. Mm -hmm, rub your chin. What's the gist of it? The gist of it is they, they want to turn the church into a club, but a suspicious element has overtaken the building. It's very important to understand what the gist of things is. Always consult the gist before making up your mind. This is going well. Plus, as you consider, you can't invent the future of dance music in this smelly old tent. Imagine if you had the church. That settles it. Analysis complete. This story checks out. <laughs> Alright, I'm so glad we failed. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. All right, can we level up our logic? I want to. I want to succeed on this one. Oh my god, that was so fucking dumb. <laughs> oh shit! All right, let's level it up. Hey, back Hi, again. Seventy-two percent. Fucking really? Nothing jumps out at you. Nothing out of the ordinary, really, because I could swear something's not adding up here. Hi again. So, uh, how are things going? A number of things don't add up. Let's take a look. How about gather around, kids? <laughs> okay, kids, gather around. The young speed freak puts down a busted capacitor and looks at you. The one with the large head seems to be very enthusiastic about whatever you have planned. Their would-be leader is less amused. Sometime in the past, I'm not sure when and where, but betrayal was involved. I fell sick and became the shadow you see me now. But before that, I have reason to believe I was a police detective. But you still are. Thank you for your kind words, but everyone in here sees I'm disgraced to the uniform. I was good enough for this job to be awarded the rank of Lieutenant y Yefriter. I could have been captain. Imagine that. Number one. What happened? The egg looks... The egg head looks serious suddenly. Disco happened. It smelled so impossibly sweet. Life tore me a new asshole. I did. I happened to myself. That's a real downer, he shakes his large head. Now, obviously, that might as well have been a thousand years ago, but there's still some detective left in me. The young speed freak is silent. He senses something is wrong. You're sober. Was it hard for you to keep sober for this meeting? This isn't the makings of a club. It's a tent full of laboratory equipment for manufacturing drugs. We don't need drugs to be hardcore. Shut the fuck up, Egg. Maybe not today, Egg, but you need drugs to get through the days when you're not expecting me. Climb down from the equestrian monument, cop man. Consciousness is new to the universe. We all have our ways to ease the shock. <laughs> That's a good line. Bottom line is, I know, proceed. What exactly is it you know? He sounds confrontational. This isn't the makings of a club. It's a tent, blah, blah, blah. I have no idea how you arrived at that conclusion, but it's wrong. Look, we even have speakers. He points to the speaker. One speaker. They have one speaker. Where is his friend? Did he lose his friend? That knows the Fed is, is here for its active ingredient. The distilled water. Corner... corner cornstone of a clean lab the ethyl ether from the cooper's lange a solvent good for getting actin agent out of the solution where's his friend did he lose his friend what do you mean friend the other speaker you only have one it's a one speaker system it's monodynamic you wouldn't know the first thing about sound reproduction in anodic music other speaker Pfft. This may be a, the brain damage talking, but you've definitely never heard of monodynamic or one speaker systems. The nose of Fed is here for its active ingredient. He said it was for his nose. What more do you want? Oh, damn, we're getting so much money. Likely pseudo ephedrine? Ephedrine? Almost exactly the shape of ephedrine. Ephedrine makes you happy, and so does pseudo ephedrine. The distilled water, cornerstone of a clean lab. And all cellular based life. What's your point, Lawbringer? The ethyl. Ether, blah blah blah. Make up your mind. First it's the sweat, now then it's the ether. He smiles nervously. There's no need for me to pile anymore, is there? No shit, he sounds tired. In short, you tried to use a police detective to set up a drug lab. That's, he waves his hands. Come on, that's 
preposterous, against the law, punish punishable by summary execution, fucking disco is all hell, preposterous, I meant to say not true. So what are we going to do with you? What do you mean do? There's resignation in his voice. He's almost ready to drop the act. It wouldn't take a lot of pushing. We do, we do this lawman style. First you tell me everything, then I pass judgment. You tell me what's really going on and we'll work from there. I can be lenient. I don't really care. I just wanted to crack the case. Do what you want and I'll do what I want. <laughs> Number two. It's ephedrine? Really? There's no Google speaking for this one. Oh, there's this one. Ephedrine. 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 But there's another pronunciation that's ephedrine. 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 What do you mean by lenient? Not calling back up and hauling you all off to, to the pen for starters. Haven't you heard? I'm the dirtiest cop this side of the river. I'll make life hard for you using every connection I've got. We'll see. Now speak. He thinks for a moment, then opens his mouth, but then close, but closes it again, then finally raises his hands. Things are just way too hard for an entrepreneur in the city. It's not like we're not going to turn gonna turn the church into the wickedest club in East Revishal. Because we are, we totally are. We just we just gotta turn it into a speed lab first, you know, to get our foot in the door. And why did you need me? Like I told you, spooky assholes moved in while I was getting all the stuff together. A month ago the place was empty and now it's all spooked up. They're not really spooky, are they? No man, they're spooky alright. It's just that they would also probably call the police if we started cooking speed in there but the sign was way off too i couldn't feel the love at all sir you promised you'd be lenient give me your cash ask for a bribe first pack up and report to precinct 41 arrest them get lost i don't want to see you again a victim let's do this clean no speed lab just a club for anadic music proceed proceed with the club it wouldn't work without the lab do what you do what you have to do to keep the club alive. I have to look into this into the spooky the spooker situation before I can decide what to do with you. I think we want to do it with, with six. Four, please. What? I'm gonna go with six. I'm gonna see what's going on in there. We continue on an amiable path, right? No more misunderstandings, no more lies. He nods, smiling cautiously. Before you go, is there anything else you need? That's it for now. As always, we'll be right here waiting patiently for the news, yeah? Okay, so can I go Hi back again. to this? So uh how are things going? Oh god, a young man with peroxide blonde hair holds up a Harman Woshi tape player nodding along to the music. He looks at you with a knowing smile and says, I wonder if the hair is just kind of implied. As though you're supposed to, it's decorative. Supposed to be sharing some tremendous evangelical secret. Hardcore. Hardcore. Say nothing. Hardcore. Still say nothing. Hardcore to the mega. Say nothing. Internally coherent. Still say nothing. All core. All right. Yeah. Say nothing. He furrows his brow at, at it, as his very large head traces the sublime invisible movement of the music to the very real air of the stuffy town. Hardcore. Ah. He lets out an agonized roar over the feeblish, obviously not too loud hardcore beat below. So hardcore. Is it though? <laughs> <laughs> It is. What is it? I mean, really. <laughs> he tosses it to the side like an owl. <laughs> Feels like you should reply with the very pinnacle of idiocy here so that things totally get totally transcendent, but you haven't gotten there yet, so you don't know what to say. I don't know what to say exactly. Under the radar, over the top. Could there have been a right way out of this, this garden of forking paths, you think? This is hardcore. Is it? It's hardcore! I don't know what to say to that. You're just gonna keep saying it's hardcore, aren't you? Skip a D, skip a danger. I am the rearranger. Nice. So you had a talk with Andre, and now you want to discuss things with Noid? Good. Skin so through the holes of, of this in the Speed Freak's too large sweater in front of him and open to a box full of carpentry tools and parts. It's good you talked to Andre first. Gave me time to get a reading on your sign. Can't really talk to people before you get a reading. Solve the hardcore. What? There's actually a path through that? He runs his hand through his hair, which is combed back in, in mock seriousness. Wait, hold on. Come back later. Is there? Back to the heavyweight jam. Says the young man with the tape player and the large boidurio boots. Lung shaped trees spout on, sp sprout on his silver belt hardcore. buckle. Hardcore! Say nothing. Hardcore! But is it? I mean, really? Yeah! Yeah! 
this young man adds a capital G before the H in his ya ja and ogs. This produces a guttural Gotwaldian accent and makes him sound more animal, more in it. Or maybe it's not Gotwaldian, maybe it's Oranese, probably a, an homage to Orani where Arno van Eyck is from, judging by his name. Could you be listening to an Arno van Eyck creation right now? So is this the famous van Eyck I'm hearing? Do you know about him? He moves his mouth, but sound doesn't come out. His eyes are the size of saucers. Looks like you've rendered him speechless. You know Ike. Yeah, I'm a major I Ike head. Wow. Wow. The skinny wraith looks at you with some disbelief. So am I. So am I. He begins to shake his head so everyone would understand. Oh, is that why they call you Egghead? Because... Well, you guys don't know why he's called Egghead? Egghead to the mega. The K became the G. The boy became the man. Oh, it's Egghead. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> the advent? <laughs> was that it? Did we solve it? No? What? How is that not the answer? We close. True. Hard. Full. Car. Say hard nothing. Car. Say hard nothing. Alright. Here comes the night. No. We true. Say hard nothing. Hard Say hard nothing. Hard Say nothing. Coherent. I was wondering if you knew who killed the mercenary hanging out, hanging beside the Whirling and Rags hostel. Good morning, yeah. One, two, three, Yako Kata, the place to be. I'm beginning to think this really doesn't have anything to do with the case. You said that before. Why is this Yako Kata the place to be? What does that Yako mean? Kata, the hardcore place. An intricate system of irrigation networks pockmarking the earth, intermittent seas of phosphorus mud, ripped tarpaulin fluttering in the wind, a pair of molten rubber boots also come to mind. All in all, a truly hardcore place. Vic true ha hardcore hardcore to internally co good morning yeah it's the message so listen and you will see no illusion the spirit is what you feel oh fuck Vic me dad true ha hardcore hardcore internally all core all right please tell me yeah. wh what exactly are you doing you gotta get the people going i see yeah request i want everybody as close to the stage as possible all right then True. Hardcore. Hardcore. Internally. Cohe. All core. All getting, right. getting kind of a get door vibe right now. It. Why? It's a party boy. It's my job. What is a party boy? Hardcore party 25-7 beyond the winter's orbit style. Damn, we're getting so much money. There is a place far away in Katla beyond a certain latitude known as Winter's Orbit where there are 25 hours in a day. It is a tremendously, what? Cold place, abandoned to drunks and failed rock stars, full of Eternite, Depression, and half-finished ski-flying hills. The Suru live there. All right, was that it? It wasn't, was it? It wasn't. True, ha hardcore, hardcore, internally core, all core, all right, gotta get the people, I'm the party boy. I think it's I'm also a party boy. Track. Watch your back, watch out for the heart attack. We close, true, hard, full, hardcore, hardcore, internally, all core, all right. Throws his brow. No, but seriously, I'm a little worried it isn't. The question is, what is the question? Just answer the, just answer the question. That would have been good if I had asked you a question, but I didn't. Now it's just idiotic. But there was a question? Oh, God. All right, still not here. By the way, we need to put our, our proper clothes back on. We put our hat on. The true. Hard, 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 intern, all core. All hard. The question is. Just answer the question. There was no, there was no question. question. Fucking hell. What is the. the true. Hard, hard, intern, all core. Hard core. Is it though? <laughs> what? I was just thinking that a moment one ago. One mind. One spirit. There's no other world. There's no other life. Oh my god. Be close. True, hard, 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 intern, all core, all r hard core. Is it though? It is. What is it? I mean, really. Okay, the question, what is the question? No, but seriously, I'm a bit worried it isn't. He frowns and starts bobbing his head back and forth once more. The skin on your back is crawling for a second. You can't even hear the music anymore. There is a hawthorn tree on Rue de saint Gislain, right next to the canal. You said you were worried. What do you think is wrong with the music? Why are there lungs on your belt buckle? Are you a thought reader? You said you were worried. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm still in love with the hardcore. He turns pensive all of a sudden. Sometimes I just feel like anodic ana music is in its infancy, you know? For example, take this Arno Van Eyck jam I've been pumping for the last month and will continue pumping for the rest of 51. Isn't something holding it back from being hyper? He thinks for a moment, then his expression clears. Maybe another speaker? It's like, it's only ultra. I think it's super hardcore, but you're right. It's not hyper hardcore. 
if anything, it sounds a bit proto, like it's not fully formed yet. You might be a more moribund alcoholic and failed cop, but you are pretty certain a thing can cannot be both proto and hardcore. It's hyper hardcore. It's super hardcore. It's only ultra hardcore. It's proto, not hardcore at all. Whoa, culture cop. I think you might be right, but how is all this hidden behind that fucking stupid fucking hardcore maze of bullshit? I think it might be right, but how could it be become hardcore then? I know it in my heart, but I cannot think it in my head. If this is not hardcore, how could anything be? Sounds suspiciously like a question. I thought the question was, what is the question? Try to think if anything could make it harder core. Wait, I just remembered something. I'm the police. <laughs> I can't. Two. What? He looks at you with customary amazement. Guys, there's something happening in his head. Think even harder. Oh yeah, he's doing it. Please don't be a fucking skill check, but you're not. This is almost certainly a matter that surpasses limits of reason. My imagination fails me. I know, so does mine. He laughs and shakes his head. What is the question? No, this is the answer. I can't help you with this right now. I need something else, something extra. Yeah, it's not even the slightest... He's not even the slightest bit disappointment. Physical instrument? Are you a thought reader? No nation, but transnation. No war, but class war. Does that mean you're not your? Does that mean you're a thought reader? Don't be a lunatic. Of course he isn't. Jermaine here just yells random things. Odds are sooner or later one of them will come off as thought reading. Yeah, Revachal imperative. Unless you were thinking Revachal imperative right now. Anyway, I've had a similar thing happen with eggs with eggs yelling. I know what you mean. But I was thinking Revachal imperative. You're right. I wasn't thinking that. Hardcore superstar. So you're not a thought reader. You're a communist. He's not a communist. That's just something he likes to yell. He picked it up from a tape jockey in the Parisium. Policium. She was a communist though. Yeah, with a rebel yell. How long have we been in this tent for? An hour? But why aren't you a communist? Communism is truth. You should. It's good you're not a communist anyway. You should be an ultra liberal. Best not to be a communist. Having extreme views on issues is detrimental in understanding all sides. That's us. Centrist cop. Oh, sure, I can do that. He nods. If you want, I can avoid taking a stand. Please don't turn him into a moralist. I don't even know what to say to that. Be a moralist, egghead. The balance needs your help. Don't be a moralist. Wait, what am I saying? You should consider your choice carefully and rationally. Don't be a moralist. That path requires a sensible examination of all nu nuances unattainable to most people. Be a moralist, egghead. Ah, he yells, you guess egghead is a moralist. <laughs> Something else, egghead. It's time to compromise. He looks at you with an almost impossibly wide sh shining grin. <sighs> looking, looking to see if you improve. Obviously, one shouldn't be too hasty with their decision making. I'm swiftly moving toward a solution which pleases nobody. God, is your real name Jermaine? The Accord Hardcore Jermaine Egghead. Um, yeah, basically, yes, it is. Where? Why are there lungs on your belt buckle? Lungs are for love, la amor, la compassion, la autodiscipline. Love. He suddenly yells, and the world seems to stop. I, in a woman's lungs, lonely as as I am, I'm not afraid. This strange, damaged feeling grows on and on because I've never loved someone like you before. All right, goodbye, Egghead. Leave. All right, all right. Here comes the night. All right, we need physical instrument. We need to do this right now. All right, physical instrument. Okay, is there anything else on physical instrument that we? That we no, that's it. Fuck, man. This is gonna be a hard check to do. Incremental progress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, he, is he saying that because we turned him into a moralist? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the, the details, what the fuck? Alright, 20%, we can do it. Fuck, pretty close. No, that would be silly. Your body isn't for thinking. It's for robust, wholesome things. Things like discus, javelin, and 400 meter hurdles. Mmm, discus. Alright, so, can we level up our physical instrument? Oh, no, we can't! Oh, man, I want to chat. I want to save scum so bad. I really, I need to know. I'm sorry. I need to know. It's, come on, we can't level it up? Fuck, man. I don't want to be a Redditor. I don't want to be a Redditor. I don't want to be a Redditor. Shit. Is there any way to, to raise it up with something else? Is there a thought we can do that raises that raises physical instrument? Visual calculus, empathy, half light, white morning. 
No. Fuck, okay, we're doing it. Incremental progress! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Incremental progress. Yeah. Oh, we're not gonna get it. All right, one more time. If we don't get it one more time, then the universe is telling us that we that we're not a redditor. Incremental progress. Yeah. Wow. All right, that's it. All right, we're not doing it. Damn, we're not doing it. We're never gonna know. We are never gonna know. Huh. I see you're here again, offside man. Did I mention getting us into the church would help? All right, one more time. <laughs> I'm not drinking alcohol. No, this is this is a this is a no no drugs run. Incremental it's it's a no drugs no, yeah. no safe scumming run. Okay, those are our rules. No drugs, no safe scumming. All right. Fuck! What the fuck? <laughs> Incremental progress. How? Yeah. How? How is this even possible? It's not that low of a check. What the fuck? Incremental progress. First try. Yeah. First try. First try. You know, in your lungs where the pressure should vibrate, in your heart that's alone, and in your solar solar plexus where the hits should land. So does every chore date animal needs more bass. Base. What? <laughs> bass. <laughs> what? The young man makes a sudden move like he's about to turn the volume down, but that would be ridiculous. And a melody, my voice just cracked there. <coughs> Sorry. And a melody, a good melody is what this, I'm turning into a redditor. That's it. A good melody is what makes the song really stick so that you, can, you can't get it out of your head anymore. Point at your head. Wow, okay. We should start with the melody. And where would we get that stuff from? I don't know. I was thinking you would know. Nowhere. I'm not going to become some sort of anedic cop too. I've got enough copper types already. Oh no, please become one. You'll miss out on so much good content. Otherwise, it's like being the greatest cop on earth. Please, please. The young man smiles at you wildly bright and innocent as the summer sun. Okay, I'll look into it. In an official capacity, it's hard. It's up to the police to make the beats go harder. Take the task. All right, I'll see if I can come up with something on my own. A citizen investigation. Take the task. All right, fuck it. The young man falls silent with appreciation. He even tries to contain his smile as if it could hinder your investigation. Basically, what you need to do here is find a tape with some banging music on it so that Egghead could use it to remix Van X Jam. Thank you for translating, Andre. Yeah, maybe that street hawker across the pawn shop has some tapes to sell. That's just an idea. There's a Hawthorne tree on Rue de Saint Gislain right next to the canal. A reel of magnetic tape is caught in its branches like bronze ribbons blowing in the wind. It feels cold. Does it? He looks around, looking for the cold. Rue de Saint Gislain. I've been there. Oh, I know. I know this. I can tell you where it is. Saint G is the boulevard before the canal bridge, the one that takes you to the whirling in rags and the industrial harbor. It's It's got the lanterns and the... I knew that. I could have said that. And the mosaic sidewalk. But it's all blocked with that stupid traffic jam right now. Anyway, shake it off. Anyway, that's all yours to figure out, caught man. Caught man yells egghead. Alright, do we reload now? We've seen what the solution is. Should we reload? What do you think about shivers? I feel I don't want to save scum. I want to see. I just want to see what happened. I just want to see what happened. I have to. What do you mean I have to live with it? I can save scum the save scum. Undo, 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 undo. Live with your shame. Wow, wow, wow. Huh. I see you're here again, offside man. Did I mention getting us into the church would help? Sign. Yeah, I gotta compare. See if we can align. Interesting. I suck at socializing, man. Even now, our sign synchronization is way off, but I'll see what I can do. He continues to rearrange his tools. Tell me about the machines you saw in the church. He cringes. Weird stuff specialized. There was a data processor and some sort of long wave machinery. Hey, hey, I, I save scummed for chat, all right? I save scum for chat. It was just so chat could see what it was, all right? That, that's, that's, come on, come on. Every, everyone in chat wanted to see. Wires going in water gives off a spy sign or some fucked up Sumerian science sign, you know, the kind that goes headfirst into the supranatural. The People's Republic of Samara is a product of Revachal's sister revolution on the Grad Isola. It's known as a severely degenerated rogue state. <laughs> no idea Joe's middle name was Chad. <laughs> Don't be too hard on Samara. They're all alone in the world. Half of what we know of them is just propaganda. What's wrong with the supernatural? The supernatural, you think it's real that it actually exists? Don't be too hard on Samara. 
I know, man. I was just talking about the aesthetic. What's wrong with the supernatural? Nothing's wrong with it. It should definitely be researched. You can still do sick shit with it, though. The sickest. The biggest. Most tragic. Most awful safe scum. This That is perhaps why it should be researched. The supernatural exists, blah, blah, blah. Um, most of it doesn't exist, but there's also stuff that isn't allowed to exist because the moralists think it's too dangerous for the, for the plebs. Sonic powers, pale related diseases, pretenders pretending to be human, folk rights, that kind of stuff. Why are you called Noid? Oh, I'm a Redditor now, so I, I have to believe in skinwalkers. Apparently Reddit is, is convinced there are actually skinwalkers in the world. Why are you called Noid? He picks up some, some sort of widget. The hardcore aesthetic is esoteric. It is not meant to be discussed with the law at this moment. What the fuck? I hate cops now. Oh man. I hate, I hate, I hate our character. It's not easy to reach a harmonic resonance of signs without some adjustment. Does this mean we need sign matching? Yes, further sign matching would do, would do good for us. One way to achieve this would be by getting us into the church. All right, I'll come back later. All right, are we finally out of this fucking place? Hey, Kim, how's it going? How long was I in there for? Yes. Oh, man. Safe scummers are also known to enable a yaya. I mean, like, if we're gonna reload, shouldn't that mean that the, the price goes up? Reloading the price? Joseph Anderson, gamer, weeb, redditor, atheist. <laughs> there is a hint of pity in her eyes. Her hair is dyed blonde with dark roots showing, and she wears thick black eyeliner. Most men wouldn't call her pretty. There is a manliness to her, a coarseness. It's a bit presumptuous. Yeah, can we talk for a minute? Your associates tried to use to use me to set up a drug lab. I'm guessing you knew of this plan. I did, and I'm sorry. She doesn't appear surprised for what it's worth, which isn't which isn't much. This is why I didn't go into the tent. The lieutenant looks at the ocean, squinting his eyes. Typical delinquency. <laughs> you don't get to choose your posse. They choose you. Minor idiots, but they're mine. I tried to talk Andre out of it. Should have tried harder. Misleading a cop is no joke. I don't care. I'm a loco. I just wanted you to. I just wanted you to know about the plan. <laughs> what? I know, I should have been able to control them, and I will in the future, I promise. May I ask, what did you tell them? That I'm going to decide after I've looked into the church situation. Alright, that's why, she nods. Take your time. Yeah, can we talk for a minute? I was wondering when you'd come around. What's up? I guess there is something that's been making my life hell. What is it? She listens intently. I think it's the plight of the working class. Everyone's just mooching off the an entrepreneurial class, shackling the doers. I think it's all these foreign people taking our jobs. People just put it people just keep putting their selfish interests ahead of the greater good um, I think probably number one. Oh really the golem of capital runs rampant smashing creator and slave alike I fear the process is irreversible so the thing that's just that, that's got you crying in front of strangers is social justice yep yep I'm a social justice crier. I haven't seen much in this of this world, but from what I've seen, social justice is an adolescent term. Sounds almost liberal. What's got me shaken up is the people struggle. And it's just gotten me and it's gotten got me shaken up bad. No, that's probably not it, is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Now I had some questions about something else entirely. No, that's probably not it, is it? No, it sounds like you you've just got chick issues. Now that you mention it, I find I found these letters I've thrown in the trash. They might have something to do with it. Okay, what do, why do you think that? First, they had just the faintest scent of chewing gum on them. I could still smell it under the shit. They were written in a woman's hand, and oh boy, did reading them make me, make me not feel good. There you have it then, chick trouble. Not political after all. Who was she? I don't remember. No idea. I haven't seen her. Definitely haven't called her. <laughs> I don't <laughs> Really? She appears to believe you. You seem pretty upset about this, chicka. Are you sure you don't remember anything about her eyes, hair color? I remember her scent and that's all. Wow, man. That's some pretty strange shit. She rubs her sides for warmth. Are you sure the letters were for you? Yeah, I'm sure. Would I have reacted so strongly otherwise? Come to think of it, the whore could have written them to her lover, I think, number one. How come you don't remember, though? Is it like some selective memory thing? Wait, what do you mean by selective memory? I think... I think it's more about me getting so unbelievably drunk I completely erased all memory of this world. Yeah, or it might or it might be that. This one time I did so much booze that I forgot to. It's obvious she, it's obvious she's done more than booze or it might just be psych bullshit, you know. Conicstein wank. What is this Conicstein wank? All right, I had some questions for you. You know, the psych thing that they've got 
going on in there. Rich people like it. People in Konigstein are mostly rich. Thank you for thanks for the bullshit psych thing. Then you know I'm not sure this made I'm not sure this made things any better. Number one, you're welcome. She thinks for a second, stretching her jaw. Might be for the best to keep that shit forgotten though. Just my opinion. If it itches, don't scratch. The others told you told me you went inside the church. What did you see in there? Oh, that you're not gonna believe me. There's no point in me telling you. She's less prone to blurting out crab men than the others. <laughs> oh yeah, the crab man like, from two hours ago. We'll see. Go ahead and tell me. Okay, she nods. I went in and saw a woman next to one of those machines there. Noid calls it a mainframe. She was dressed like someone who's being raised by their grandmother, you know? Strange old clothes, had this absent expression, didn't say anything, just stood still. That's not especially frightening. And then, you know, right, right behind her, a man crawled down the wall, upside down like a crab. Down the church wall, I think the woman didn't even know he was there. He was completely silent. He stopped right before he got to the floor, then just hung there looking at me, right, right at me. I fucking turned around and walked out, end of story. <laughs> like a crab, you say? Like a crab, you say. The lieutenant nods, his face like stone. What did this crab man look like? I, I, I believe in the crab man. It was too dark. She shakes her head. I couldn't tell exactly. Come on, she, she obviously could. She already went into detail. Come on, quit stalling on me. What did he look like? He looked like a banger, okay? He was all muscular and stuff. Had a mesh tank top. I know it sounds ridiculous, but that only made it scarier in a way. Kim, this was probably me. A crab and a banger. The lieutenant raises an eyebrow. Yes, a banger in a, in a mesk gang... Mesca gang member as sorry as in a Mesca gang member. I know what it sounds like, but that's what I saw a gangster crab man Yeah, I don't believe you you were wrong. I do believe you shares an eyebrow why it seems too ludicrous for a lie I guess so she hesitates anyway. What else? I'd like to know more about your associates my associates She blows on her chilled fingers. I haven't got much to say about them just answer the question, please. What do you mean? You must know something about them. Of course I do. I just don't tell people about my friends and who they are and so on. I don't provide information on them to the cops. What about you? Tell me something about yourself. Me? I'm a silver bird. A silver bird feels strangely familiar. Was it an expression? And if yes, then for what? Then your mind slips and the thought is gone. Ah, okay. Maybe I'll ask about... Maybe I'll ask later about all this. Don't know what makes you think it'll be any different later, but... What's the device you have there? This, she breathes on her freezing fingers. It's a portable recording device. It's for field recording, low quality, but still. And the wires? Actually, just one wire. I picked on it till the braiding came loose. The wire leads to the contact, to a contact microphone. What's a contact microphone? A contact mic records sounds from inside things like this ice. Your mangled brain would like you to know there is a boxer called contact mic. <laughs> All right. Yeah, any news on my wife's name? How about my, how about my mother? Nope. <laughs> You're welcome. Does this have anything to do with contact Mike? Uh, she's confused. Yeah, I record stuff with it. No, I mean, really? We're committing? No, I mean the boxer contact mic. Ah, no. This is a contact microphone. It's for recording inside solid objects. Contact mic just beats people up. You know, contact mic doesn't just beat people up. Contact mic is a role model. Um, an entire litany series. <laughs> what the fuck? Game? What the You heard right. You should try to be more like Contact Mike, a successful athlete and an inspirational figure who has overcome social, physical, and mental obstacles. On second thought, screw Contact Mike. He's not a champion. You are. Look at you here in front of a saggy tent, picking your nose to drunk addict music. The world of sports is in awe of your faith and dedication. <laughs> burst into tears in front of this girl an hour ago. Sorry, I don't know why I said that. There was something else I wanted to know. Number one. You, man, you were one weird cop. This isn't about me. This is about your lack of respect for one of boxing's greats and for yourself. <laughs> what is with you and this white guy? She pauses. The question is rhetorical. Okay. <laughs> Contact Mike and less like me. Yes, this does indeed float my boat. <laughs> what the fuck did on you? She turns to check her tape recorder. How does this thing work? The mic, I don't exactly know. Somehow it doesn't pick up vibrations from the air. The box said it only picks up structure-born sound if you if you like techno babble. Where did you get the mic from? 
same place I got the recorder from, the pos the Poliseum. What's the Poliseum? Oh man, you haven't been to the Poliseum? She regrets herself for a moment. It's the coolest place in this whole drug-addled shithole. It's a music club and a synthesizer workshop on Boogie Street in Jamrock. Musicians live there like real musicians. I once saw Arno Van Eyck thinking about it. Really cheers her up. It's a long way from here, though. Interesting. This, this the guy your friend Egghead likes? Oh yeah, Egg's really into him, maybe even too into him. He's a pretty intense personality. Hey, didn't Piss Foglet and Fuck the World mention Van Eyck too? Is it like a skull thing? A skull thing? She shakes her head. Man, you sound like a hundred years old when you say that. No, you don't. She's mistaken you for an old person. Say you're cool. I get down. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I grind. I don't know what that means either. It means I'm hit well on my ears, nor do I, but I have concrete evidence that I, I rock in the form of, of a rec tape player and a completely trashed hostel room. That's cool. She breathes on her fingers. Looks like she doesn't know what to say. You're right. Time has deserted me. She looks at you oddly. Sucks, man. She squints her eyes for a second, trying to remember something. Then let's go of it. Was there something else about the contact mic, perhaps? Actually, I had some non-mic questions for you. Okay. What are you doing out here in the cor in the cold recording, I guess? And what is it you're recording exactly? I think I'm recording cracks in the ice, but there's no way to tell, not without headphones. I think I just recorded your footsteps, too. Not sure how it will sound. She scratches her forehead. Wait, what happened to the headphones? My boyfriend sold them. What for? I don't know, man. Things. Just stuff you need for life. Which one of those is your boyfriend? A lie, they were probably pawned off for something s suspicious. And what are these recordings for? The cracks, the footsteps. The musicians in the Palisium use them for making music. They loop the stuff, cutting the tapes together. They make music out of cracks in the ice and keys jangling. Crazy sounds like that. It's hard to explain. Just nod. Anyway, I thought I'd make some too. It's supposed to be like a music place anyway. She rubs her shoulders and looks around. I, I don't really know what I'm doing. They use synthesizers too. I don't have a synthesizer. She looks at the recording device. The thing she thought would fill her hours with joy and escape is turning out to be an empty fantasy. She feels childish, very useless all of a sudden. Wait, take this, you're cold. The lieutenant begins to take off his jacket. No, man, fuck that, I'm cool. I'm sorry I said that. I'm sorry about the fuck. It's okay, the lieutenant backs, backs, uh, backs up. He throws you a glance. Now this is where a hat would come <laughs> Give her your hat. Here, you need this more than I do. I don't lost Dick Mullen's hat. Thanks. She puts it on. It's a bit large for her. I had some other questions. Conclude. Empathy. The tape recorder lies on the ice like a discarded toy. Pick it up. More like contact mic now. All right. That's it for now. Okay. Bye. She turns attention back to the recording device. All right. We need to put a hat on. Okay, I'm not even going to entertain the idea that we're not going to get the litany of contact mic. So the only question is, what are we getting rid of for the litany of contact mic? It's time once again to return to the 20 things you like to say about contact mic, the boxer who is apparently a paragon of open competition. It really doesn't get any better than this, any better, both inside and outside the ring. Stop, point at someone, someone in the distance, point your finger at him, he will point his finger back at you, vaulting an impassable gulf of finance and privilege too. So, nope, logic, minus one logic, minus conceptualization, minus drama, while we're researching it. No pain, no gain, push it, make it. All right, so what can we get rid of? In inexplicable feminist agenda gets rid of electrochemistry, but gives us one empathy. All right, some kind of superstar, minus one logic, learning cap for visual, that's actually pretty good, actually. Um, one plus thing, that's pretty good, too. Volumetric shit compressor. Learning cap for endurance race to four and all endurance white checks unlocked. So does that mean any any endurance white check that we fail becomes unlocked? I think we can probably get rid of this one. Learning cap for endurance race to four. What is our endurance? Oh, we haven't even raised that at all. Okay, let's let's forget it. Okay, there we go. We got it. The contact mic thought is really bad. I don't care. It's hilarious. I want to know. I want to know the ending of it. I don't give a shit. It's hilarious. All right, what, what's this This check? The shaggy great hair need... Okay. So you talk to my associates, right? Are you going to help us? With the church, I mean. Uh, I'll help you, all right. right. Let us know if there's any progress, will ya? We've been waiting for weeks here. If the thought is bad, Jill will reload... It will, will reload game? Wow. Wow, I can't believe you. I can't be, I can't... I can't believe you've done this. Wow. You hear this? Hear that? That's me downvoting. <laughs> I 
Alright, we're some more empathy. <laughs> empathy. Uh, I think that's it. That's it for empathy. Alright. 92%. We... I think we would have failed if we hadn't changed our clothes. The device is still warm from, from her touch and heavy as a brick from the batteries inside. The company logo Omnicron adorns its yellow plastic cover. Inside the tape is rolling. The girl looks at the device in your hands. I'm sorry you have to sit here on the ice feeling miserable at your age or at any age in this weather waiting for it to get dark. She looks at you in the eye, her pupils wide, surrounded by a ridiculous amount of makeup. The people who built this world intended it to be better for you, but they failed. It is easier to live in their failure with this by your side. Tap on the tape recorder. The wind howls. She remains silent. It's real. Tell her. It is not a childish fantasy. It can be a real weapon against what's coming for you now. What is? Her, her shoulders shake a little. The dark. Nothing. If you got this, don't be scared. I'm once again reminded... <laughs> God, no, not more fucking contact mic bullshit. That was serious and wholesome for a second. No, I'm once again reminded of how God. Oh my god. The contact mic rose in the slums of St. Baptiste to the top of the boxing world, overcoming adversity and serious strain trauma. Nothing is coming. Nothing he wouldn't knock out in three rounds. The real fight is for the right attitude. That was sent. <laughs> I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. I don't want to. I want. I want this to be a serious moment. I want. I want to go with one. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do contact mic. I can't do it. Number one. Number one. I no. I. Ha oh my god. Three. How is three serious? How is three serious? Number one. I know her teeth rattle. She tapes the device. She takes the device from you and places it in her lap. I'll stick to it. After a moment of silence, she speaks again. So thanks, I guess, for the psych, se psych session. I guess that means we're even. She smiles a little. Down votes are coming. All right, fine. You guys want to see what would happen? All right, it's it's a whole new world of saves coming. All right, I'll reload it to see what would have happened. All right. Oh shit, that was twenty minutes ago. Never mind. Never mind. No, we're not. Hey, if you want to see it, maybe you should buy the game and play it yourself and, and use and use the affiliate link for the game below the stream. Oh wait, I don't have that turned on because I'm just the best streamer. Please let us see it, please. Fine, okay, you know what? Fine, we'll just, we'll just skip through all the dialogue. Fuck it, fuck it. We'll just skip through all the dialogue, but then I'll reload back to the other one. Okay, how did we get there? This is when did you get an affiliate? I don't have one, it was a joke. Contact mic, fucking hell. The contact mic bullshit. <sighs> Alright. No. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> oh, no. Fuck. Alright, what is it, empathy? Alright. <laughs> fucking hell, man. What the fuck? <laughs> Ow! It's not childish fantasy, you can be real weapon, it's kind of free now. Okay, I once again reminded how contact Mike rose in the slums of St. Batiste, the top of the boxing world, overcoming adversity and serious brain trauma. Nothing is coming, nothing he would knock out in three rounds. The real fight is for the right attitude. I can't believe this turned into another Mike thing. Fine, okay, I'll stick to it. She takes the device from you and places it in her lap. I'll knock it out in three rounds. After a moment. <laughs> okay, there you go. We reloaded for that. Was that worth a fucking moon, chat? Was that worth a moon? Was that worth a moon? Oh, I'm getting upvotes for this. Thank you, thank you very much, Redditors. Thank you. Hey, Reddit. D-A-E think that reloading for that was worth it. Expecting downvotes for this, but I think safe scumming is the real way to play Disco Elysium. T-I-L people don't safe scum when they play Disco Elysium. D-A-E think that's kind of shit. Okay, we have 15 minutes left. I think if we go into the church, that's gonna be like at least another hour. Le gold for this? Thank you, kind stranger. Let's call Abigail. I really I really want to know about the crab person, but Oh, that's the jacket. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. Where was the dead guy? Is it too early for karaoke? That was going to say like do we want to go into the church real quick, see the crab man and then go and do karaoke? 
Let's do that. Let's do that. We'll, we'll definitely do carry. I just hope we don't get roped into an hour long conversation. All right. It, it, anyone who's played this game before, is this like, is this like a boss level dialogue conversation in the church right now or, or what? Hold on. I'll save. And if it gets too long, I'll just save scum out of here. Heavy wooden doors more than twice your height stands shut in front of you. The rectangular sea-worn ornamentation appears to in stark contrast onto the padlock carelessly drilled into the wood. Inspect the carpentry. The carving on the door is block-like and angular like the church itself. Two large beams shoot downwards, sinking into the wood before they reach the threshold. Run your hand over a beam. The surface is smooth from the wind but moist to the touch. Take a closer look at the padlock. This cheap looking padlock is sturdily built. It shackles together it shackles together a hasp and is and a staple screwed into the wooden door. The lock is adorned with a yellow sticker. Could I have like gotten through here with like the bolt cutters or whatever I have with the um the the uh the crowbar? Look at the sticker. You see a yellow circle with two X's and a big curve below them that looks like a mouth. You're pretty sure you haven't seen it before, but what the sim but what the symbol depicts is clear enough. A smiling dead guy. The curve makes it a smile and the X's make it dead. There's something blindingly modern about this symbol. It, its modernness puts to shame everything you've seen before. What makes it so modern? It's the contrast between the cheery chemical yellow and the rigor mortis as if- Is it the Watchman thing? No, that's not it. The one I- no. Was dead. And the, or that guy didn't care that he was. Either way, you get the sense that the forces of, of future are at work here. Have you seen the symbol before? Point to it. He takes off his glasses and uses a blue handkerchief to thoroughly wipe them clean before inspecting the sticker. Then he looks up and pauses and replies, No. What does it look like to you? It looks like a dead man smiling. Suggests junior delinquency. Okay, what is junior delinquency? For Revishal's S.A.R., the moral intern defines junior delinquents as minors between the ages of 10 and 16 who have committed an act in violation of the law. These acts aren't called crimes as they would be for adults. Crimes committed by minors are called delinquent acts. This was part of your officer officer's exams. He puts the handkerchief in his coat pocket. What is suggestive of junior delinquency here? I haven't seen that sticker before, and I am not a youth. <laughs> I agree, it's very modern, but does the cheery guy not know he's dead, or does the dead guy not care that he is? What is the source of the irony here? That level of conceptual, conceptual thinking is not part of my skill set. Try to peel off the sticker without ripping it. Wow, I, I am stunned that we actually succeeded to check. There's nothing like the sound of a sticker unpeeling. I know, it's really satisfying. Now it's stuck to your thumb. Put the sticker in your ledger after the last entry where it belongs. Put the sticker on your ledger, right on the cover. Secret task complete. Stall your paperwork. Gain plus 10 experience. Voila, looks very modern. You're part of the future brigade now, and so is your formerly humdrum, humdrum ledger. Neon, baby. Open the padlock with the key. The lock turns easily. You hear a click as, as the shackle pops open. Let's go. The lieutenant nods at you. Pull on the doors. As you do, you hear... You hear and echo of the doomed commercial area, its black halls and dusty machines, then the feeling passes. A great whoosh of air rushes into the dark innards of the church, as though rushing it, rushing to fill a great vacuum in the heart of the city. Whoa. Okay, did that just like give a bonus to it? I was told there was a crab man. Is he a giant enemy? A strange stillness fills you as you look ahead. You should walk here, not run. All right. The music. This grotesque wooden figure looks half finished. This figure was added later. It is not part of the original church. Oh, someone's crying. I really love the art in these types of games, in the isometric kind of RPG games. The environments can look so good. More of the fork lightning, lightning pattern you saw outside. Bark beetles? No, it looks intentional. Some long forgotten style. The blackboard is filled with complex equations of the recent. It's Leo, I wonder why he's crying. Oh no, we ran. A prayer book has been left open. Oh. A bowl is, the bowl is filled with water. A live wire runs darkly into it. Are they trying to make holy water or something? What the fuck? The silence in this part of the church, it's almost pal palpable. All the shifting matter and shuffling of living things is gone. Nothing seems to exist beyond the church anymore. Maybe if you were to stand in just the right spot, even your footsteps would be completely silent. Wait, I think I still hear something. <gasps> is it the crab man? And then it's gone, almost all of it, but for the faintest of hums. Oh god, the music just, just went out. 
it seems that sound here is detached from its source somehow, if not blotted out, blotted out outright. Truly unusual. You can hardly hear your own breathing. Yell as loud as you can. Stomp your feet and clap your hands. Yes! You produce a few muffled thumps, after which the silence feels even more total somehow. Yell as loud as you can. Your voice is barely audible. Not a howl, but the softest of whimpers. Turn to Kim. What's happening? Lieutenant points to his ears and shakes his head. Then he leans closer. Can you hear anything? Almost nothing, and it's beginning to worry me. Not really, but it's extraordinary. I've never experienced anything like this. Can't hear shit. Number two. I wonder why the church was built with such strange acoustics. His attached tone conceals how uncomfortable he is. Maybe the church... This sounds like some supernatural to me. Maybe the church was designed in this way to prevent boisterous activity, singing and dancing on its premises. Maybe they wanted to discourage singing and dancing. Hey, what if it's something paranatural? It's probably nothing. Let's go with conceptualization. Hmm, could be. He doesn't seem entirely convinced, though. Look up into the bell tower. The orderly rows of ceiling panels become barely visible, then disappearing, disappear completely in the darkness of the tower overhead. Nice! There's no way we can fail this! Are we gonna see a crab man? No. Really? It's like there's something moving up there. A shadow has emerged from the tower and is making its way toward you through all the other shadows. On the ceiling. Yes, the darkness makes it makes the feeling the ceiling feel infinitely far away. Follow the shadow's movements. It's not a shadow anymore, becoming more substantial as it gets closer. The shape of an animal descends. Officer, is there something up there? Lieutenant follows your gaze, attempting to see whatever it is you are seeing. Oh no, you've lost sight of it. Where did it go? Blink. You see something hanging from the rafters, looking straight at you with dark eyes. Maybe it's possible to talk to it? Hold on, L Litany of Contact Mike. 5,000 5, to 1 rank outsider. No one saw it coming. The mantle of a game changer demands intangible qualities. Fights are not won, you're thinking, instead of doing detective work right now. Fights are made. Blow by blow. Let's let's take it. Mike to the Mikey. Some low-intensity part of you has entered a sports cliche-driven fugue state, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. Also, Mike knew what it, would, what it took to win. He just wanted it more. All fizz white checks unlocked. Oh, that's kind of lame. That's kind of lame. Alright, so we'll replace that later. Useless. What the f- Two decks of reel-to-reel -reel tape spinning on empty. This is so interesting! A portable Harman Washi tape recorder. It is po- Is it possible it's recording something? Someone's siphoning electrical current from outside into this antenna. Okay, so... Um... Okay, so do you want- do you want to get end on karaoke or do you want to end on the crab man? Let's see how long it takes to talk to the crab man. But this might be all we do. The shadow is a man, but a man made of the same stuff as the carpentry of the building. He is studying you intently. The crab man. Hey, who's there? This is the police. Show yourself. Say nothing. Be quiet for now. Um, are you the crab man? <laughs> hey, who's there? The man leans forward a little, fixing you with a steady, unreadable gaze and speaks. I bet your alcohol use has made you into a scared little pussy, huh? But don't worry, everything's gonna be all right. You've come to the right place. That accent is Villa Lobos, a peninsula in Mesca and a district in Jamrock. There's a sizable contingent of Villa Lobos speaking Me Mescas in Revachal. Hold on, stop it right there. Pussy, what is this? I'm not scared. I just don't understand why the female sexual organs have to be associated with weakness. Hold your peace. You really got a kiss of red nerves. Pussy in this usage comes from pussilanimals. Everybody knows that. Everybody should know that. Um, oops. Chill out, man. Hero can receive the mother in law. And when you're ready, she will take your hand and lift you out of the despair at the bottom of the bottle. This man is obviously a habitual narcotics user. Do we really need to question him? I don't know. I kind of want to know how he got up there. I'm put off by this religious stuff too, he thinks. And maybe the ceiling climbing too. I think I just added it to earlier. It's all very hard to square with Lieutenant's own view of reality. Yeah, I guess I have a bit of a problem and it's been getting out of hand lately, but I'm a policeman. I need to talk to you about police things. I don't know anything about alcohol use. <clears throat> oh, hell no, run away. <laughs> Number one. 
I see deep inside you. Your body and spirit are suffering greatly from overindulgence, and you don't even know it. Great, more patronizing, so original. Oh, I'm very in touch with my suffering. How do you know what I'm feeling? I'm actually here on behalf of some young people looking to establish a nightclub. <laughs> oh, I'm very, very in touch with my suffering. Not all of it. I was like you once. You don't know all the havoc every know is wreaking on your mind and your spirit. Necesitas parar, Romy. Elvino. You know, actually, since we're here, you may want to pay attention to what the ceiling climber is saying. For some reason, I feel like I haven't drank anything. For some reason, I feel like you have a point. Who do you think you are? Some crazy guy under the roof? What is this shit? You know, alcohol is central to my identity. If I wouldn't drink, I just wouldn't be me. This is stupid. I don't even know what this is. That's all well and good, but we need to talk about the unlicensed occupation of uh, ec ecclesiastic property. Siastic property. I can't say Siastic property. I can't say that word. For some reason, I feel like you have a point don't there. Trust me. Trust them all. I'm only the messenger, Holmes. Wasteland of reality. It's been brought to your attention that you're an alcoholic and that it's a sickness and it's killing you. You're crawling on your knees through life, your booze filled belly dragging on the ground, your brain now fuzzy, now in overdrive, your hair sticking together with today's cold sweat and yesterday's vomit. Perhaps the right, anything is better than this. Even bone dry reality itself, maybe you can quit. Damn. Can we quit? 20 hours. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get rid of the litany of contact, Mike. Goodbye, Litany of Contact Mike. Internalize Wasteland of Reality. This is the Church of the Mother of Silence. You are welcome here. He sways gently on the beams, waiting for you to take it all in. You have no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Is he just trying to throw you off for a game? Oh, I can't believe I just took away like Litany of Contact Mike like that. I could just reload it and save the uh, save the skill point. Tis not an act, my liege, saving perchance he hath deceived his very self. This man is a zealot. S you must be the crab man. Some ravers want to turn this place into a nightclub. Do you know where the other spooker is? Point the strange machines around you. You must be the, the None of these are good. You must be the crab man. Never known myself to be a crab, but if that's the name you've got for me, I won't stop you from using it. To be fair, it's really more like a spider. He considers this for a moment. I always thought of myself more like a flame flickering along the rafters and beams. He pauses. It may be that I got to work on my technique. That's not the only technique he's working on. Look at those carved sculptures and that satchel of tools over there. Wait, did you also carve all those sculptures? Sure am. Whittling wood used to be something I just did to busy my hands. Now I use those same hands in service of something greater than my own restlessness. All right, let's consider the context of meaning here. I see what you've done what you've done there. It's as if these figures are trying to become one with the church, or perhaps with the mother herself. Rub your chin. You've got some nice curves going there. These seem a tad... <laughs> <laughs> You're promoting the objectification of women with your reactionary depiction of female bodies. Honestly, I don't get it. All these figures look happy. All right, so that's, that's Art Cop. That's conceptualization, I think. And this and this is art cop. Um fucking hell. Three. It's all just for the mother man, no need to overthink it. What were you before you became a crab man and a woodcarver? I was in a gang way. And my, but my memories of that time are fading. Most of them are already gone. Shake your head. So many people losing their memory. A certain portent of doom. I lost my memory too, and it haunts me. I lost my memory too, but I like it. It's like it's it's great, a whole new me. Start again from scratch. He frowns. That's not really the point, Essay. You gotta give yourself over to service. Service of the mother, that is. Do you remember your name, sir? Tiago is my name, but those syllables don't mean much to me these days. A name isn't just your identity. Isn't isn't just your identity, but also, so to speak, your place among your fellows, your place in the world. I ain't got no use for such a place anymore. My name's Harry. Extend your hand for a greeting. Well, he's way up top. That's just the thing, Holmes. None of that matters. He ignores your hand, his limbs a mere shadow below the ceiling. Okay then, thanks, see you later. Alright, let's do karaoke. Karaoke time, and then we're done the stream. Please fail the karaoke check, or are we gonna fail the check chat? Oh god. Have a poll whether we fail or not. What the- what the fuck check is coming up? What? What skill does it do? This is your 11th disco stream, and how much closer are you to solving the murder? What murder? Murder? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. All around you, rain falls on the great city of Revachal. Rain drips from the eaves and floods the gutters, washing the filth away. Oh man, look at this zooming out. Why can't we just do that all the time and double click to move? The spring must, the spring thaw must be here. The snow is melting. 
looking up at the sky, cold water dripping from your hat. What do I see? Gray sky, gray sky like great battleships. Clouds colliding with one another. Rain falls down on the world. How does it feel? Your shirt sticks to your chest. The shoulders of your jacket grow heavy. The cold finds its way under your skin. You shiver and the city shivers with you. You're not dressed for this weather. You should get an overcoat or a patrol cloak. What's... Motherfucker. What is in the west? Sheets of rain over water. A flight of stairs leading into the ocean. Wave after wave washing the coast of Martinez with its motorboats and gently swaying reeds. The ruins of a half-sunken sea fort crumble on an inlet beyond the Bay of Revachal. Ghosts rise into the, in, into the sky. Who are you, ghosts? The skyscrapers of La Delta, the financial district. Faint golden light seeps from the office windows. Will you ever go? Will you ever go there? Will I? No, you are just one of hundreds of thousands who watch them rise across the Bay from Martinez every day. What is down the shore? Urban coastline, rain dripping off ternite-covered roots, cinder blocks left over from half-finished construction, a defunct research and development building once seized by revolutionaries, an old and wooden church stands on stilts above the water, and beyond that, coal city, end of all lines. Run your fingers through your dampened hair. Your hair is an oily mess flecked with ash from neighboring coal plants. Smoke stacks rise somewhere in the distance. What's in the east? There's a fritta on the corner. A plastic coat is folded into the small triangle under the counter by the window. Beyond that, the strike breakers have gathered. The great gates of the industrial harbor are locked. A chill runs down your back. You shudder like an animal trying to shake water from its hide. Clench your teeth and stop to stop the shuddering. Behind the gates, heaps of supply crates, red and blue metal shipping containers slick with rain. The Great Ravishalian Industrial Harbor is an artificial mountain range. Immense wealth resides within, and, and, and immeasurable poverty in its shadow. And beyond that, Le Dressian, King's King Driss's passenger harbor, cruise ships flanked by dock arms, cranes watching over the mouth of the river dist distributary. What's across the distributary? Coron, the lower middle class. Distributary after distributary cuts the city blocks in half. Seven story buildings trail off into, into the rain. What's beyond the Coron? A silvery curtain of rain over the houses, the class divide. You have never been there. They don't need the law east of the river. What's in the north? Cape side apartments, tower blocks crowd one another, 4.46 millimeter bullets still lodged in the war-torn stone walls. Hallways collapse from the mortar hits of a war that was lost long ago. Clotheslines go to waste in the rain, radios play. What about contact Mike? The news at noon, and closer to here, a yard. Rain falls onto the roof of a woodshed. The lingering odor of decomposition mixes with that with that of damp soil. What's in the south? A traffic jam. Rain thrumming on the roofs of motor vehicles. Inside, drivers watch water streaming down their windshields. The statue of a king shudders. He too is cold. The canal, the canal bridge has been raised. What's on the other side? The road ascends. A raised motorway loops above the ghetto. Beneath its concrete columns, a sea of rooftops, woodwork, and tar stretches northward. Four-story buildings as far as the rain can fall. The snow melts in, melts in jam rock. Where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? A, 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 a fucking DMX reference? What? Fuck it. Where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? Have a brother in the cut, where the wood at? Why am I not there? To be in Martinez where no one goes, at the runoff point of the long of a long forgotten canal, in the whitest part of town, in the shadow of the day, the revolution the revolution failed. What am I doing here? Standing in the rain, looking north where Jam Rock's Jam Rock Rock City stretches inland. Jam Rock Rock City? Shudder look further. In the rain swept distance above the rooftops of Jam Rock, a, re a repurposed silk mill stands perched above the motorway exit, precinct forty one hunches in the rain. Your vision blurs, you wipe your face with your head. The rain stings your eyes, making you look up and blink. What's above? Coalition aerostatics hang like apparitions under the cloud cover. Way up there, where rain forms, rotors flutter silently. Your sight clears. Motherfucker. This rain will not let up anytime soon. I recommend you put your coat on. I have my coat on. Put on your coat and... How do you like shivers? Shivers is pretty good. <gasps> Everyone's here. Everyone's here. Okay. All right. First of all, first of all, have a bird. Can I help you? No, you know what? Let's let's make an ass of ourselves and then use the bird to smooth it over. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. The stage is all set up for your performance. Feel silent. You can hear the pellet pellets crack pellets creak under your feet. So, are you ready for your thing now? Let me know when I should turn on the karaoke carousel. Drama! 
Oh, it's 92. There's no way we're failing. Look, Kim, I'm going to sing karaoke. Put your lips right against the microphone. Test it. Look, Kim, I'm going to sing karaoke. I can see that. Lieutenant steps away from the stage, ready for your performance. Put your lips against the microphone. Test it. Immediately, a loud feedback noise startles the room. You feel like an amateur. How are you supposed to hold the mic? Should you just sing into it? Where should you stand? Oh, no! Oh, shit! No! Look around the room first. There, there are some people out there, but most, but mostly a post-meridian slumber has fallen on the premise. Not super lively. It would be wiser to reform in the evening, no, but the choice is yours. Okay, can, can we, It is evening! It is evening. Can we put on some drama clothes? Hold on. Drama, drama, drama. We need to drama it up. The drama llama. Read until nine? No! I don't want to read- I don't want to waste time. Let's let's put this coat on while we do our karaoke. Oh my god, this is a disaster. This is a disaster. This is a disaster. What is it now? 97. All right, we can't fail now. We can't fail now. You just have to read for 1 hour and 10 minutes. We don't have any books though, do we? You hold in your hand the colorful primer. The title reads, A Primer for Small Kids, There's a Bear Involved. Exactly what I need. Mm -hmm. This book will show you the score, get you oriented with those basic concepts you appear to be hazy on. The anthropomorphic bear will give you the lowdown of your life. On what? The alphabet. Flip through the pages. Every page has one word designated to one letter of the alphabet with a faced illustra faded illustration. Wow, I need to read this book. Most of them are scientific and cultural principles. It goes as follows. Let's do this. A is for azimuth, B is for Bore Boreas, C is for cosine, D is for diamet, E is for ellipse, F is for phlogiston, G is for gamut, H is for homeboy, I is for icon, J is for jura, K is for collapse, L is for laudanum, M is for myriad, N is for nadir, O is for oriole, P is for perihelion, knots, yeah! Q is for quasar, R is for rodro rhododendron, rhododendron, S is for sinus, T is for tricolier, U is for ultra, V is for vector, W is for war height, X is for xylophone, Y is for yastava, Z is for zenith. That's it? That's it. You know the alphabet now. Great. In what is called the IL, the international language developed by scientists from grad in the 20s, sinus means sign, for example. Kim, I know the alphabet now. Good. I also know the alphabet. It is very use It is a very useful skill to have, he thinks, for all sorts of life activities like reading and put the book, put the book away. All right. Um, filthy jacket. This filthy rag has been the mercy of elements for quite some time. It's streaked with seagull shit and abnormally stiff from God knows what natural processes. You can't even tell what brand it is. As you hold it in your hands, it makes an uncomfortable crunching sound. Man, how did this jacket get so disgusting? It's a sordid and filthy tale, not for the weak. Are you sure you can stomach it? Think about it. It occurs to you that you're not even holding the jacket itself, but rather the thick crust of jetsam and seagull shit that ensconces it. It smells like a dead sea creature, tangled in gray strands of seaweed. It must have spent quite some time in the water before the tide deposited ashore. Gross. Okay, what is the crest made of? Somehow it was carried or dragged to the boardwalk, if not by human hands, then, perha then perhaps the feral dogs that prowl the beaches at night. The faint impressions of many footprints are also present, though it's impossible to tell what kind or how many. Suffice to say, the jacket spent some time on the ground before someone dra draped it over the railing. Okay, that's pretty disgusting. I've had enough. What happened... What happened once someone put it on the railing? The crust is hard. This jacket spent at least a day baking in the sun. Who knows what happened to it then? Somewhere high above the city, a pair of seagulls trace loops through the air. They are like the bombardiers of the aerostatic brigade, gliding above a target-rich environment. All of a sudden, the bomb bay doors open, and their white glittering payload rushes to the ground. Splat, an explosion of white on a man's shoe. A curse goes up, but the birds do not hear. Why did I just spend all this time thinking about seagull shit? It's too late, you've already thought about it, and now your hands are covered in the muck. Ew, 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 flick your hands. Maybe if I wipe my hands on my pants? Now you've just flicked that shit everywhere. This is a disaster, you'll never get the smell out. Nice. Nice. Apricot chewing gum wrapper. A gleamy chewing gum wrapper found in the pocket of the laborer jeans. It goes off never so fanny. Read ledger. We already read the ledger. There's nothing left to read in the ledger. There is... There it is again, the scent of apricots with a touch of cinnamon. Smells like the end of some distant summer, the surface of another planet, or some ancient temple. Ancient temple? Yes, from the height of antiquity, a long, long time ago. Millennia ago, on an island of time you could never return to. End of summer. The sun sets into the sea, but the water does not boil. Instead, it turns to liquid gold. 
For a moment, the world's store of precious metal seems to increase dramatically, and you are rich. There is a movement next to you, the shuffle of a small coat, warm like the evening, but when you turn toward it, there is nothing there. Where did it go? Why are you talking to a gum wrapper? Take a deep, deep breath. Bitter, citrus sweet, it seems to grow stronger like a glow with every breath you take. Whatever petrochemical byproducts they use to create this artificial flavor have bonded tightly to the wrapper, or is it, is that just your memory filling in the gaps? What? Until a blossom of skin and flower petals erupts in, in behind, in behind, in behind of your closed eyes. Erupts in. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, made of made of toffee cream in distance. You just you just had to take a dive. It feels so so familiar. Put the wrapper away. You found a trace of ent a trace of entity you have found a trace of entity who's been stalking you across the plains the gloom stalker the conglomeration the shadowy organized organization behind the downfall possibly connected to the dreaded x something granted it is impossible to determine its true identity but you can remember where you first smelled its treachery yes use the 2d fruity gum wrapper reconstruct the day you first breathed in her in her untrustworthy atoms oh man i really want to i really want to do this what should we get rid of Rereading it skips time. Yeah, but I don't want to. I don't want to waste time. Like I don't mind using the time on something new. I don't want to waste it. Um, how long do we just have to do? Like until, until seven or what? Can I help you? Guard, I found a new bird for the whirling. Given the 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 rough the roughed grouse. What is this thing? The man takes the stuffed bird. It's no biggie. I just thought it would look nice on the wall. I'm that kind of cop. I wanted to apologize for breaking the great skua by bringing you this this roughed grouse. Okay, he inspects the bird somewhat suspiciously, then mellows. Okay, well, this is actually a nice bird. A competent piece of taxidermy. I can fix it to the plaque and have a new bird in the establishment. I guess he hesitates. So I don't know. Thank you. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with thank you. People don't know how to accept gifts, especially taxidermy. He likes it. He likes the bird. It solves his broken bird problem. I feel good about our work here today, Lieutenant Nods. It's all about the little things, like bringing people random stuffed animals. It's it's not actually about that, but he liked it. Okay, that did a minute. Oh, hello, dear. There you are again. I ran to your husband on the coast. The old woman clasped her hands together over her blankets. Her blanket. Goodness, how is he? Did he say why he hasn't returned yet? He's fine, ma'am. As he, as we had suspected, he couldn't get back earlier because the water lock on the canal was broken. Now he's just finishing up some work. Oh yes, that's my moral. He's bound to catch a cold staying out there for so long. But I'm so relieved to hear that he's okay. Thank you for putting an old woman's heart at ease, even if a little. You haven't, however. There are dangers out there. Our aging bodies fail. Our heart, her heart won't rest until moral is safely back with her. You never told me you seen the plasmid. Oh, you don't want to hear about some old woman's rambling. So I really want to know. You lied because you wanted Moral to be impressed with you. No, I really want to know. Reflexively, Lieutenant readies his familiar notebook. Well, it was summer, she starts. I w it was building a racing track out of sand on the beach. What? Near a tall stand of reeds. Quite a tall one. Many times my height, I remember. When all of a sudden, wait, where was this and how old were you? Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I was five and a half in Benton Court in the suburbs. My grandmother had a summer home there. She just started forming memories, real memories, not the billowy haze of infanthood. What happened? The strangest movement of my life. I looked up and one of the reeds moved. Not... Moment, sorry. Not like a plant, but like a living thing. It stood up and looked at me. Its body unfolded like some antique toy. I've never seen anything like it. I didn't know this could happen. So I reached my arm and touched the thing. It felt just like a stalk of reed, but it moved, swaying, towering above me. She looks at you. After a while, 20 seconds, a minute maybe, it left, went into the reeds. Did you follow it? I tried, but I was only a child. There was mud and high water. I couldn't see it anymore. I was just standing there, knee-deep in mud, looking around me. Where did you go? Don't. Where did you go? Don't go. Then what? I ran back home to my grandmother and asked her if reeds could walk and told her that, and told her they were looking at me. She chuckles. Of course. She just laughed at me, but I knew what I'd seen. For years, it was a story I told at parties when I wanted to impress boys. That sort of thing. She brushes her hair back. What? Of course, most people just took it as a strange amusing anecdote. So did I, honestly. But then I met Moral. We were on our first date when I told him my story. You should have seen his face. She smiles. He said, my descriptions match the phasmid down to a T. It's white marble limbs, the way it moved. You were on a date? Our first, yes. The woman... The old woman sighs tenderly. The sigh is tender, yes, but tempted by some, tempered by something else, a thought she can't express. Interesting. Its, whims, its limbs are white. Not all of them, as far as I remember, but some of them on the inside, like stalks of marble, if that makes sense. How big was it? It's quite hard to say how big things are when you're quite small yourself. To me, it seemed to be taller than I was then, but that's probably not the case. What if it is the case? 
Maybe you imagined it, Lena? Of course, I've thought about it, but Moral says my report matches with the others, and I'm sure I hadn't heard of the Phasmid as a child, nor had my mother or my grandmother. So how did I know what to imagine? It was only when I started telling my story as a teenager that boys would tell me, Lena, she lowers her voice, imitating a boy. You're trying to tell us you saw the Insulidian Phasmid out there in those reeds? Get out, get out of here, she smiles. They just give me a cider and ruffle my hair and tell me to stop dreaming, but I saw it. Kim, what do you think of this? I thought it was a wonderful story, ma'am. He closes his notes and gives her a simple smile, but I don't believe it. A child left unattended on a warm day. Children make up stories and end up believing them. Thank you for sharing this with me. You're welcome, sweetie. I do appreciate the chance to, to relive it whenever I get one. It was just, she sighs, such an impossibly sunshiny day, so warm. And she could get up there and walk right into the reeds on her own, into the mud, anywhere. That's all. All right, so I need to do half an hour. All right. Can we just wait on the bench? I don't think we can because Kim is with us, right? Yeah, we can't. All right. Um, call station. Yeah, we're supposed to call the station about something, right? Maybe that'll do. I don't mind going over. We didn't stream yesterday. Like, I, I, I want to avoid as much as possible, but I don't mind doing this for now. Pick up the radio again. Uh, I need to report a dead body on the Martinez boardwalk. One moment. You can hear shuffling through some papers. Can you please describe the body? Age, sex, cause of death. An unidentified middle-aged man. Height 170 to 175 centimeters. Dark hair, medium build. Looks like he slipped, fell through a hole in the boardwalk and hit his head against the metal bench. Wow, below below six feet. What a man lit. We suspect he might have been inebriated when he fell. There were bottles all around him and traces of vomit on his shirt. Any signs of violence? No, it seems like he, it was an accident. There might be a sequence killer on the loose. No, it was an accident. No field autopsy necessary, she repeats. You can hear her quickly typing in the background. What about his belongings? Did you examine his clothes? He was wearing boots, trousers, and an old leather jacket with a bright blue lining. I found a library card from his pockets. Any information on the library card? It's from Central Jamrock Public Library. It belongs to someone named Billy Magine. Good, you have a lead. Do you and Lieutenant Kitsuragi want to take the case, or should I sign it to someone else? We're taking the case. I have assigned the case to Lieutenant Kim Kitsuragi. Please follow up on this li on this library lead to identify the man. We'll send someone to take the body to the morgue. That's all for now. Thank you for reporting in. Is there anything else I can do for you? Connect me to the Jamrock Public Library. I'm afraid they're closed. Oh, no. It says here the library is open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. We should try again during business hours. All right. That's it. All right. Cool. So we need to kill another another 23 minutes. Okay. Are you, are you sure that I can't... It, it's not evening now, maybe? Like, no? Oh, here you go. Now it's evening, right? This is evening, isn't it? Okay, so same same rules apply on the inverse. If it's a 3% check and we succeed, then we get empty hands. All right, I'll empty the hands. Maybe that maybe that matters. I'll empty the hands. All right. And hands are empty. All right. If it's if it's 3% chance and we succeed, I'll I'll take a million off of Yaya. If it's 97 and we fail, I'll take a million off of Yaya, but we're not going to fail. It's 97%. Here we go. The bar is full and buzzing with chatter. No one is paying, atten paying any attention, but you still feel your knees turn to noodles. Okay, now a couple's looking at you even worse. All right, here we go. Oh, critical success. Damn, the air is thick with anticipation. Someone dims the lights as the music starts. Okay, here we go. I would often go there. What? To the tiny church there. Is Lizard Blaine? The smallest church in San San. Though it once was larger. How the real may rest there. Down through the mist there Toward the Seven Sisters Toward those pile cliffs there Let's get some O7s in the chat, boys I would often stay there In their tiny yard there Good song. I have been so glad here. Looking forward to the past here. 
But now, you are all alone. None of this matters. Oh, it hurts my throat no. just to listen to this. None of this matters. When's Snow Halation gonna start? At all. I would often go there to the tiny church there. The smallest in St. Sands. Though it was once larger, how the rill may rest there, down through the mist there, toward the Seven Sisters, toward the, those pale cliffs there. I would often stay there. In their tiny yard there, I would have been so glad here, looking forward to the past here, but now you're all alone, none of this matters at all. Thank you, ancient reptilian brain. A lazy applause fills the room. You feel your hands shake as awareness of your body returns to you. Thank you, ancient reptilian brain. I want to dedicate this song to whoever wrote me that fucking letter. I still love you. Thank you very much, asshole. I'd like to dedicate this song to my partner, Kim Kitsuragi, not to the lieutenant. I'd like to dedicate this song to Gart for letting me sing it. It's all shit, Gart. I'd like to dedicate this song to the pale, nothing that will devour nothing that will devour the world. I'd like to dedicate this song to the RCM. Please don't fire me. I want to, want to get this on to anyone. I performed it for myself. <laughs> Uh, if I say thank you, Ancient Reptilian Brain, do I get to do another choice? Because that's a thought, and then I get to speak. Because I want to dedicate it to, uh, I want to dedicate it to Kim. Because Kim's best boy. So do I get to, do I get to do, like, one and another one? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Thank you, Ancient Reptilian Brain. There's silence now in the deep where the voice came from. It has receded to return only in dreams and nightmares. This guy really carried you. I'd like to dedicate this song to my partner, Kim Kitsuragi. No, it's the lieutenant. Lieutenant doesn't say anything, but gives you a quick smile before turning away. Oh, he's being Sundari! Good, good. The cafeteria manager intervenes to cut the moment short. Are we ready? I want to unplug the microphone now. Any last last words? Evening will come. We will sew the white sail. Workers of the world unite. <laughs> Thank you, Martinez. <laughs> say nothing. Leave enigmatically. We did it. We did it. Did you like my singing, Kim? Yes. All right. We did it, Reddit. Speaking of Reddit, what happens if we fail? Okay, first of all, we take off all of our clothes, apart from the bow tie and the glasses. Oh, it gives drama. Okay, never mind. It was drama that we need, right? <sighs> necktie? That's the scarf. Where's the necktie? I'm being blind. Shit. There it is. There you go. Horrific necktie. Alright. So let's quick save. <gasps> oh, it's holy shit! What? What? We got double sixes when we went to when we went to, to fucking succeed. And we got double ones when we wanted to fail. Holy shit, that was Oh man! What the fuck? We would have failed 97. I didn't even need to take the clothes off. Holy shit! The air is thick with anticipation. Someone dims the lights as the music starts. A lumps, a, a lumps in your throat suddenly. <laughs> what? To the tiny church there, <laughs> the smallest church in San San. Though it once <laughs> was larger, how the real may rest there. This is. Down through the mist now. This this seems more emotional to me. Towards the seven sisters. Towards those pale cliffs now. 
I would often stay there. I was the was wrong. I, I think I do too. This is Lucky Seven's there. shit. I think I do. I have been so glad here. Looking forward to the past here. But now <laughs> you are all alone. None of this matters. And all. <laughs> Still going to dedicate it to Kim. Did you hear that? It's the most pathetic applause in the world, Harry. Made of pity. No one liked you. <laughs> oh man, we're we're Bernie, and the and the and the crowd is Hillary Clinton. Say you didn't like it, huh? I'm here here saying my fucking heart out, and it's and it's good enough for you, fucker. <laughs> Fuck you! I gave you my fucking best. I gave it everything, and you shit on. You hear or think you hear uncomfortable shifting around, a bit of laughter, maybe no one's saying anything. Um, I'm gonna unplug the mic now, okay? You don't know what good singing is. This is real singing. I sang about real stuff. That's it. I'm unplugging it. He presses the top on the tape carousel. You hear a little whine of feedback and then the mic dies in your hand. Let's go, officer. Lieutenant closes his notes. These people wouldn't know a good performance if it bit them in the ass. You liked it? Detective Dubois, he, he bows lightly. It was downright tragic. Now let's go. I mean, I mean it, he thinks. To him, being a cop in the RCM was truly expressed in that performance. Put down the mic. Kim is best boy. Yes. Best boy, Kim. Wow. Just wow. I hope you really enjoyed yourself up there. Had a cathartic experience. Because for the rest of us, that really sucked. It's safe to say this is about your karaoke performance. Fuck you. I have a vast soul and she will always come back to it. <sighs> yeah, I sucked up there. I'm sorry. I don't understand. You don't understand my performance. Those high notes, I purposely shredded them to convey a strained, worn out sadness. I get it. You were purposefully shit. So original. I'm not letting anyone up there again ever. Now, what do you want? Yes. What is it? I bet you liked that, didn't you? Let's be honest, that was some first-rate karaoke. Uh, okay, yes, that was pretty good. What? No, 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 no. The man with sunglasses shakes his head stubbornly. There are universal standards of, of good out there, and that, that was complete shit. Oh, man, you, th oh, shit. The objectivity police are here. Jean, she quietly interjects, giving you a compassionate side glance. He's not right. Treat him like you treat McCoy's little brother. Lieutenant Double, you're free to draw an archetype McCoy's younger brother, Lance McCoy, although a man of 32 years will mentally never surpass a six-year-old. Wait, what? John Lance? Who are these people? No idea, just passing on information stored in your fractured neural cortex. From within your mind haze, you hear the end of a sentence, and I'm not going to pretend like he's got a learning disability. Hey, I'm standing right here. Yes, and I'm wondering why. Don't you have a case to solve? Yes. Did you want something from me? All right, is there anyone else that we can talk to? Did you like my karaoke? The clowns are still hanging around. What is it now? No. All right, is that it? Nope. So that's it. Okay. So let me reload to make sure I, I remember that we do that we do the other path. And let's do one final poll, and then we'll be done for the day. All right. Who is better, chat? The ancient reptilian brain or the limbic system? Who sang it better? As a singer, singer or a character, I don't like like which whichever one you enjoyed the most. Like, what did you think was the best performance of that? Damn, it's pretty close. What were they the same song? Yeah, it was the same song. Brain was better. Limbic was more fun. <sighs> Thank you to Ralph Boggs. 100 bits. Better check with Lily real quick if the kids retroactively don't exist because you're a redditor now. <sighs> wow. Wow. I am I am Lasad now. I have been la downvoted. Dark Flash is using bits to say I heard you were in contact with Mike. <laughs> 
upset are you using bits to say t t i l about contact Mike? Ralph Gauze using another hundred bits to say I would tell a joke about contact Mike, but I can't think of a punchline. Oh damn! Lunar flyby for the hundred bits. Putting on a mesh shirt for the karaoke performance. Cough for Kim. Cough is a true gamer moment. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Ancient Reptilian Brain 1, congrats to you, Ancient Reptilian Brain, but it was pretty close. Do you know karaoke is a weeb word? Is it really? I do, I do not know the origin of the word karaoke. I think karaoke is Japanese for empty orchestra. Oh, that's kind of nice. Anyway, that's, that's it for me. Uh, this was a pretty fun stream. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys later. Have a good weekend. Poor baby Kate. See you guys later. Little, uh, little, little bit erotic for best boy. Wait, Joe, watch Jojo on stream. Jojo. Not gonna lie, looks like a Jojo character. I think, I think that's intentional. I just don't know enough about Jojo to say for sure. I think the message had, had Jojo. Thank you, Q2. Is that the Yaya hiding in the hair? Oh yeah, no, 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 on the, on the, up, on the top left, no, no. Wait, is Q2 part of the Yaya Alliance? Have I been putting a Yaya propaganda on on the uh, on the stream the whole time? When it was like, no, I know. I'm just saying, is is Q2 supporting a Yaya or not? I knew they were in there. I'm just wondering, what's the intent? Intent matters. No death of the fan artists here. Thank you for that, Q2. Thank you. A Yayaist. <laughs> Omedeto Ome, is the congratulations from Evangelion. I forgot you played the shitty English version when you scammed me. Wow, what a weeb. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, my, my chair is so squeaky. Weeb of Troy. Oh, we're still wearing the, the, the foglet jacket. We don't want to wear that. Um... We don't want to wear that either. Uh, Outer Wilds especially. Thank you Lizard from Hell for the 4 and 3 sub. Finally caught up with the VOD so now I can support the Ayaya Revolution. <sighs> Do you get coins for watching VODs? Oh no. If you get coins for watching VODs, like the VOD boys might rise up. No you don't? Oh man. The weebs could have had a great alliance with the VOD boys and girls. <sighs> oh no. Oh damn. How sad for you weebs. <laughs> I demand we be renamed to the Ayaya Axis. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. No. No. Hey, if that's what you guys want to call yourself, I can't control you. But I, I'm like, no. I, I, I am like, no way am I, am I opening that can of worms. No way. All right. Uh, trip Canal. This trap's not too hard to spot. Once you know what to look for, keeping it hidden has not been a priority of the cryptozoologist. Uh, look around. The reeds bend for forlornly toward the sand. Snow covers the broken stalks like a shroud, and they shimmer ghostly in the darkness. In the in the east, the city center hums to you. The constant distant song, louder on this part of the coast, nearer somehow. And there's that cold again, always the cold, reach for the trap. Nothing but locusts in this trap as well. Definitely no cryptozoological monstrosity. Empty as all of them, he pa he pants. One more of these and we're done. He pants. His face is red from the cold sea air. He crouches to catch his breath. Bummer it wasn't here. You getting tired? Then No, no, I'm fine. I didn't mean to complain. It's just he's short-winded. The sentence ends there. Aw, oh, Kim. Kim, go have a rest. Go have a rest. Why am I being Joe dot dot dotted? What? Why am I being Joe dot dot dotted? Oh, we have so many skill points. Holy crap. How about we revisit the task list again? Yeah, but we can, but right now we have the church thing to do, right? This looks different to me. Why does this look different? Is it the snow texture looking weird? Was this always open like this? Do you remember when chat asked you to play Disco Elysium and you thought you wouldn't like it, so you said you would only do one stream? Oh, how time flies. Yeah, that was that was a whole year ago. It's been 75 years. Children have been conceived, born, grown up, and gone to college since we started playing this game. Where's the other trap? I forget where it was. Was it way up north? Probably. Stupid fake door. 
Oh, this is this is a shirt. Nice. All right. Oh, wait, we found that guy's coat. We didn't get back to him, did we? There's the other one. All right. Hold down to move. Oh, they added this. Nice. Cool. Takes you a moment, but finally you spot the last of Moral's traps. This one's partially obscured by the reeds. Look around. The reeds shake sadly in the coastal breeze. Snow specks the stalks. Most of it melts quickly, relinquishing from relinquishing form to darkness. Yeah, that makes sense. The wind picks up here near the cape's end, surrounding a narrow strip of land from three cardinal directions. It's cold for this time of year. Reach for the trap. The trap feels light and silent as you pick it up. Something is different here. Look closer. No locusts. No phasmin either, but still. Immediately yell, it's empty. Look closer still. Lieutenant studies the trap with you. Well, the bait worked on something. This doesn't mean it was a reed monster, though, unless you see one in there. I just see an empty trap. The netting is a little untidy, messier than the others, like someone or something picked up the trap and shook it before dropping it back down on the ground. I do get the feeling that someone or something may have messed with the trap, but what if it was the phasmid? What if it ate them and got out? Yeah, it probably wasn't the phasmid, but still, Moral needs to know. You're right, I still need to, but I still need to tell the cryptozoologist about this. You're right, this crypto research has been stupid. Um, Number one. He purses his lips. Perhaps our cryptozoologists have competition in the form of an actual entomologist, or someone else is sabotaging them. I could present more theories, but I but then I would be taking this on as a case, which I'm not. You're right, but I still need to tell... Yeah, number two. We did sort of promise to tell them, didn't we? He seems to regret the fact. Leave. Man, I thought we were going to find one. Huh, so... Oh, you can't run, though! Oh, you can if you if, if your initial click if you initially double click it'll maintain the, the speed. All right, I guess that makes sense. Urgent, urgent! They added an animation when you pat the mailbox. Wow. Okay, we're never seeing that. Let's go give the guy the, his coat back. How many hours into the game? Um, I have played this for uh, 36 hours according to Steam. 36 hours. I think one time I accidentally left it running though after stream one day, so that might not be 100% accurate to how much we've played. Today is AI fun day, right? No, that's tomorrow. I found your jacket. Ah, uh, tequila, I knew you'd come through. That's fucking great, man. I found a little more than I bargained for. What's that supposed to mean? There was a dead body nearby. What's that got to do with my jacket? It's a pretty freaky coincidence. What do I care about? Some local stiff? You gonna give me my jacket or no? Fine, take the stupid thing, give him the jacket. Let me let me see. What? This isn't my jacket. My jacket was beautiful. This is fucking filthy. What am I supposed to do with this? Look, I may have just seen an omen of my impending death. I don't care about the jacket. What do you expect? You left it outside for a week. I'm sorry. I found it like this. Number two. Sorry, cop no more. I'm not taking a disgusting pile of hobo rags. I may be in, in an... Ir irrevocably decaying orbit, but I've still got standards. He hands it to you. Either bring it back the way it was before, or find a dumpster to burn it in. Lieutenant inspects the jacket in your hands. You know, despite the guano, it looks like the jacket itself is stain resistant. It may need a good, just need a good scrubbing. Fuck! How do we do that? Let's go cook it in the kitchen in the whirling in rags. Oh hey, wait! There's coffee in the back. Oh wait! I'm in the mother's love. What are you doing here? This is a special place, there's a per per perforation in the world up there, a way out into nothingness. He nods toward the ceiling. That's a cool line. This church is built around it for purposes of veneration. I circle it, nurtured by the silence bestowed by the mother. One of these days, I'll be pure enough to go drink from it directly. Who's this mother Mother of silence you keep talking about? Oh, that's no simple question, essay. She is one who can't be painted or sculpted. She is a cavity in the dark beyond sense. She saved me, but I couldn't describe her to you. No one can, Holmes, and no one ever will. What will happen once you drink from this perforation? I will be incinerated, but not destroyed. Finally, at one with the state of the world before reality began. That sounds a bit like subs substitution. Substitution. Behavior no. Substitution. Substitution. Not substitution. Behavior no. You know a thing or few about. I know a thing or few about that. You sure you just didn't switch one drug for another? I don't know that word, sorry. <gasps> oh, it's just substitution. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just reading it wrong. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's not like that at all, all man. It's just faith and joyful service. Too gleeful, those words. He's, he's lying, not to you, to his very own self. Faith is a kind of drug. I guess you have a point. Proceed. Let's agree to disagree. Faith is a kind of drug. He shakes his head. I've heard that before. Way. 
And I know, way, am I saying that right? And I know I can't convince you on the spot, but think, when's the last time you woke up from silent communion with a hangover regretting what you did last night? So, someone left a comment on their Persona streams. Uh, I get I get emails whenever someone uh, leaves a comment on the second channel, but not the first channel for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so someone left a comment on uh, the the persona streams uh, on the one where uh, I mispronounce uh, eccentric, and I and I pronounced it eccentric, and then just kept like double down on it to to, to fucking just like to to uh, to trigger the shit out of chat. But the, legitimately, I didn't say it right the first time. Um, and someone left a comment saying disliked because you couldn't pronounce e eccentric. <laughs> like, 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 really proud of it. Like, like, fuck you, dude. Like, you couldn't say that word, so I'm just like king. And it's like, like, yeah, you, you, you sure showed me. <laughs> there are drugs darker than alcohol circling your system. I think love might have been my my drug of choice, and I still, and I think I'm still hungover from it. He looks at you gravely. She, she she took you for a good spin, huh? Don't worry, bro. That love is but a drop compared to the ocean of, of, of the mother's love. Get downvoted, scrub? Exactly, exactly. The mother will eat all of you and never never spit you out. By the way, did you guys know that um that uh during 9-11 that uh, Steve Buscemi, he used to be a firefighter, by the way, uh, that he went back and joined the force temporary to help people during the, during you know, to clear 9-11? Did you guys know about that? Yeah. I guess you have a point. Let's agree to disagree. I don't take time. Don't sweat it. Still understand what you're doing in the church. I'm a Seraph Holmes. Seraph? I sing the mother's glory. I feel, I feel like some of you... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, I won't say anything else. I'm done. Uh, I'm a Seraph Holmes. I sing to the mother's glory. You should sing for me. The superstar cop. Point th your thumbs at yourself. It doesn't really make sense uh, for you to sing if she's the mother of silence. Not singing is good. I'm a bit of a singer myself. He laughs. I don't mean literal singing, Holmes. This is the mother of silence we're talking about. It's the singing of a burning heart. You may be thinking, but fire crackles. No, Holmes. That's the material that's burning. The flames themselves are without sound. How did you? Ooh, how did you find the, How did you even find this place, this church? Hard to say. I think I did some construction work here back when I still had material worries up there. I realized what the true purpose of the church was. Been spending a lot of time here ever since. The past is nothing new to me now. Way, it didn't belong to me. Right. I had other questions. The sinewy figure lingers on the wooden beams, blending into the shadows. You've been here a long time. Do you know why the church was abandoned? Police raid a while back. He responds. His voice suddenly flat. Did you witness it? Not really, or at least I don't remember much of it anymore. The mother's love has been has done its job. That's what's so great about the mother. It lets you forget about everything. It looks like he truly doesn't remember. There's a vagueness to his sense of time. Some ravers want to turn this place into a nightclub. The ones in the tent outside, right? I seen them. I'm guessing they're the ones who call me a crab. Probably scared of me. Wait, do they have a reason to be scared? So what do you think about the nightclub that is? I trust you won't be get in the way of some enterprising youth. Their business looks promising. Turning a church into a nightclub, I have to say it's a great idea. You should support it. So what do you think about the nightclub? Why not? They wouldn't bother me none. I'm usually way up there imbibing. Ain't no music on earth that can reach where I go. Might even be nice to have some company. He said that in spite of himself, he's more attached to the human than he'd like to think. Hmm. I'm surprised he went for that. Do you know where the, the other spooker is? Other spooker. Oh, essay Vegeta me my diosa. He laughs. Fucking nailed it. Dunno Holmes. Snow halation. Vegeta is grandma. Wait, so there is another person living in the church and it's Vegeta? <laughs> No, I just call her Vegeta because of her clothes. She's actually quite young. He scratches his head, or maybe not that young. Age is just one of the many masks we wear. <sighs> That's creepy. Uh, and don't you know where she is? That's what I said, Holmes. How can you not know when, when both when? How can you not know that when both you live here, when you both live here? Don't really follow her comings and goings. Just see her typing on her computer now and then. We've got different interests. So you've got nothing else to tell me. How she looks, what she does, who she is, who who is she? So is this like the spiritual and the other one's the scientist? I'm not afraid, SA. You just have to wait until she comes back or he shrugs. Or search through her radio computer. Okay. I have no idea what this game is. And this is my first time to tuning into stream. So I am, I am so confused. Um, this is sort of like a... 
Frost has drawn flowers on the grass. It's going to do. It's kind of like a visual novel with a more traditional um, CRPG uh, interface and way of playing. Uh, I do think this qualifies as, as a game more than some some other like things that are mostly visual novels. Um, but yeah, it's uh, very very story heavy. There's no combat. The gameplay is more about character progression and character choices. Figure drawn on the frost in the window depicting a deer. Um, I wouldn't suggest watching this as your first stream of this game or the first stream of me either. Crack pane of glass, colorful. Um, uh, and the game's pretty good, so you, you, you probably don't want to be spoiled. The spider spun its web around this wood-carved pillar. Would you say this game is worth the price for someone who loves interactive stories? Absolutely. As long as you enjoy this kind of goofball tone that it has. It has some serious moments, but it's it's like it's satire. So, yeah. If you don't enjoy that, then you like yeah, you're not going to enjoy this. But I think this game is mostly fantastic. Damn, look at that with the lungs. In white, silver, and apricot fans, the young mother of humanism stands above you. A crack runs across her body. She is impossibly tall, oval-faced, and sad, a dark and radiant majesty. This is her innocence, Dolores Day. Cradled in her arms are a pair of glowing lungs, clearly visible from underneath her flowing dress. You should kneel. Kneel, no. Your knees touch the floor, the floorboards are hard and cold. There you kneel among the snow drifts, diff diffuse light falling on your hands from beyond the glass. Close your eyes first. The world is silent, but for the crack but for the creaks and cracks of the massive wooden structure behind you, it covers you from the wind outside. The ocean feels distant, its ebb and flow blocked off from by the century's old pine woods sarcophagus around you. Open your eyes. Time to pose as Jesus. Yeah, no kidding. The woman looks down at you, kneeling. She lowers, sorry, she towers among her followers, architects, laymen, courtiers. There is a sad smile on her lips and a glint in her green blue eye. Eye? Of what? Compassion? Remorse? She acknowledges the passing of someone who is still alive. You. It's compassion. It's remorse. It's mourning. It's not possible to live. It's compassion. As that soft word passes through your mind, the lieutenant draws an X-shaped cross from shoulder to shoulder. Do the same as you get up. Your fingertips touch your chest four times and you rise from your knees into the apricot-colored light of the window. Above you, the woman still smiles, her distant smile, sundered by the crack in the glass. This is Dolores Day. How did I know this is the mother of humanism? Reconstruct the cracked glass with visual calculus. Oh, these are cool. Let's do Dolores Day first. The old woman in the village was right. He looks round. This must be the DeLorean Church of hu Humanity in Martinez, or some, or the small Pinewood Church in some records. You knew the place? It's a minor landmark, not easy to find. Most maps misplace it. He lowers his voice. It was built not long after uh, Revachal's founding, 300 or so years ago, by first-generation settlers on the coast of the uninhabited archipelago, where only animals had roamed before in the wild reeds. What else do you know? There used to be seven stave churches on the coast. Lesep Sors, they call them, the seven sisters. Only one remains. The rest were burnt in the revolution or used for building materials. We should be respectful here, although the building appears to be deserted. I do not believe we'll find anything connected to the lynching here. Something else, perhaps, he looks at the machinery lying around. Respectful? And is Lieutenant a follower of DeLoreanism? A pang of guilt. The lieutenant is leaving something out. Do you know why it was abandoned? I have a theory, yes. There's a pause, and he continues. There was a police trade a while back. I heard the place was shot to pieces. The old woman in the village was being tactful with us when she didn't mention it. She has more respect for the RCM than many around here. Who conducted this raid? Well, your station was involved, I hear, although I can't be sure. How come the lieutenant isn't sure? Is this confidential information? You're not sure? Three pre precincts were involved in the raid, and people say Precinct 41 was one of them. I don't remember being here. I look around. I guess I could have been here. I don't remember being here. I'm pretty sure it was a clandestine operation. I don't know anything more about it, why it was conducted, or who participated. I try not to pry into extra district matters. If I was here, I should find out what I was doing. Proceed. Good luck. You will not get it. You will not get information on a confidential operation from your station secretary just by calling. If you really don't remember, it might be better to keep this one forgotten. It happened a while ago. It's unimportant to our business in Marnay's now. Kim, are you a follower of DeLoreanism? Yes, we all are. Her name, body, and rule are synonymous with humanism. The laws we enforce are DeLorean in origin. Hmm, stroke your chin for... <laughs> <laughs> the woman looks by in silence, smiling enigmatically. I don't think I didn't think you were spiritual. I'm not spiritual, it's constitutional. The DeLorean system does not demand faith, only accordance. Encyclopedia. 
Despite the damage you've done to yourself, the title appears lodged into the title appears lodged in your hippocampus. This is her innocence, Dolores Day, the innocence of humanism, internationalism, and the welfare state. Perhaps the most famous human being to ever to have lived. Jesus 2.0. No amount of Commodore Red can wipe her sad smile from your brain thing. It has survived the deluge and haunts you still, and will haunt you forever as it haunts all men. I mean, like, is she as important as Chiaki though? Like, I'm not sure about that. Wait, what exactly is an innocence? I've heard of the system. Wait, okay. When did she rule? What else do I know about her? I want more. Okay, let's go one by one. The highest category of historic, indi of historic individual, an embodiment of the world spirit, a ruler? More, an innocence is elected to office by the founding party, a precedent that has taken place a mere six times in the entirety of history. The legal system of the real belt is built to accommodate an innocentic rule, should it coincide with our time. An, innocent, an innocence is infallible. The decisions made by one are not decisions, they are inevitabilities. So she's like the Pope. What would have happened anyway only accelerated, packed into decades instead of centuries. An innocence is a continuous co compressed event, a sacred human being. It is an honor and a glory to live when one is in office. Is one in office now? No, we are alone. Okay, when did she rule? 300 years ago, in the wake of the discovery of the Sisola, the Insulidi Insulidian in Suladian, by explorers from the continent of Mundi. She is, among all, among other things, the innocence of inter, inter isolary travel and the connected world. What else do I know about her? Many things. You know she was a woman of the court, the wife of an influential Marchese, and eventually the principal advisor to Irene La Navigatura, Queen of Sir Surinese, modern day Sir Le Clef. Of course, I was I already knew that. You didn't have to put that in parentheses. I already knew that. Also, that she was gorgeous beyond beauty. Okay, what else? Was she was she smart? Terribly. Women of the court were expected to play both contract bridge and chess sufficiently well to prove an interesting challenge to a man. A similar grasp in matters of philosophy theology and science was encouraged. She was, by all means, a kept woman. She made the most of her position in the Antidolorian court, a court visited by the most prominent thinkers and artists of the day. In secret, she was becoming the era's preeminent philosopher of the state, a scalpel, a piercing gaze, and then she got killed. She was an almost preternaturally magnetic and intelligent individual. To her contemporaries, she appeared at a time, a messenger from the future of the species. We all fell in love with her, head over heels. Even before she was declared an innocence, her influence was tremendous. How come? It was on her advice that Irene La Navigateur sponsored a number of voyages into the Pale, a costly, often tragic endeavor, ultimately vindicated by the discovery of the new, new world, the piece of reality you're standing on. She was crowned two years after the first expedition returned, setting in motion what is widely considered the greatest era in history, the DeLorean era, when anime was banned. Wow. Wow, indeed. When her innocence was declared and the queen she had advised for years fell on her knees before her, she was so overcome with emotion that her lungs started glowing in her chest. Bystanders reported go golden filaments lighting the already sunlit chamber around her, clearly visible beneath her dress. That is why the lungs are the symbol of love for the, the cultures of the real belt. I want more. As did we all, the lands of Mesca and the Occident were, and even far away, Supramundi, altogether 21 of the 40 Mondial nation, nations of the time, immediately accepted innocentic rule, even before her crowning. Her crowning? In a city called Advesperacit, in Vesper Messenia, Messina, her homeland, the name of the city means evening comes, but it happened on a winter's morning with the canals frozen and slush falling out of the sky. She was dressed in white and pearl in a white and pearl dress on an emptied out plaza with the crowd far away. Already her theriers, the secret servicemen of the innocents, were worried about an, assassina an assassination attempt. Did she like pineapple on pizza though? She must have been beautiful. Oh yeah, she looked like humanity's young mother, a perfect mother, insultingly beautiful. It was... <laughs> I really like that. I really like that. Insultingly beautiful. I wrote that. There was there was a character I, I had once that um, that another character described that she was so beautiful that, that it made him angry. <laughs> <laughs> it was as if her face and shoulders and hands were covered in a soft down of under feathers. You know this well, very well. Midwinter snow was beating the cobblestones around her. A small attach, attachy of officials stood by her. Uh, theriers placed a white gold. Sorry, a small attaché official stood by as her theriers placed a white gold wreath on her head. The crowning was mostly witnessed by secret servicemen. Then what? 
One of the men in the Secret Service killed her 22 years later. A young man who had come to suspect that Dolores Day was not entirely human, but something else. What? Something that had walked in our midst, watching us stumble for hundreds, if not thousands of years, until it decided to interfere, interfere in the course of our history. We were supposed to come up with this ourselves, the man was reported to have screamed at the innocents. Dolores Day was shot in the chest with a fouling piece eight times. The man, thought to be insane, said he once touched her and her body had been unnaturally warm, like a furnace, and that sometimes while on duty he observed her forgetting to breathe for over ten minutes. This inhuman quality was witnessed by many others as well, glowing lungs and all. It is commonly attributed to mass hysteria and religious psychology was there something terrifying about her terrifying is too is, is a term too emotionally charged for your semantic memory but what remains of it or what remains of it but although she is often considered to be the greatest human being to ever live there was something ominous about Dolores Day constantly surrounded by her by her theriers. she was the most socially secluded and least self-aware of all the innocences. Some modern thinkers would consider her a war criminal for the campaign she waged against the Mesca state. And then there were the re then there were the resettlement programs. What happened? The Mesca state tried to detach itself from an innocentic rule. Parts of the world were experiencing whiplash from accelerating into secularism. Her mandatory education programs and mass resettlement of upstream Magritte were problematic as well. The centers were suppressed by a military force she called the Army of humanity suggesting those who fight against it are not are not part of humanity hmm. she adored chess yes but also military war games dolores day often holds a tiny tin soldier between her index finger and thumb in icons such as this not this time though she was also blonde the blondest woman you ever you you have ever seen with green eyes the color of the pesantic mare interregnum little is known of her marches of our Marchese husband. It's as if he vanished from history after completing his role, which was to introduce Dolores Day to, to court. In conclusion, yes, there is something lonely, paranoid, and even terrifying that people seldom mention, but feel when they think of her. Damn, Joe's type. Yeah, no kidding. This so subtle terror is part of her iconography. <laughs> Lieutenant Yefrider, if you've, stu you've stood there for over five minutes, the lieutenant's calm voices echo in the cold air of the church. Or Echo, sorry. What are you thinking of, if I may ask? She's somehow connected to the case. Glowing lungs, that's fucked up. Nothing, just looking around. She's beautiful. She's not human. Yell, war criminal. <laughs> glowing lungs, that's fucked up. Yes, glowing lungs are quite unusual. After that one time, they may not... They have not been reported to glow. He takes his glasses off to clean them. You know, this church, the coast, we shouldn't linger. Finish what you came here to do and let's move on. This isn't a good place to get lost in. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Holy shit. A jigsaw of broken shards falls into, into place in front of you. A ghostly reconstruction of the stained glass window. Before it was shattered, there was an older woman beneath the younger one and a text, a limotif below them both. Who? Sh what shattered this mosaic? It was us. Unknown. Something during the raid lieutenant mentioned or just hooligans looking for something to break. Who is this older woman? The S. S. Escutcheon? 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 I do not know that word. Escutcheon. Escutcheon. Escutcheon, not Eon. Escutcheon. Escutcheon. See, I'm saying it like it's a Pokemon. Like, Eevee evolves into an Escutcheon, but no, it's Escutcheon. 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 All right. The escutcheon on her throne says, Irene the Navigator. She is depicted as an older woman wearing thick-rimmed eyeglasses, holding a golden reichsap full in one hand and a scepter in the other. This is the queen her innocence day advised. Above, she herself is whole. Small figures of wise men, common men, worshippers walk up the stairs to stand at her feet. Secret service men, theriers, stand in a row guarding her. It must have taken years to produce this work in all of its dizzying detail. The motto, what does it say? What's the motto of you? Below both women in luminous black letter, Après la, la vie mort, Après la mort, la vie de nouveau. And then along the left side, Après le monde, le monde, le gris, Après le gris, le monde de, de nouveau. After life, death, after death, life again, after the world, the pale, after the pale, the world again. This is the great, the great le motif of humanism. A summary of the effect of the discovery of this Isola, the Insulidian, on human thinking. A tremendous sea change akin to finding life after death. Lieutenant, this used to say, after life, death, after... Yeah, he knows. Death, life again, he nods. After the world, the pale, after the pale, the world again. This exaltation is common in DeLorean sacralism. In the early years, it was even incorporated as the RCM slogan. No more, however. Why? 
<clears throat> it was deemed subservient to use a strongly moral intern related motto. We're already suspected of bootlicking. The sentence was also seen as too feminine. It was a much it was a macho thing. What is the RCM motto now? Justice, union, pr prudence, and force. Jup. Whoa, cool. Not very feminine. I like the, this, the other one better. I like this. Puts the fear of God back in the foglets. Whoa, uh, I like the other one better. So do I. Step back. All right. Turn away. The mother of Hunas and towers above you. Yeah, okay. Well, that was a fun, um, fun uh, sequence. Hey, her innocence, Dolores Day, liked little figurines, right? Like holding little men between her, her fingers, remember? Damn, the symbolism. What? You have the revolutionary soldier figurine. You should give it to her. Win her back. What? Look around. Win who back? I can't win her back. She's a long dead historical figure. I should. Yes. This is a task of mine now. So very, very, very nifty. Nifty and mysterious. I like the word nifty. This is surely what the figurines are for. Exactly. Looks like I can't give this figurine to her. Why? Because she's a stained glass window. That does seem to be a problem. Maybe you're meant to do something. Maybe you meant something else. Like what? Is the task still on? I don't know. What are we thinking of? Part of your mind has gone to, to other things already. The mother of humanism. Hmm. Okay. A machine stands in the corner, watched over by the figures on the stink. What's this oxygen not included music? It's turned on and quivering with soft electricity. Oh, well, now it sounds like Mass Effect. Another radio computer, says the lieutenant, stepping closer, and this time it's already turned on. He seems cautious around the machine. These machines sometimes harbor traps, he thinks. Alarm systems and the like. Let's be careful. We should leave. I doubt this place bears any connection to the case. Yes, but this machine looks just like the one in the Doom commercial area. Where is the woman? Because w weren't they locked in? There must be another way out, I guess. Wait, let me just investigate it. Step behind the computer. You see a varescent play and print buttons on the keyboard. I, ha I think I just added an A. A hatch connected to the central compartment is wide open. I, leader of the AI Axis, do not approve of anything you wouldn't allow in good conscience, except for the name, of course, that stays glory to Ayaya. <laughs> the lieutenant says nothing. You see the machine's glowing frame reflected back from his diamond-shaped glasses. Uh, really? Uh, you're free to proceed. Look inside the compartment. Behind the hatch sits a cube-like crisscross of filament smoldering in the dark like fireflies. Silver tape on the side says in a black marker, log February, March. Another filament memory. Press play to talk to the, with the repeater. Press play. The speaker comes to life. Static seeps through the machines. Planar, or planar? I think planar. Magnetic driver. The old, an old lady greets you. Her voice sounds like, sounds a hundred years old. Good evening, Fortress Accident on St. Brune. This is the East Insulididian Repeater Station 1. Please repeat, is this, a per is, is this the personal log? I'm not doing it for the whole thing. It's the same old woman you spoke with through the radio computer in the Doom commercial area. Yvonne, it's me again. How are you? Good, thank you. It's not clear whether she recognizes your voice. Please repeat, is this the personal log? I looked inside the core, but the tape on the filament just said log February March. Good, please repeat the password. Let's look around, there's no use trying to guess the answer. Maybe he knows something, Lieutenant nods towards Diego. A password, I'm really bad at passwords, can you give me a hint? No. A hint system is not part of the protocol for repeater stations. Is it my birthday? Still no. This is, I don't know the password. Received, I will register this login attempt. Fortress accident, is there anything else I can do for you today? Fortress accident like the one in the Doom commercial area. I have two machines registered to this company name in Martinez, one on St. Brune, the other on Rue de St. Ghislaine. St. Brune, that's the church. The lieutenant gestures, gestures around him and Rue de St. Ghislaine, that's the Doom commercial area. I love that he's just calling it that now too. We've just, <laughs> we've just beaten him down <laughs> into our own insanity. Anything else I can help you with? Thanks, but I'm finished with this call. Press off silent. Sleep well, Fortress accident, she says as her voice disappears into a world of static. Press print. Nothing happens. Look inside the compartment. Can we replace it with what we have? Don't we have a, um, yeah, this. Oh, hey, wait. There's coffee in the back. Oh, wait. I'm in the mother's love. Have you by any chance heard the, the Vegeta say the password to her radio computer? Too many times I say you need it for something. 
surveys are a good way to fish for personal information, especially in the name of public safety. I'm doing a survey of passwords and passcodes, identifying regional trends in the interest of public safety, of course. Just tell me the password, step closer. Yes, it's for a first degree murder investigation in Martinez. Honestly, I just want to break into a radio computer, see what's on it. Um, I mean, technically three, it might be connected. We have no idea. Like this is a lot of work for something that's not connected to the main story. Although it's this game, so there might not even be a main story. Like, would you just be honest? Like we're, we're honest, sorry cop, right? Don't sweat it, Veto. The password is after life death. What do you think of that? Makes me almost pity the, the La Nihilista Pequena when I hear it. Yeah, me too. I think we're done here. I say the figure crawls off into the darkness above. That was an interesting conversation. However, I'm still not sure still not sure how it's relevant to our investigation. Sorry that you can hear the baby crying. But that's all the way from downstairs. Thank you, Uber2013, for some bits. Back in 2016, I read an article on the Frankfurter Allgemeine Sonntag Zeitung which is one of the most conservative newspaper we have here in Germany, in which the author pr praised Kono Shibareshi as one of the as one of the most enjoyable Japanese art pieces of the recent times and called it the Japanese interpretation of Mr. Bean. So you should watch it and become a weeb. Let quality journalism make you a fucking weeb. After life, death. Good, I've unlocked the filament. After ending the call, please press print to access the filament. Fortress accident, is there anything else I can do for you today? That's it. The printer prints out a long text document with dated paragraphs. It looks a bit like someone's journal. Read the printout. The first entry made, by the, made on the 4th February of 51 by an unknown author is short and concise. Oh, thank God. Arrived at the church. The door was boarded up, so I used the crowbar to get inside. Looks like the place has been deserted. Nothing out of the ordinary, but I'll ask around. Need to figure out how to get the electricity in. The lieutenant leans closer, scouring the printout over your shoulder. Just as you finish reading, he looks up, muttering under his breath. Fourth of February? That's over a month ago. Whoever set up those machines has been here for quite a while. Do you think this law might be connected to the case? Our case? No, I don't think so. It must be some local. His eyes wander to the various machines around him. Encentric. Read the second entry. 6th of February, 51. Had a little chat with the local fisherman. Said I shouldn't go near that place. That the church was spoopy and ridden with narcotics. It's a little spoopy, all right. Still haven't figured out the electricity. Read the third entry. 7th of February, 51. Finally got the electricity in. Next on the agenda, a new antenna. I'm thinking Esker series? Something advanced. Why would she need an antenna? Why would anyone need need any of this equipment here? He steps on a wire running on the ground, inspecting it with his boot. Read the fourth entry. 8th of February, 51. Bought the antenna, had some problems setting it up. Called Simo for help. Heard the others are back to making art, drinking somewhere out of town. Sulisla started a rock band again. Lexi has been, has been seen asking money from strangers. Oh man. Our kind of person but at least the artists have their act together the qualified labor they can get work anywhere graphic designs ads the programmers are doing fine too i mean the programmers the writers though they're fucked i just have to find out what caused that data loss and be done with it still don't understand how it managed to wipe out the backup when the backup wasn't even connected to the front i know i know everyone thinks it's impossible they say i must be lying i'm here to set it right a data loss Artists, programmers, Lexi, who are these people? A data loss? Seems like something to do with radio computers. Unfortunately, I don't know enough about them to understand what the author is saying. Something about the backup data getting destroyed and how everyone thought it was the author's fault. He adjusts his glasses. Let's just keep reading. I think these people worked in the radio computer games business, the one we saw in the Dune commercial area. <laughs> they must be her former co-workers. Read the fifth entry. 12th of February, 51, brought some food from the grocery store. Apparently there's a strike going on in the harbor. Definitely not happy to see the Martinez people again. Everything's now set up in the church. Going to start working tomorrow, 8 a.m. The strike, he strokes his chin. We're nearing the date of the murder. Keep reading. I'm interested now. I want to know what's, what's, no, what is that radio anomaly? What's that radio anomaly that sent this person here in the first place? Damn, Kim, you're into it now. Read the sixth entry. Kim, I think that you are the innocence of our time. You gotta be. 25th of February, 51. I've been sending data up to Lintel for a while now, trying to recreate the data loss, but nothing. Didn't even feel like logging in, in the disappointment. But I did discover a curious audio spatial anomaly at the back of the church. I've named it the Swallow. It's Swallow Sound. Need to get some mics. 
Is she talking about Lieutenant looks to his right toward the silence read the seventh entry? What about contact mic? 20th February 51. Yes, the first recordings confirm that the swallow is real and I'm not just losing my mind. It's a pillar of silence with a diameter of approximately three meters. Seems like the higher I go, the less I record. This might be a coincidence or it could be the connected to the data loss that led me here. The pillar of silence. She is talking about the silence. Is she suggesting it's more than just an architectural, architectural, can't say that, architectural, quirk i can't say that word sorry but what could it be look at the water basins behind you bastard accent strikes again the lieutenant doesn't answer he follows your gaze studying the basins the water shines in them no ripples read the eighth entry march 51 some kind of young disco men have appeared next to the church i've been trying to record the silence to find the epicenter but now it turns out i've also been capturing the future of dance music one neo disco song over and over again fortunately the song is so monotonous i was able to devise an algorithm to factor it out the other day one of the disco men came in before i could even say hello she got scared and left good i don't want anyone distracting me from my work she must be describing as a seal the girl on the ice sounds like her yes read the ninth entry march 51 i got a call from the repeater station someone has tried to access the radio computer in our old office in martinez can't do anything about it the storekeeper still doesn't want to let me in inside the building thinks i'm part of some some kind of curse how martin is of her <laughs> that's me i was the one who broke into the radio that radio computer and the storekeeper must be placence what what if we hadn't done that interesting all right i knew it wasn't a good idea to meddle with that machine read the 10th entry March 51st, a new 2 meter aux cable, noodles, crackers, ping ping energy drinks, water toothpaste, gum, and some canned air. Your reading is interrupted by the sound of the church door opening. A strange woman makes straight for the radio computer. Oh, here we go. Did they move? Wait, you're not even saying hello? Breaking into my radio computer, I see. She glares at you as she holds down the off button for several seconds, the machine reboots. I do apologize for the intrusion, madame. We are with the RCM, you see. We hear on a side case representing certain music venue organizers. We're not just breaking in, I'm pursuing a mysterious lead, searching for my lost identity. You won't find any answers from here. She barely looks up from the keyboard. You hear the machine whir, whir, whir back to life. It is me and my computer, and it has been this way for weeks. Now, please give me some room. I need two seconds to see that you haven't destroyed anything. We should talk to her after she has rebooted the machine. Kim already does, does already have a halo. It's true. Did you know there's a dedicated user that time logs baby crying times on your Persona 5? Yeah, I do know that. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I think I've spoken about that once on stream before. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. What is it? The woman is still hunched over the keyboard, gently illuminated by the purring machine. I didn't break anything, did I? No, you just printed out my personal lock and wasted some paper. It does not look like a big loss to her. Hey, are you the lead programmer of Whirl and Tethered by any chance? Yes. Or no, not anymore. That project is dead. She doesn't seem surprised to be recognized, rather sad. Something passes over her face before she straightens her back. Sorry, but who are you? What are you doing here? I am Sona Lukan and Kilde, the former lead programmer of Fortress Accident and RSA radios. I have over 16 years of programming experience, and I'm proficient in both Vox and Orbis languages. Damn, you must have crunched a lot. If you're not here to hire me, I don't really know how can I help you. She turns back to the terminal. Did she say over 16 years of experience? She must have started programming when she was still a teenager. Have you seen the Crab Man? No, but you know he's around. Yes, he's seen you, and, and the Crab Man has seen you. I don't care. I don't care about crab men. She barely looks up, now tinkering with the machine's printer. Why are there so many machines in this place? I brought them here. The, these are my machines. Please don't touch anything. Why do you need an antenna? Point to it. I use the AR1 as my REM per prefect processing unit. Wait, what? REM perfect. Prefect, sorry. My radio computer, she explains. And that antenna is its processing unit? Yes, she sighs. You really don't know anything about radio computers, do you? She stopped. She stopped. She has stopped working now. Not really. I know a little. I don't really know much about anything in this world, to be honest. All right, well, all radio computers perform operations up on air. So in order to gain more processing power, you need to invest in a good an antenna. What? Wait, what's on air? On the front, the unified front of radio waves, licensed and controlled by Lintel in the East Insulin Insulindic region. It's all around us, she waves her hand. That's what on air means. Like love. 
like like the cloud and the AR1 is it a good antenna she stops to think I guess it is so far I've been quite satisfied with it Martinez is an unstable region with bad coverage and the operation has been surprisingly stable but it's not the cheapest one on the market so I wouldn't recommend it for your regular red tape operations. Fraser 1000 is a foolproof line for civilians. Anyway, she turns back to her terminal. You should do some. You should do some research before you decide to buy anything. Ask around. Compare the prices. There are many milius mil mil dedicated to that sort of thing. Milius. She likes telling you this. It calmed her nerves. What are you doing with your radio computer? I'm working. The machine seems almost alien with its pulsing core, the light casting her face in a strange shadow. Working on what? Could you, she closes her eyes, could you just shh for a moment or get to the point I really need to focus on something? It's not just rudeness, it's really hard to concentrate on whatever she needs to do and you're not helping. What about those bowls of water over there? They are connected to my REM prefect, she looks up. Whatever you do, just please don't move them, okay? Thanks. Short and terse, there you have it. Whatever she's using them for, they're hers. Right, I'll try not to touch anything. Next question. Great, she dwells back she dwells back into the glowing terminal. Dwells back? Hmm. What are you doing in an abandoned church? You really like those questions, don't you? There's a hint of amusement in her tired eyes. I'm a police officer, it's my job to ask questions. I'm conducting a scientific a scientific research here. You can't throw me out, she says, ready to stand her ground. What research? I'm looking for the location of a two millimeter hole in the world. Wait, what? She's looking for a disruption in the radio waves. That's what her personal log said. The lieutenant raises his brows but doesn't say anything. Is the hole connected to the data loss in your journal? Yes, that's what led me here. She stares at the burnished antenna on a nearby table, but I suspect it might be something a bit more complicated than that. A hole in the world, what does that mean exactly? Exactly, exactly, what does it mean? There's something frantic about her as she locks her gaze with you, eyes shining like pearls. Up to now it has been impossible to say what it is because it's impossible to measure nothing. What do what do you think it is? What qualities does nothing have? How do you measure something that does not exist? She's suddenly absorbed in the conversation, waiting for your answer. Easy, you measure it by the world around it. Hold on a moment. Does it mean we're does it mean we're now living in a world that has holes in it? You measure it by collecting data on its surroundings, on on that which exists. I can't even understand how we're talking about something that doesn't exist, let alone measure it. Let's go number two. Exactly, she, she nods. Very true. That's what I've been aiming for. That's why I have those basins. I've tried using hydro transducers to record the silence to find out where it begins. But honestly, it's not progressing very well. She grows silent, staring at her circle of basins. It looks like some ancient ritual. Do you have any idea where this hole might be located? Somewhere underneath the, those roof beams, I assume. She looks up, eyes trying to pierce the pitch black heights above, but without much success. Only a faint crisscross of rafters can be made out from the dark, most of the tower disappearing into the shade. Why there? There's this place at the back of the church, a place where all audio, audible vibrations seem to decease. I've named it the Swallow, and the higher you go, the less you record. How did you get out of here when it was padlocked? Were you locked out? Eh, whatever. A pillar of silence, are you sure it's not just an architectural quirk? Hey, I said it! Maybe it's oddly close to the physical coordinates of the data loss that led me to this place. This is where the crab man lives. I know. You don't think the crab man might be somehow responsible here? No, I don't. She sounds mildly annoyed by this line of questioning, her hands typing hundreds of commands into the machine. You said the research isn't going well, why not? Because it's just trial and error trying to locate the swallow, the exact point in space. And I don't have a... She stops from sentence. You know what? It would be really helpful if you could just stop talking and let me work. That's all I want to know about the scary 2 millimeter hole in the world. For now. Great. Her hands are a whirl on the keyboard. Thanks. Hey, about the 2 millimeter hole again. <laughs> How do you feel about an anodic dance music? What? She squints her eyes. I hate it. I bet she hasn't even heard it. Have you even listened to it? Like, actually listened? What are you, 40? It's the future of the dance music. Same here, it just doesn't connect. Same here, it just doesn't connect here. Tap on your heart, not like disco does anyway. Okay, wow, that was quick. Why do you hate it? Have you even listened to it? Yeah, like all the time, my tent neighbors don't really ease up with their partying, do they? She pulls a face that looks absolutely scathing. Maybe I'd have to be on drugs to get it, but to a sober mind, it just sounds like uninspired rug, rug whipping. Nice. No idea what it has to do with either dancing or music. Right, right, but how do you feel about a club for anodic dance music? 
This is about the speed freaks in the tent, isn't it? She looks up, shaking her head. They've, I've got some news for you. It's not a nightclub they want to build here. What do they want to build then? Take a guess, why don't you? I hear they're also planning on building a drug lab. A youth center would be nice. A petting zoo, a place for animals. Maybe some community space to help the elderly. I'm still convinced they want to establish a nightclub for Anadic music. They said it's their dream, number one. Bingo, she snaps her fingers. That's exactly what they're up to. Wonderful, the lieutenant whispers, admiring the embellished pillars and the spectacular architecture in the church. Now this house of worship is also going to be a drug lab. Also something, always something fascinating happening in tents. Yeah, it's so intense. They're, they're just encouraging an active youth culture here. Nothing wrong with that. Mind-altering substances are a vital part of Anadic club, of Anadic club scene. It helps to bring the community together. Say nothing. So that's settled. Great. She supports her chin on her hand, visibly pleased. No nightclubs in the church then. Wait, what? All right, I'll let you work in peace now. All right. Well, this was a fucking waste of time. All right, let's go back and tell them that they can't do it. I don't want them stinking up, stinking up the my waifu's house of worship with their bullshit. Hardcore, hardcore. Undo, undo undo uh thank you zorgrox for the 100 bits disco elysium has definitely been some some of my streams ever like your favorite streams ever always fun to hear you laugh sorry that's so hard on you glad you're enjoying it just sad that i have to come late every stream because of class partial vod boys unite damn uh, okay i agree you can be a partial vod boy but you can't be a partial weeb you're either a weeb or you're not a weeb that's my ruling uh, it's okay. It's, it hasn't been too hard. I've gotten back into back into the swing of reading for long periods of time. Uh, the first few streams were really tough, um, but yeah, it's all right. Like I look forward to playing this um, on stream days. I really enjoy this game. I think it's great. Dolores Day could be a reference to Dorothy Day, a 20th century Catholic social activist. No idea. I don't know enough about um, 20th century Catholic social activists <laughs> to say for sure. I think I might have heard that name before, though, Dor Dorothy Day. I thought Dolores Day sounded familiar. Incremental progress! Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Hi again. So, uh, how are things going? About the church, I checked it out. And he tenses up what happened. I talked to the crab man. Oh man, who is he? What what did you think? He seemed okay, to be honest. Very spiritual. He gave me this old, odd lecture about alcoholism before rambling on and on about mother's love. You were right. He's a true narcomaniac. And the way he climbs, it was terrifying. Number one. Really? Huh, interesting. What's he doing in the church? Just preaching and praying from the, from the looks of it. He clearly enjoys the physical activity. Guy climbs like a freak. There's something sinister going on under the building's roof. I think he's getting high or something. Number one. No matter, the paranoid young man mumbles gruffly. Is he going to be a problem? Yeah, Noid is right. Let's get back to the point. What are we going to do about him? Of course he's a problem. He's a crab man. He keeps he keeps himself physically active, thinks spiritual thoughts, and doesn't drink. Who am I to evict such a person? As far as I can tell, he's not going to leave. He'll climb around up there, and guys, you'll never catch him. <laughs> Actually, he told me he wouldn't mind the nightclub at all. I don't know, man. Doesn't feel like a major hin doesn't it feel like a major hindrance to you. He rubs his jaw. A spooky guy climbing around when all the guests are trying to have a nice, friendly hyper time. You're just going to have to live with the crab man. I guess it's not a massive problem now that I think of it. Everyone is welcome to dance till the morning light. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I guess we'll figure something out. Okay, but what about the other spooker, the one in Grandma's clothes? Did you see her? I was using I was using the mainframe when Suna, the formerly programmer of Fortress Accident, uh, appeared. That's the only way to talk about her. Okay, a programmer. That's odd. What was she like? Did you ask her about the nightclub? She did. She did not like the Anadic dance club idea. What a pity. That's my favorite thing in the world. He drops a hammer back into the into a toolbox, and she doesn't like it at all. A shame. He sighs. What can we do now? Do you see a way out of this jam and into a laser fit future of dance and unity? Unity, dance. She made it very clear that she won't leave until her own project is finished. And you can't just evict her? No, I won't evict her. We have to come up with a different solution. Look at you, honor man. No, Noid, he's right. Maybe we've approached it the wrong way after all. I'm sure there's a workaround. We can make a deal not to bother her. If that's okay with her, we only want to get in the church and spread the joy and ecstasy of music. The lines in the dark exist. <laughs> Coexist. At least Cryman seems like an advanced being. He's hard. He'll understand. Yeah, he can do his climbing thing in the tower. And the programmer, does she like Anadic dance music? She absolutely does not. Really, truly despises it. Egghead cannot believe what you just said. It makes him pump the jam. 
a little slower for a moment, and then he returns to the full swing of it. No worries, we'll figure it out. The man nods enthusiastically, then leans in and whispers, if coexisting fails, you can always muscle her out, right? If it's all okay with you, what do you think? Perhaps if you drop the drug lab, it might make it easier, easier to convince her. I refuse to throw her out, but I can try convincing her. He looks around in the tent. Aw oh, man, but the drug lab was like an integral part of, the, of getting the club going. For me, it was my favorite part. Chemistry is great. Besides, imagine all the drugs we could do if we had our own drug lab. I mean, anodic, anodic music is great and all, but drugs, they make you feel really good. When did you last feel really, really good? I don't have time to feel good. I'm a very busy officer of the law. Pull up, pull out that stick, lawman. You absolutely love drugs. They'll make you feel trans transcendent. I refuse to throw her out but I can try convincing her to proceed to the quest. He smiles wide like a replica of his friend with large head. Excellent. Good luck, my friend. That's it. Good boss. Really? Now we're going back? Wow, someone's been a, wow, so someone's been a little boring? What? Yes, my standard liege. Someone's seen all sorts of wild ideas pop off and thought, I'll take the boring one. The regular, please. The brown. I like brown. I like standards. Look, I'm trying to do my job. No need for extravagant extravagance. What is this? Picking on me for for not being crazy enough? That's the least of my concerns. No need to be defensive. The regularity and brownness, the cut and dry have their appeal, a very standard appeal. What? Of course you do. Let's let's get right to it. My lord's copotype is regular cop. I'll let everyone know. I'll send out a telefax. Wait, will this be my copotype now? Yes, the type of cop you are, sire. Think of it as a caste, a class even, a nation of regular law officials that you belong to. It comes, of course, with the usual benefits. Yeah, no need. Let's keep that announcement on on standby for now. Opt out. Good, good. Of course, to outright to outright declare yourself something does seem a bit too interesting now, doesn't it? I won't trouble you any further. I don't want to be regular cop. No way. Do you find it weird that you don't have a choice to arrest them anymore and they went back on their drug lab idea even though you threatened them? Yeah, it's a little off. Can we tell a seal that, um, that it wasn't a crab man? No. All right. Yes, what is it? What if I just force you to leave? I'm a police officer, you have to do what I say. What if you didn't have to leave? I talked to Andre, he wants to make it work. I don't want to make anything work, she replies, her expression unchanged. Hold on, you don't want to make anything work? Yes, anything, I don't want to make anything work. It's not the anodic, anodic dance music that's made her bitter, it's the failure of Fortress Accident. Are you bitter because your radio game project failed? That's right, something strange shines in her eyes. If we couldn't get our Welkins to happen, I don't want anything to happen ever again. There's a tr there's not a trace of irony in her voice. She means it. Convince her to cooperate with the ravers. 72%. What could go wrong? Easy. When her research is done, she can move out. Listen, about your research, you mentioned earlier that it's not going very well. Maybe I can help with something. What? She looks up from her work, disoriented. No, I really don't. I, I don't really need help, any help with the project. But if you could help, but if I could help you finish the project, then you wouldn't have to live in a church next to the Boom Boom anymore. Just think about it. She thinks about it, a glassy look in her eyes. A gust of wind brings more snow in from the broken gallery. It, it touches her hair. All right, she finally says, blinking twice, bring me the game's off-site copy from my old workspace if you really want to help. It's stored on a filament memory and I'm unable to go and fetch it myself. We already have this. What is this off-site copy? It's a backup of my former employer's, co employer's project, the radio game we were working on. It's stored on a filament memory, just like the one inside this radio computer. She points to the glowing cube inside the machine. The backup itself is destroyed now, but I'm hoping to use what's left of it to pinpoint the exact location of the anomaly. You just have to go to my old workspace and get the filament. Hold on. If it's called an offsite copy, then why is it still on site? If it's called an offsite copy, then why is it still on site? Oh god, not this again. She takes a deep breath before letting it, letting it all out. It is not on site it is in the basement perfectly safe and not connected to the front at all basement sounds like it's technically still on site <laughs> and no taking it outside the building wouldn't have protected it from data loss there's nothing wrong with keeping the backup in the basement what happened was a freak accident that has nothing to do with how the backup was stored we clear she stares at you with pleading furious eyes this is clearly a painful topic for her she must have had to explain herself numerous times is this the filament you're looking for? No, that's the production schedule you stole on access without authorization. She's tapping the table in a badly concealed impatience. I don't need it. In his defense, it was simply lying in a desk drawer of an abandoned cubicle. Damn, Kim got our back. Kim is best boy. Kim is best boy. In his defense, it was simply lying. Okay, so if we had an emote for Kim, all right, what kind of expression could Kim do that, that people would use? 
I feel like we need we need an emote to commemorate the the Disco Elysium run. The usual one is it, it needs there needs to be some expression tied to most emotes I think for them to, to be successful. Unironically, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now nah, that then, then the weaves would win. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on, let me check. All right, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Um, how close are we to being to enabling it? Oh, uh, 997,540,000. No, no, we can't do that. Silent disappointment. By your old workspace, workspace. Do you mean the studio, Fortress Accent, and the Doom commercial area? Yeah, that's the that's the one. You can get in through the bookshop. You just have to do some explaining to the bookstore lady. Wait, bookstore lady, you mean Playsense? That's her name, I believe. Actually, I've already been inside the Doom commercial area. Good, then you might know the giant ice bear fridge in the building cellar. The filament is inside the fridge. Just go and get it. Where where we put the body? Where we put the corpse? And where exactly is the off-site copy in the giant ice bear fridge? Oh, no, I just... We put, a, we put a corpse in there. It is giant red, red glowing eyes. It's a possible miss. You just need to get the off-site copy from the ice bear. But you've been to the fridge and it wasn't there. There was a note saying... I found a note from the ice bear fridge. It said the off-site copy had been moved to a safer place. She freezes. Wait, a note from whom? Did it specify where they took the filament memory? It said the offsite copy had been taken to a nearby ice cream maker. The, no the note was si signed by someone named Susala. Sus Swazia. Sw Zvasisva? I don't know. Of course, she relaxes. Our project lead, Sulasla Zavasva. Oh my god, god. He always. He was always so hell bent on keeping the copy somewhere safe and feature creep, she mutters in <laughs> the Valley of the Heads. Oh, like it would have made a difference. The offsite copy was perfectly safe when the data loss happened. That data loss was anomalous. She crosses her arms defiantly. Kim Blind? Ooh, Kim Blind might work. And the heads, I won't even get into the heads. Millions of them. She stops. Go find that copy from the ice cream maker, will you? Thanks. I found the ice cream maker, but couldn't get it open. It's completely frozen. By the way, we put a dead body in that fridge. Wait, what? She looks up alarmed. Who's dead body? You know, we don't actually have to tell the entire world about the fridge, the lieutenant says, looking at you. Whose body is it? She demands again, staring at you first, then back at lieutenant. It's the body of the hanged man. And what is it doing in the fridge? It's almost as if she feels some sort of ownership with the fridge. Don't worry, I put it there temporarily. It's all part of the an official police investigation. You put it there. She leans back, massaging her eyelids. You put a dead body inside the ice bear fridge. Just wanted to, just wanted to let you know. Okay, she says, pressing her fingers into her into her eyebrow ridge. Very cool. Thanks for keeping me in the loop. You're welcome. We appreciate it if you kept this all to yourself, Miss. Who would I tell? My mother? She shakes her frizzy head. I don't have anyone to tell, and if I did, I wouldn't. I don't care. Why can't you go get the filament yourself? The bookstore lady hates me, so I'm part of the curse, whatever that means. Wait, are you part of the curse? Of course not. She crosses her arms. Anyway, I don't have my... Didn't deny the curse existence, though. Anyway, I don't have my keys anymore, and she won't let me in. Why does she think you're part of the curse? Because she's from Martinez, and people from Martinez have never, ever, have never, ever seen a radio computer. She thinks it emits elemental evil. That's a bit biased, don't you think? No, she stares at you with droopy eyes. She literally started praying for the higher powers when she first saw my REM Civic. I'm not making this up. Lieutenant coughs like he's amused. Once I came in one morning only to find that my terminal was full of those strange trinkets and amulets, wards, it looked like some seminine magic. All right, I found the ice cream maker but couldn't get it open. It's completely frozen. This is getting ridiculous. Can't you just defrost it? Or or I don't know. I don't know about, about the ice cream maker. Just figure something out. There's a solution, but she doesn't want to hand it over to you yet. It's a thing. It's something she holds dear. Okay. Thanks. She thinks for a moment, then reaches behind the radio computer and hands you what looks like an oversized pry bar. And here's my Kvalsund multi-tool. It might you might need it to hack loose some ice. It opens everything. If you get me the off-site copy, then you can keep the Kvalsund. It hurts a bit for her to say this. She's not too happy parting with the with the the Kvalsund. Nice. All right. Cool. Equip this to open locked containers in the world. Oh, we didn't have anything held this whole- Oh my god, it's huge! What the fuck? It's like a fucking surge weapon! Okay, so assuming 100 people are dedicated to the Ayaya cause, and assuming you return to the full schedule, it will take us a literal uh, 16 years to reach Ayaya. Damn. Good luck, weebs. Good luck. Sounds like you got some converting to do. People to the cause. I'm not gonna be streaming 16 years from now, so you gotta work on it, weebs. People are asleep for the night. The store's closed for a day. Time to put kids to sleep. Well, we have our Kraus thing. We can just rip it open. Oh, okay. Did I just miss something there? Yeah, okay. Sounds like life in the north. A washborn 
A washboard scrums filth from fabric. Sea breeze carries more than salt meat. Not rotten, f not fresh, grilled. What? Who's grilling meat? 70% done, 80% done. Really? I'm not close to the end? Oh, damn. Oh, no. Am I really? Oh, and is this... The, uh, I shouldn't say this. Is this the kind of game that just that just stops? Don't answer that. Just, he doesn't know. He doesn't know, he doesn't know, he doesn't know. What if we have both in our hands? Jean de Marie, you found me. The young man on the balcony gives you a bright smile before taking another drag from a cigarette. His slender figure is backlit by city lights, its distant streets and motorways flashing like diamonds. It feels like a Friday. He seems to be in a good mood tonight. We found a key hidden under stone. Was it yours? It was mine. My friends use it from time to time to visit me. As he looks at you, something sparkles in his eyes. So tell me, are you here to make things right again? That's what I'm aiming for, yes. Honestly, I'm just trying not to screw anything up. I'm not going to make things just right. I'm going to make them spectacular. Ignore his question. I was hoping to talk to a possible witness. Your balcony overlooks the murder scene. Then I have some good news for you. His eyes narrow. A nearby street lamp cast shadows on his chin, drawing out the slender cheekbones. My Sunday friend is visiting me tonight. I told him about you, and he'd like to say hello. Step in. He's already waiting. Nods toward... He nods towards door number 28. All right, I feel like... I feel like we're... This is, a, we're going to lose a kidney or something else. By the way, I'm really digging the view here. Point to the city skyline. Sure. Mm-hmm. That's why I chose this place. He looks away, his cigarette and glowing in the dark. Martinez is special, isn't it? Wait, suddenly you're digging things? Lieutenant whispers to you, shaking his head. Is it Friday tonight? It feels like a Friday. Yeah, it does feel like the end of the week. Such gentle weather. Why would I want to meet your friend? Trust me, you do. Very well, talk to him, but first I want to talk to you. I have so many questions. That's nice, but I don't have to tell, have anything to tell you. It's my friend you're looking for, not me. He takes another drag of his unfiltered cigarette and looks around. It's getting dark, and the neighboring windows have lit up one by one. Downstairs, a cat crosses the yard, disappearing into the bush. Besides, I've got to run. Run where? But I just found you again. Go if you must. I don't care. I don't care about people leaving me all the time. <laughs> run where? To the city. He gestures idly toward distant motorways. It's a beautiful night. A man on high heels stumbles out of a basement club, music blasting over the entire district. It's chilly, and as the chemicals hit his nervous system, a thousand shivers ripple through his body. Only if you promise that we'll talk again. It's important. Something flutters in your in the corner of the lieutenant's mouth as you're saying those words. We'll talk. The smoke the smoker assures you, brushing his hand through the, through the hair. Through the hair? Just not tonight. Take care, all right. Oh, wow, this is like a like a big deal. Take care, all right. All right. And he's gone again. Looks like it's becoming a theme for him. He's always leaving. Why is he always leaving, Kim? There's something so different about him that I just can't put my finger on. Who knows, detective? It's a mystery, he says, turning his face away from you. Something so different. Different, of course. His shirt. Why is his shirt always unbuttoned? He's such a good listener. I like talking to him. There's just something so mysterious about the way he talks and moves. He smells good. Why on earth does he smell good? Um, Harry? <laughs> his shirt. Lieutenant squints his eyes, trying to hold back laughter. His shirt. His shirt. He's trying to dive into a, into into the... Trying to dive deep into the mysteries of his shirt. His shirt. No, I don't think... I, I don't know. I don't know why his shirt is always unbuttoned. His mouth tightens as, as if to try to hold something back. Come on, detective. Let's go. We've got a potential witness to interview. His Sunday friend, remember? He nods at the apartment door before you. All right. So is Zyril the Axis Overlord or something here? Yeah, he, he self, self-proclaimed. He saw a vacuum of power and he claimed it. If you guys want to overthrow him, I'm okay with that. I'm not going to help, though. A quarterly business magazine. Governmental issues take me all over Ravishal, as you can see. Expensive men's perfume lingers in the air. An old photo of the same apartment, dated year 01. Buckets of paint on the, on the on the layer of old newspapers. Someone is always watching. Is that guy, like... Is he a prostitute? Dish is soaked up in a pot. An empty ashtray. Flyers for underground parties. Dates for... Open lectures at a locally for open lectures at a local university. An exquisite canopy bed made of metal. Cool. 
cool. Ooh. Ooh. I'm a policeman. You have acquired the robe. Keep it, officer. It looks good on you. My name is Charles Villedron. I am an official with the coalition government. I work for the Institute of Price Stability on assignment from Sir Leclerc. I heard you talking to my friend outside. Very good. Super. I'm here to assist you in any way possible. Ask me about the hanging. Hanging, what a drag. He seems like a cultured gentleman. You should ask him about the finer things. Point at the bed. Before we go on, I absolutely have to inquire about this wonderful canopy. Point to the silk robe. Before we get to that, tell me where you got this beautiful silk robe from. What's going on? What 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 happened to Harry? Show him the Samaritan hat. We'll get to that right after you tell me about the story behind this black Samaritan hat. Get, get down to business. All right. Oh, yes. My friend has a great eye for these things. He refuses to tell me where it came from. It's, um, it's a mystery. <laughs> I believe they call this type of frame industrial. It's very comfy. That's really all I can tell you about it. He forms a little rooftop with his fingers. Cold air sweeps in from the balcony. Lieutenant takes out his notebook and nods to you, uh, nods to you to proceed. Oh, that's all we got to ask? I thought we got to ask all of them. God damn it. You actually witnessed the lynching? I'm sorry to say I did, officer. The man gives a solemn nod. Turns to the lieutenant. This is just the break we've been looking for. Is it because you did it, Mr. <laughs> no, start from the beginning, if you don't mind. Officer, it's very difficult to describe what I saw that night. It was so surreal to me, like, like in a play. He holds out his hands and blossoms his fingers like a drama teacher setting the scene. Lieutenant is already scribbling down notes. What do you mean, like in a play? It was just so strange, I could barely comprehend what was happening. I was on the balcony when it happened, getting some fresh air. I remember that first that first they came in, carrying what looked like a body, and then I saw all the surrounding windows go dead one by one. That's when I understood I should not be seeing this. Sounds like the victim was unconscious, or at least incapacitated. Well done, detective. He nods to you. Who, who were they? Can you describe them? I couldn't see their faces well, and there were quite a few of them, but they were very loud and very martinet as he pauses, looking for the right wording. Let's just say that the laboring classes can get rather expressive with their profanities. How many of them were there? I couldn't tell you exactly. Less than ten, maybe eight? Lieutenant sends you a sharp look at the mention of that number. Were any of them huge, like 200 kilograms huge? Th that's a giant you're describing. No, they were all quite human, so as far as I could tell. Did any of them look like drummers? Drummers? Why, no, but then I don't know what a drummer is supposed to look like. I think we can drop the drummer angle. Lute <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant says impatiently, that was my bad. What happened next? I went back inside. Were you able to see anything from inside? Officer, the yard was pitch black. There was nothing to see, but I could still hear the vo the vo their voices. They were threatening to kill that poor man. <sighs> were they men, women? All men, I presume, but again, I couldn't see very clearly. What ethnicity were they? I believe they were mostly white, though I believe I saw two Areopagites -pag among them, and I'm quite certain that one spoke with a Mesca accent. What happened next? Well, that's the strangest part, officer. Nothing happened. It was an oddly quiet. F it was oddly quiet for a public lynching. What do you mean nothing happened? They lynched a guy. Eventually their shouts died down and that was all. There were no there were no gunshots, no celebratory shouts, no anything. But we know he was shot. Why didn't you call the RCM? Did we confirm that he was shot before he died? Like, I, I don't think it was 100% confirmed, but it's suspected, right? Why did you call the RCM? The man wipes his glasses. You're right, of course. That is what one is supposed to do in such circumstances. I was simply in shock. I'm afraid I don't have anything else to add. About what time was all this happening, approximately? All I can say is that it was late. So, let me get this straight. You didn't actually witness the hanging itself, did you? No, I didn't see the corpse until the following day. Well, that was a waste of time. Those are all my questions. Thanks for your help. Of course, anything I, can, anything I can do to assist the RCM. What's an official like you doing in Martinez? The coalition is only looking for out for the price stability. He raises an index finger. Inflation is a killer, like a heart disease blocking the normal circulation of the economy. It must be controlled. Sorry, I'm, I'm more of a communist, so I don't really understand the economy. The economy impacts the entire international community, which is why it requires international oversight. Okay, well, what are you doing here in this apartment? 
Ah, well, I'm renovating it. It is an interesting project. The building used to be a 12-story skyscraper before the cannons took the top four stories off. This, of course, happened when the coalition forces landed here. He smiles. You could say I'm undoing some of the material damage the international community caused when we arrived here. <laughs> so you're some kind of bureaucrat. Bureaucrat. Yes, as I said before, I'm a commissioner from Sir Le Clef, working for the Institute of Price Stability. He glances at his watch. This is one of the main projects of the moral intern. Wait, there isn't actually an Institute of Price Stability, is there? Or maybe there is. God, it's impossible to understand whether someone uh, from the moral intern is joking or not. This is true. What is this international community? La communitats... Communitats... Communit what the fuck? International is what the Revolutionians colloquially call the coalition. In other words, the nations that stop the disaster of the re revolution. What is the Price Stability? It is the most important thing that doesn't tell me anything. It's the central goal of any sound monetary policy. Maintaining zip price stability is essential to maintaining high I smell a thought to maintaining high levels of economic activity, which is essential for maintaining high levels of employment, which is essential for maintaining the social stability. Basically, it makes sure the price of bread doesn't change. Precise a month, too much inflation, bread becomes too expensive, too much deflation, it becomes too cheap for bakers to produce. That's why the Institute of Price Stability works to keep inflation just below 2%. Damn, below 2% of what? This is fascinating, I'll ask you something else. But not too far below, no. Too, too below is also bad. Below, but close to 2%. You're not answering my questions at all. What? The coalition believes in the importance of informing the public about the benefits of zip price stability. Transparency is one of our principles. Would you like an inf informational pamphlet? No, I'm good. Sure, give me a leaflet. A sound monetary policy is essential for addressing uncertainty. Stability is the raison d'etre of the moral intern. It's the reason why I identify as a moralist. Butchered that. He pats his pockets. Uh... But, oh, I don't have my leaflets on me today. Too bad. You can always call our information line. Making information available is part of the moral intern's commitment to transparency. I've heard about this moral intern before, but I want to know more. It's the International Organization for Moralists, hence Moralist International. The Institute of Price Stability is just one of, of, of its many mind babies, as is the coalition. Damn, where's Kojima? Turn to Kim. So when I said I was a thrall to foreign interests, what I should have said is that I'm more a moral intern bitch. Doing one's job doesn't automatically make any make one anyone's bitch. Besides, there are more nefarious powers to work for than the moral intern. Turn back to Thomas. Are you a moralist? Of course, but of course, but why? Because moralists believe in a normal, stable world governed by democrat de governed by democratic vo uh, values. Lieutenant, are you a moralist? Hmm, me, I, uh, I'm a lieutenant of the RCM dedicated to maintaining law and order at Ravishal. That was a no. A very moralist answer. The man nods. That was a no. Lieutenant is practiced in the art of putting on a show for one's superiors. But what is normal? What what is a normal, stable world? Is Kim a communist? Oh, the Ostinate is part of the normal world. Or orange. I can I can't remember how to say that. Say this. Orana. Orana. Not sure. Hmm. Sir Leclef. Martinez doesn't seem very normal or stable to me. Martinez. No, Martinez is something else. What about the rest of Revachal? Is it part of the normal world? Revachal is generally difficult. It's led by an inter interim government, which means it hasn't yet achieved full democracy. But they are working toward it. You're all doing very well here, relatively speaking. He gives you an approving nod. I don't think I'm a moralist. Moralism sounds incredibly boring. I want more action. Moralism is the ideology of foreign occupiers. Revachal must be governed by Revachalians. Democracy is a meaningless sham as long as the working class is under the boot heel of, of capital. <laughs> It's like every time I'm talking to people, I'm choosing option D. None of the above. Is that moralism? Is this option D usually the most reasonable answer? Yes, everything else is super extreme. Like it's it's like I'm living with a bunch of lunatics. Sounds like you're a moralist indeed, my friend. Welcome. Incremental progress. Moralism is all about compromise and achieving the achievable. It's pragmatic, realistic, and level-headed. An ideology for doers. Are you a doer, my friend? It looks to me like you are. How's it going, Lily Bell? Okay, sorry. Yeah? I was talking about baby food, and I'm like, oh shit, I was supposed to bring a drink. Okay. I look at the time, and I'm like, stream's going to be over. It's okay. So, have you forgiven me for becoming a Redditor yet? Why are you a Redditor? Last time I played Disco Elysium, my saves come, so I'm a Redditor now. I told you about it. You got really mad, remember? Oh, have you, yeah. Have you forgiven me? No. 
I'm still in the friend zone. Yeah. You hear that, my viewers? Milady has put me in the friend zone. La friend zone. Wait a minute, it's a place, you guys. <sighs> La woe is me. See if you can redeem yourself. Did you know that after 9-11, Steve Buscemi, uh, who was a firefighter, went back and uh, rejoined the force to help them at Ground Zero? I did not know that. Did you did you know that um, that when filming Lord of the Rings, Christopher Lee uh, had a scene where someone was stabbed, and Peter Jackson told him what to do, and Peter ja and Christopher Lee says that's not what someone sounds like when they get stabbed, and I know because I've heard someone die when they get stabbed, and it sounds like this instead. Did you know that? So you're just gonna spew all these random facts at me because you're a redditor? Is they're not right? random facts. They're redditor facts. Are they? Reposted weekly on a schedule. Okay. I'm not a Redditor, so I don't know any of this. Did you know that after sex, you have to you have to pee right away or else you might get a UTI? Redditors plan for this. If a Redditor ever has sex sometime in the future, you know, if it happens, red alert. As soon as they're done, they run to the bathroom and they immediately start pissing while calling into the room saying, Milady, you must pee as well after this because you will get a UTI if you don't pee after you have sex. Does the fedora stay on? Well, you, you just sit there and, dr and drink guzzle water while you're doing it, right? With the fedora on, because how else are you going to be able to pee on cue like that? What if you don't have to go right then and there? What if, what if you, you know, you don't have enough in your bladder, so? You got like, what, like a two liter bottle sitting beside the bed? Let challenge accepted. lack information but uh, I liked it like that I, I preferred it like that thank you for the drink oh you're welcome thank you for playing along you're welcome see you later you guys are you a moralist I'm living here probably not okay all right <laughs> moralism is all about compromise and achieving the achievable it's pragmatic realistic and level-headed and I ideology for doers are you a doer my friend it looks to me like you are not enough of this delightful political interlude was there anything else you wanted to ask i am drinking a sprite zero by the way normally whenever i stream i'm drinking i'm drinking this tea or water now and then i'll have a coke though tell me about sir the clef what's there to say sir the clef is a modern urbanized county country that measures very high on the human development and freedom index mostly though it's known as the ex ex executive heart of epis Epistes nuts. Moreover, it is a great sponsor of less emerged countries. Revachal is only one of its many darlings whose progress it supports and cherishes. Darlings? That can't be the, the unofficial designation. What makes Revachal Sir Leclef's darling? Because a great percentage of Revachal's culture hails from Sir Leclef. Its language, its people, its cuisine even, or at least in the downtown La Delta area. I can't imagine farmers in this world, by the way. Jamrock and other parts of the international zone have been mercifully spared of Sir Leclef's love for meatballs and mashed potatoes. Tell me of or Orania. Orania is an, an exemplary nation who, as a core member of EPIS, contributes 28% of our annual budget. Next to Sir Leclef, Orania is probably the most prominent member of the international community. Which one of them is more EPIS? As founding members, they are all they are, are they are both very epis. Oranya carries a lot of political weight, while Sir Leclef takes care of the business side of things. Sir Leclef hosts the headquarters of the major epis institutions. Okay, but outside of epis, what is Oranya? Oranya's economy is one of the most advanced in the world. It has successfully transitioned from heavy industry to advanced services, and generally acts as an engine for sustainable change in the international community. Yeah, it's it's always it's always a sign of of progress when you don't make anything anymore, and it's just about moving money around. But that didn't tell you anything about Oranya. Can't you just talk like a normal person? About what? About Aranya. Just tell me what it's like there. Oh, it's very urban and very well organized. Their streets are clean. Their house, their, their horse cars run on time. The people are polite and efficient. Like I said, they are an example for less emerged nations to follow. Hmm. Enough business. Let's talk about something else. Can you tell me about your friend? Ah, my friend. My friend is a good young man. His family immigrated from Kedra and life has not been easy for him. Immigrated here, sorry. Um... But he understands the importance of education. He has taken his future into his own hands, and that's all that matters. What's Kedra? Kedra is a candidate member of Epis, but between you and me, their potential membership is is a more contentious issue. What do you mean? 
that it's never going to happen. They entered negotiations in 21 and it's and it's been pending ever since. What this, what's this EPIS thing you keep talking about? EPIS is a very special program developed by the Moral Intern to support certain occidental nations. It began a unified system of weights and measures, which proved to be a wild success, nothing but kilograms and centimeters as far as the eye can see. God, yes, sweet standardization, the backbone of rationality and commerce. It was such a wild success that we expanded it into an economic union for the processing of steel, another success, and between you and me, the moral intern feels emboldened by the success, emboldened to take Epis to the next level. Okay, but like, what does it stand for? Why, it stands for the, for progress and stability, like the moral intern as a whole. No, what do the letters stand for? It's been such a wild, extraordinary success this far. We are very excited to take it to the next level. You don't even hear the words I'm saying, do you? A supranational political alliance, the United States of Occident. Is it going to be like this place here? You mean Reverend Shaw? No, it's going to be. It's going to have transparent democracy. Is Revishal going to be part of Epis? It's one day. It's. It is one day going to be a candidate member of Epis. Sure. <laughs> Uh, this game's great, except that candidate members never become full members, do they? Didn't you say that candidate members never become real members? No, no, candidate members do become members. Why do we even have the whole system in place if they don't? It just takes time, time and evaluation. But we were talking about my friend here, not politics. He chuckles gently. Uh, how did you two even become friends? How did any of us become friends? Bad things happening on the Insulidian Isola. Oil platforms ablaze in the night, civil wars lasting for years. Finally, the international community is forced to step in. What are you talking about? No one becomes friends that way. All contraire, damn, the German. It's how millions of people end up where they are, meeting the people they meet. It's how I came here, and my friend too. You still haven't told me who he is. Sorry, who? The man throws a quick glance at his watch. Your friend, the smoker on the balcony. We were just talking about him, but I told you, officer, he's a bright young man here to pursue his education. Education is the foundation of our future, especially the arts. It's a cornerstone of our civilization. Harry, I would like to murder this man. Can we do it? I would like to murder- Kim, Kim will do it, okay? Kim will do it. We're fucking role-playing as the guy from Katana Zero now, apparently. I would like to murder this man. Kim will be our accomplice. We'll put him in the fridge. Fine, what's his real name? Officer, you have to understand, I can't give you his personal information. I can't give you his personal information. I just read that twice. I'm having a stroke. I'm sure you have your own methods and databases, right? Please don't put me in this situation. So all you can tell me about him is that he's here to study the arts. He's deeply enmeshed, enmeshed in the study of, his fine, of, his, of the fine arts, yes. As though you weren't envious enough of the boy as is. <laughs> <laughs> Which arts? He's truly a, truly a free spirit. He likes all the arts. Perhaps graphic design, printmaking? Who knows? You certainly don't. The world is open wide for a talented youth like him. What are you doing in this apartment by yourself? I'm just enjoying the view. The man smiles, nodding to the window. What view? It's dark outside. Listen, he says, raising his hand. A baby is crying in the neighboring apartment. Waves crashing in the distance. The sound of the sea below the window. I can hear the waves. The Insulidian Bay. What about it? This place used to be a luxury accommodation before the revolution. Apartments, of course, were much bigger then. A few walls have been added here and there, leaving some of the tenants without a private bathroom or a kitchen. But the million real, real view stays. You can't take that away. He knocks on the balcony door, his face mirrored in the darkened glass. I was asking about your friend. My friend comes and goes. I'm sure you'll see him around. He's a busy bee. A busy bee. What an odd choice of words. I had something else in mind. I'm all yours, officer. Thanks, I got all I need. A moan, officer. Do you have everything you need from me? I'm afraid we won't have the chance to speak again once you leave. Hold on, why can't we talk later? It's against diplomatic best pra practices for an official in my position to be discussing murders with local militiamen, he pauses, and I'm pressed for time. After you leave, I should be leaving as well. That's not the real reason he's so apprehensive. Men in his position shouldn't be seen loitering around in underprivileged young men's apartments in the middle of the night. Hmm, I'm not going anywhere. I just want to take a look around this apartment. Sure, go ahead. It's a beautiful space. He glances at his watch. Let me know if you have any further questions. Kim, Kim, we gotta talk. Yes? We gotta talk. All right, I'm leaving now. Should we tell him? Maybe it'll progress something. Was there anything else? I don't think conclusions should be rushed at this point. Five Tiger Five has said, "I will, I will say on stream, your waifu is best girl." Give me the name, Five Five Tiger Five. Western animation. Oh my god. Oh, oh, holy shit. Holy shit. That. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Holy shit! Ah, uh, Western animation is best girl, and is the waifu of Five Tiger Five. Damn! How will weebs ever recover? How will they ever recover? By the way, um, where's the dad joke calendar? 
We haven't done that, right? What was the last one we did? My mom bought me a cheap dictionary for my birthday. I couldn't find the words to thank her. Did I did I skip over some days by accident or something? How did we do this one already? Maybe we skipped ahead by accident. Why did the clown wear loud socks so his feet wouldn't fall asleep? <sighs> my mom bought me a cheap dictionary for my birthday. I couldn't find the words to thank her. I'm pretty sure we said that one already, didn't we? Or maybe it's it's it, there's these are in the the dad joke books. Did you guys see Stephen King's dad joke on Twitter? Stephen King said um, he wanted to start making honey, so he he went to the store and bought a dozen bees, but they gave him thirteen, and he said I only wanted a dozen, and then the storekeeper said Don't worry, that's a freebie. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, let's open this um, what you call it. The fridge. Communism jokes aren't funny unless everyone gets it. Exactly, Ralph Clogs. Exactly. Can you open that door aside? No, we tried. We can't do it. It's still... What? It's still... Wait, is it because we have both equipped? Wow. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Holy shit, it doesn't even matter. Wow. All right, so we need to get physical instrument up. Whoops, wrong ones. Do we have physical instrument gloves? I thought for sure we have physical instrument gloves. Maybe I'm getting mix mixed up with interfacing gloves. Okay, is our physical instrument yeah, okay, well that's it. Alright, we just we look ridiculous. Alright. Eight percent. Nice. Ice squeaks beneath your Caval Sun multi-tool, but your fingers slip away from the tool, the lid shut as tightly as before. It's already unplugged. There's not much else to do other than wait for the defrost or bulk up to get stronger. Okay, so if we wait longer, will it will it defrost? Alright, that's it. We can't we can never try this again. Alright. Never ever again we can ever try this again. How do we level up our phys our physique? Oh shit, we have we have this one going right now. Fuck. Oh well. Oh whoops! Shit. Sorry, my finger slipped. My finger slipped. My finger slipped. Alright. I'll come back when the thought is done. I'll try again. We did it, Reddit. Hey, did you guys know there's a really good song from this the the, the Smash Indie hit movie Drive? It's called Night Call. Have you heard it? It's a really good song. You should check it out. No one else has heard of this song before. I heard it though, and I'm, I'm suggesting it to you. It's a really great song. Pause the thought. I don't know how that works. You can pause the thought. If you can just pause the thought, what's the point of them then? I'll just wait for it to be done. I'll just wait. It's fine. I feel like the litany of contact mic should make it so you, um,. You leveled up your physique, unlock more physique stuff. This thought takes 20 hours to complete. Yeah, so we'll come back when we're done. Something to look forward to. All right, so are there any checks that we haven't we haven't gone gone back and looked at in a while? Volition, we can go and try Volition with Classia. Suggestion with Lillian. After after Kim goes to bed, right? We could go do that. Let's go try Volition with Classia. She's made around four months pay of payments on for this room. Wow, that's a lot of real. Holy shit, where's she getting all this real from? I wish there were fewer loading screens. I understand why, but at the same time, it's not, it's not the best. Okay, so we want volition, right? <laughs> oh my god, we're wearing the clothes that he, that that her ex lover was wearing for to do this check. Fucking great. Okay, so Volition, that's as high as we're getting it. All right, we look ridiculous. Okay, and just to double check that we didn't unlock it before, I don't think we did. I was just thinking what a nice evening it is for taking part in a murder investigation. Damn, just like the last time, like brown eyes look back at you. All is as it was, you feel a you feel cigarette fume rise from her lips. She's just as beautiful. 
Don't worry, we will protect you from her beauty. We will consult you through the reefs and sounds of her persona. We will see through deceits. You are shielded, you are wise. You are advised, there are muscles on long white bones that line her limbs just below the silver jumpsuit. Avert your eyes. That's such a cool interaction. All right, level of volition. Try again. I was just thinking what a nice evening it is. 42%. For taking part in a murder investigation. Soft, light brown eyes look back at you, directly into the space behind your eye sockets. You see the smoke rise from between her painted red lips. She's beautiful. I have bad news for you. What? You know these guys? Who, me? Yes, you. He's talking about you, you boring stiff. You too. Me? What did I do? I'm merely a master thespian. These guys are compromised. She's got them singing along to her tune. The little bleeps and bloops you trust for info. You can't trust them anywhere. Uh, anymore. Oh my god. Believe it. Which ones are effect exactly are affected? How did this happen? Does this mean she's been lying to me? What is her plan? I've been talking to myself long enough. Let's get back to it. Which ones are affected? There's no way of knowing. At the moment, I'm afraid it's best to assume all of them. Bullshit, man. I ain't compromised. Especially that guy. That guy's the most comp compromised one here. Electrochemistry. No fucking way, man. I just want to drag her that sweet menthol's siggy. Really? Quick, tell me what's under her jumpsuit. Glory, truth, softness, protector. She wants. <laughs> I took it back. He's got it pretty bad, but this guy's this this next guy's on another level entirely. She likes you. The crown head is a, is a boring condom. He's jealous. This is human nature. How did this happen? How it always does through subtlety. There's nothing you can do about it. You are how you are how you are, and she is how she is. Things will go as they go. Can't you turn the normal again? No. What use is this then? It's better to know you're being played than to be played without knowing it, is it not? Does this mean she's been lying to me? Yes, Mr. Thespian here has been singing pans to how truthful she is. She isseth a lady a lady will spare you. <laughs> Drama is a redditor. Milady, in his defense, to reduce him to such inadequacy, she probably had to employ half truths more often than outright lies. That is correct. And omissions, too. Can I trust that guy? A little. They're all still of limited use, interpreting things to the best of their ability. Maybe they add flair or something? I wouldn't know. I don't add flair. But when it comes to assessments of character and factual accuracy, they are not to be trusted. Not with her. Can I trust any of them ever again? Don't be melodramatic. You can trust them, just not with her. Challenging success. A light green speck and imperfection on the outer rim of her right iris. It sparkles. <laughs> what is her plan? You can't draw a sound conclusion. The one who usually does says... She may not want to control the information. Sorry, she may want to control the information rollout, not to become a suspect. She may have a past she's escaping, unrelated to this case. You doubt it's something truly insidious. See, it's oddly moderate, probably compromised. <laughs> this is fucking great. I've been talking to myself long enough. Let's get back to it. Don't worry, it's only been four or five seconds. You've got this. Say out loud, Miss, are you ma manipulating me? Don't say anything. Just close your eyes and let the moment pass. Oh, do we do we go for it? Do we go for it? The silence broken. She exhales a little cloud of smoke and says, God, no. Not my favorite topic. Why was there a bullet in, in, in his head? Bullet. There's a silence. He, Her brows meet in the middle for a pain frown. They shot him too? I'm not picking up any theater craft here, sir. The pause is sincere. I can't trust you, drama. Can't trust you. You fed fedoring, wearing, Cheeto-loving Redditor weeb. I can't trust you. They stripped his clothes and they shot him. You mean after they hanged him? I'm confused. Sorry. So am I. Were you aware that he had also been shot, miss? Things are starting to go a little over my head here. I thought he was hanged. I was not present when they did it. I don't know what happened. I just know what they told me. And Sylvie, the bartender. This is beginning to get confusing for you, too. And we don't like that. Where was she last Sunday night? Where were you when this happened? Cowering. I was cowering downstairs with Sylvie. That's it? Thank you. Huh. I just pulled a dryer lint sheet out of my pants well my fingers feel fresh and smell fresh now wow all right cool i didn't know that was there <laughs> overreaction the ultimate comedy did you think that was overreacting I, I didn't think that sorry i try not to overreact to things
and thank you Zorgrox for 100 bits. When when I did that, I think I had some more in introductions by my thoughts. I think you got someone unlucky with that. Haha, <laughs> really cool moment though. Oh really? Oh, that would have been good. Maybe if they had been more leveled up or something, or maybe some of them are too high level. I'm not sure. You don't have to share these things. So it's just it's just a stream of consciousness on these streams, man. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so if they're if they're white, that means we can't we can't do it again, right? Or did did we find out that it's composure interfacing? Remember that time we almost got a sandwich? We almost got a sandwich. The these are the white fun white checks. Those on white are real. Okay, the ones on white it just says they're right at the bottom. I thought we tried this and it turned out that it wasn't like that though. Like how can we try the ice cream maker again? Oh, because we, we reloaded it like the fucking Redditor that we are. Sorry, my bad. I kinda wanna try to stop the expression from happening. Okay, we didn't we didn't um pay for the room. Talk to size. I don't want to. I don't want him to know that we know he's a liar. But if there's no way, other way to to um progress the investigation, then okay, then I will. But yeah, can we sing our karaoke again? Ah, uh, the smallest church in San Sian, right? The cafeteria manager is waiting for you to rec acknowledge that he recognized the song. Yeah, the church is actually my past. Oh yeah, we didn't talk to people. The church is actually my past. The church is actually my life. The church is actually my love. Things are really bad with it. I fucking rocked that shit. It was all right. He's, he doesn't sound like he thinks you rocked it. So, dude, it might, I might start letting people up there again. Okay. Did you trust everything? You're, did you drop Boy, everything? Boy, am I ever so grateful to you, officer. <laughs> okay, can we can we wash the jacket in here? No. Wait, which performance is It's great to see you again, officer. The, uh, My wife can't wait to thank you. Lizard, oh, Lizard Blaine. Lizard Blaine. Oh, sweetie. I don't even know how to thank you for finding my husband and helping him out. I hope we haven't been too much trouble for you. Just doing my job, ma'am. It was a truly epic long distance trek. It was on my way. It was just on my way while I was working on the case. I'm basically also a cryptozoologist now, number three. Here, I want to give you a small token of my gratitude. She hands you a thin ribbon held together by a silver bird skull. It's a tie, mesca in origin, and the pin is an antique, quite special. The little silvery knob holding the tie together feels warm in your hand. It's in the shape of an avian skull with eight eyes. Cool. You could ask her about this when you get the time. It's probably a cryptid, but the phasmid, of course, is more important. Okay, so can we talk to you now and say, hey, we checked your traps? Haha, <laughs> nothing like the gratitude of a good woman. Now then, what can I do for you? He gives you a gruff pat on the shoulder. He tries to play it cool or remain professional, but inside this, this man is itching for some news on those traps. So I checked all the traps. Good, okay, he breaks his calm and... And one of them was empty. Completely empty? The cryptozoologist's eyes grow wide. Yes, there was nothing in the trap. No locusts, no phasmid. No locusts, but no phasmid either. That's not ideal, but he rubs his chin. The old woman's face lights up. It just means the insulidian phasmid is even more clever than we thought. She's engaging in a well-known self-deception called motivated reasoning. You should correct them. Of course, the detective whispers to himself, more clever. Yes, the fa fan phantasmodia picked off the locusts and escaped. This is good news, though we'll have to reconsider the design of the traps, make them more secure. His companion sighs, another trip to the reeds. Yes, that's exactly what it is. What a deft hunter, this phasmid. It's not very scientific to, re to reason backward from a conclusion you want to be true. Humph, I appreciate your concern, officer, but please leave this to the experts, unless you have an alternative hypothesis you'd like to venture. Actually, no, his tone changes. Excuse me for getting emotional, this is a big deal for us. You've helped us twice now and brought some great news to my gratitude and the gratitude of the Society Cryptozoologique de Revachol is yours. Heartfelt gra gratitude, but does it feel like closure? What really happened? Thank you, it's an honor, he says with a straight face and turns to you. We should probably return to our main investigation here. This is this has been refreshing, but helping cryptozoologists isn't really a priority for our organization, is it? Lieutenant looks out the window impatiently. Damn it, Lieutenant. Have you no intellectual curiosity? Develop an alternative theory about the missing locusts. Insulted moral. When did we insult moral? What was that? That was interfacing, right? I'm pretty sure it was interfacing. By the way, what's up with the Yusuke overlay overlay uh, profile pic? I dig it. Uh, Q2 has has done this. I think every single stream. I don't think Q2's missed a single one. Um, to to replace uh, the the uh, the original one for our art cop run. I don't know how Q2 has done it, but yeah, like they're gorgeous. 
there's so many of them when we're over the run we'll, we'll put them all on the screen and we'll we'll do a we'll do a vote to see which one is the best one just for fun but they're all fantastic inland empire and volition damn nice Ah, fuck it. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna, I can just level up again afterwards. Hello. Lena and I were just discussing the design we'll of a new win. trap. Consider the way the empty trap was disturbed as, as though shaken. Most likely the hands of a young person, hands small on the fin side of the trap, too. You should ask the red headed boy, Kuno. I think a little hooligan called Kuno may have stolen the locusts. A little hooligan, but what would a child want with bugs? A woman, a, a shadow of worry passes over the woman's face. Oh, my dear Moral, you've been an old man for too long. Kids love to torment insects almost as much as they love to torment old folks. I'll talk to the little gremlin and see if anything comes up. Delinquent's my favorite. It doesn't sound like he, it's really his favorite. Oh, you've been such a dear to us. Please let us know whatever you turn... Let us know whatever you turn up. I have a feeling we're getting so close. The man turns to his companions. Well, I see you got all the help you need. I'll see you tonight at my place. Let's play Suzranti, but no more field trips for me. After, the, after this... After this is your last chance to talk to Gary. Oh no, really Gary? The woman's voice is a little shaky suddenly. We're getting somewhere here. I'd love to play Suzerainty, but Lena, I'm sorry, but you're not getting anywhere. There was some kids. I know the little mutants around here. Leave anything out in the open and they'll steal it. Even if it's bugs, he looks at his tea. Moral, it's been fun, really. But I need a bath and, a, and I have deliveries to handle. When this tea is done, I gotta run. No, no, no need to apologize, Gary. You've been more than helpful. I'll have to take a rain check on that game with Suzerainty today, though. We're gonna follow this through. I'll get going. All right, Gary. Gary. Very generous of you to help us out, officer. I'm sure glad to be back from that little excursion. I mean, officers. I was gonna talk to Titus, but he's not yes. here. Darn. Oh well, I guess I can't do it, chat. Ori, Will and the Wisps has gone gold. Fuck yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm not stealing the from the knickknack stand. Um, I don't remember where this is. Maybe because it's late now. Okay, we can go and... Um, novelty Dice Maker with Shivers. We can go back there and try that when we go back for the for the um, the ice cream thing, the ice cream freezer. Uh, so I think we're gonna we're gonna say goodnight and then we're gonna go and try and hit on Lillian. But what are our tasks? What else do we have to do? Call Alice back in the day for owner from the armor's armor's owner. Snow covers the white and on blue police livery of the livery of the motor carriage. The white colors are nearly melt together. Wait, why am I why am I even thinking about this? Was I supposed to do something important, something murder related? There's always something important. Doesn't mean you can't take a moment to admire this piece of machinery. This is a Cooper's Kinema, the Cooper's Motor Corps follow up follow up to their highly successful workhorse. Cooper's 40 and the answer to the LUM's Racing Bread February series? With its air-cooled rear-mounted 12-cylinder compression ignition engine driving the rear wheels through a four-speed manual gearbox, the Kinema is able to reach 100 km per hour in 13.5 seconds and go on a top speed of 180 km an hour. Really? It doesn't look like you could do that. Won't it roll over on the first sharp corner? The high center of balance is offset by a large battery bank mounted at the bottom of the cabin, feeding all the auxiliary systems and making the Kinema effectively a mobile power plant. This tech talk is really rubbing me the right way here. Due to a steep, quite a steep price tag, it is very unusual to see one in police library. That machine really puts the loco back in locomotion, point to the vehicle. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Lieutenant smiles ever so slightly. He wants to take a closer look. What's it packing there? Oh no, we're going to break it. A fine machine, run your hand over the smooth metal surface. What's it pack in there? 130. 
an advancement of the key r 18 gu engine of the cooper's 40 to be precise it must be an advancement of the <laughs> yeah you know it the lieutenant seems surprised just the basics cast iron block swerve chamber injection dual chains driving overhead camshafts two valves per cylinder hydraulic valve lash adjustment uh, yes, that's right. He stares at you in surprise. I am very impressed that you know these things. A fine machine. Run your hand over the smooth metal surface. Yes, there's gentleness in the lieutenant's voice as his eyes run over the vehicle's contours. An extraordinary machine. Helium headlights would improve the range and quality of the visual field a lot. Ever thought about switching to helium headlights? Actually, I have a pair at home. I just haven't got, gotten around to fitting them yet. I need to lay some wiring to, for, for the ballasts first. So if we ever get this case solved, maybe we can do it together? You want to help? He glances at you and smiles. Thank you for the offer. That might be fun. Let's do the case first, though, all right? Oh, man, we got a date with Kim later. He liked the idea. Oh, damn. Hey, Volition, when, you, when are you going to tell us that we can't trust everyone when we're talking to Kim? We're too emotional. We've been compromised. We've been Kimpromised. Still no word, I'm afraid. I must be frustrating. Was anything else going on? Oh, he still doesn't know. God damn it. Kim, you should go to bed. I'm going I'm going to bed and you're going to have to walk all the way back by yourself. What if something happens to you? Good night, Kim. Send him away for the night. It's getting late and it's snowing. Time to call it a day. Good night, officer. We'll meet in front of the shack in the morning. Enter the shack. Electrochemistry impossible. Attempt to stop the expression from happening. Shaved, know the origin, standard world eye. Electrochemistry. I'm sorry I haven't got these memorized. There's no way I can remember all the, all the different clothes. I think this is going to be, uh, we have to get double six this year to do this. Oh, it's up to 8% now. Close. Close. So close. Thank you, Assistant Weeby, for the 5 sub. Wait, I refreshed the page and I can do this again. Lol. Hey, Joe, enable. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. It came through eventually. I'm glad it fixed itself, Assistant Weeby. No, yeah, yeah. Oh no, no. All right. So what do you what do you want? You the want are beginning to die down. suggestion? Bastard she needs to go bastards. on a date with another drunk badly. Simmer down. Simmer down, bastard. Okay, so we want suggestion. That's minus one suggestion. It's hard mode. How badly do we want this date, chat? Do we have any suggestion? Bonus from thoughts. Oh, shit. You're a Redditor? <laughs> We're Redditors trying to get a date, chat. Here we go. 3%. Damn. Alcohol makes closeness possible. Let's connect. Alcohol, connect. I'm not sure I'm following you. There's confusion in your eyes. Get hammered with me on a date. Drunk date. It'll be nice, I promise. She bursts out laughing. That's a good impression. You really cracked me up, officer. Now how can I help you? She doesn't even understand you asked her out. Maybe perhaps you're too sober to pull it off right now. Try again later. 
All right, let's get suggestion. Um, how many points do we have? Six. I don't want to spend all of our points on this. Let's see if it gets easier. If it doesn't get easier after a couple, then we're gonna stop. The waves are beginning to die down. Look at those little bastards. Simmer down. Simmer down, <laughs> bastard. Since the dawn of mankind, Al Ghul has watched over the reprocreation of our species. Lay with me. Let's celebrate the goal. Now there's a whole shipment of big words. She looks at you from head to toe. May mankind, may mankind be plentiful. I guess. Can I get back to my nets now? She doesn't understand. You have minus two from from uh, from Dotsy, I know. The waves are beginning to die. Oh, now it's at eight percent. Look at those little bastards. <sighs> Simmer down. Simmer down, bastards. I want to be close to you, and there's, n but there's, and there's but one way to intimacy. Eh? She looks. She looks confused. What? Drunk date. Tap on your throat. All we need is booze. The rest will follow. Funny, funny sailor joke. She nods without smiling. Sorry if I'm not laughing out loud, but the comedy has worn thin over the years. Great. Now you're reminded of her husband. God damn it. All right. I think we're done. I don't think we're going to put more points into this. Remove the thought? Nah. What thought is it anyway? It's Wompty Dompty Dom Center. We're not removing the fucking Wompty Dompty Dom Center. Fuck that. This is the best one. The best one. There's no one better than this. Okay, are there are there any other checks we can do right now that we haven't done? We can go barred door. I thought for sure there was one other thing that we could talk to somebody when we were, uh, when Kim wasn't around. Let's just look closer to chair, humming, continuing her chores, so she just quietly humps herself. The buzz of electrolytes blends together with the slow rumble of the ocean waves at night. There's a gap where the name of that song should be. You should ask her about it right now. You're still up? Yes, I can't really sleep anymore. Only a few hours a night it happens when you grow older. She sloshes the water in the bucket around for a bit. My suggestion is don't. Don't grow any older than you already are. That's old enough. She smiles. What's troubling your mind? What's the song you're humming? A lullaby my mother used to sing. I sang it to my kids too. It's an old Samaran children's song. What's it called? Surrender to the night, she replies, slowly rocking back and forth. That's kind of grim for a children's song, even if it is a lullaby. Sounds nice. Yes, yeah, she nods. It does. I found that jacket I was looking for, but it's filthy. Could you wash it for me? I can wash it for you. She's just look, looking at the looking the jacket over, but it's going to take about half an hour. I think you can stay put for that long. Hell yeah, yeah, I'll wait. Well, I'll hand it over then, and I'll see what I can do. Damn, this this old lady's so nice. Must say, I'm proud of this one. She nods, handing the jacket back to you. It's pretty nice underneath all that filth. I hope you take better care of it than its last owner. Does it give a suggestion? No. Pain threshold and half light. Okay, we're gonna give it back. Because that's what honest art cop would do. Tequila sunset. Okay, here's your jacket, fresh washed. My jacket? Yeah, the one you had me clean the seagull shit off of. He looks. A look of consternation crosses the man's face. He looks at you, then his bottle, then back at you. What the fuck are you talking about, tequila? What the fuck are you talking about? Rosemary, what the fuck is Tequila talking about? Aye, that's the jacket you stole two weeks ago from the kid who was making it with his gal on the beach. That's disgusting. I've never done anything like that in my life. You're both delusional, he scoffs. Fallen? That's medium concept stuff. It becomes abundantly clear to you how this man managed to lose his keys, business, friends, and girlfriend. So I'm, I'm calling it. It's neurological. Your loss. I'm keeping the jacket for myself. I went through some dark shit to get this for you. Take the fucking jacket. <laughs> you know what? Fine, maybe I can pawn it for some booze. I right, good thinking. All right, there we go. Ooh, all right, so
Is Kuno still out there? I don't think so. Let's go see if Kuno's there. I don't want to waste the time. Hope we don't like run into Kim on the way back. That would be awkward. Quite a bit of money, 100 real, nice. Oh, he's here. Hey, Kuno. Did you steal some locusts? Kuno saw your wheel backhand! Sweet graffito action, pig! Kuno likes that delinquent shit! Yeah, you like art, Kuno? Papa's bad to the bone, Kuno. Rotten to the core. Thank you, Kuno. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you like art, Kuno? Fuck no. Art's shit. He takes a step back. Write in an imaginary notebook. Got it. Art's shit. That's right, pig. He looks pleased. Shit. Empathy. Figure out what's going on with this kid. <sighs> Fuck. You wouldn't have to know anything about any missing locusts. No, Kuno doesn't give a fuck about bugs, so he knows locusts are bugs. Oh my god, the little one seems distraught. I told you that shit is lame. Shut up, C. Now they're gonna take you to lame prison. She sounds like she's about to cry out of disappointment at Kuno's newfound lame lameness. What's this about? Deny everything, Kuno. You need to lawyer up. Kuno's not gonna say anything without his lawyer present. <laughs> Okay, what's, who's your lawyer? There's definitely something going on here. Remember his pig's head shack? You should check it out. I don't remember his pig's head shack. What? I want to discuss the body with you again. What about, where's the rest of his armor? Besides his, his queer ass, I got that. Kuno doesn't give a shit about the armor. How come? That fuck gimp had one thing majorly wrong with him. He's a fucking mutant. A mutant? Do you remember how he looked? Fucking growth hormone shit. He's a giant. The armor's too big for any man. He drills his temples with his fingers in some strange, aggressive gesture. Kuno doesn't give a shit about that freak armor. Kuno threw that shit away. What do you mean threw it away? Kuno tried to get the helmet on. It was too big. He performs a kickoff on the imaginary helmet. Kuno kicked that shit in the sea, rugby style. That sh that shit means nothing to Kuno. You threw it in the sea? Yeah, that, that shit means nothing to Kuno, he repeats. Kuno doesn't give a, give a shit about material shit. Kuno's a fucking monk. You want to fuck on someone about that armor? Go fuck that m the mustache union fuck. Fuck, the jolly troubadour shit at the gates. Who do you mean troubadour? Yeah, cock and boots. You know, that jolly union cow fucker came around talking about cows or some shit. Came around pretending like he cares about cows. Yes, you met him in the gates. The one with the boots and the jolly smile. You mean Manana? Yeah, he's the one you want to talk to. He's fucking crazy about that, ar about that armor shit. Come in here, pretending... He, like, he likes cows trying to catch a peep at Kuno's armor. Curious, my liege. Why did Kuno feed you this information? And you're just telling me this out of your kindness of your heart, Kuno? Yeah, Kuno's doing charity today. Kuno's day. Kuno feels sorry for you, loser pig. Kuno's doing pity now. Still seems suspicious. He may have had, had it in for that guy. Or you may be paranoid. That is also a possibility, sire. Do you know who he was? Kuno's fuck gimp. He picks up a rock. Kuno uses the fuck gimp for target practice. He's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. I meant who he was he was before he died. Kuno knows what you meant. Kuno's not a snitch, that's all. He tries he shakes his head clearly offended, trying to make Kuno sing into the popo phone. <laughs> Do you know how he got up there? Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. So you didn't see it happening? You heard Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachal. He puffed himself up. Kuno wasn't regional. The city's too large for him to have left, but he wasn't here either. So where was he? You didn't really leave the city. Where were you? Told you, pig bacon. Kuno doesn't do regional. Kuno's been... Been to places you wouldn't dream of. Fucking Mesca, or I don't know, some other place. Night City. Kuno was in fucking Night City. There is no Night City anywhere. That sounds like the name of a city in some pulp science fiction novel. That's a fictional city name. Night City doesn't exist. Why you gotta be riding Kuno's ass? You haven't been where Kuno's been. You haven't been in Kuno's head. 
You want to know where Kuno was? You want to know what Kuno's been fucking up to? Don't tell him that, Kuno. It's lame. It's not fucking lame. Kuno's building Kuno City, Night City, Rage City, the City of Rage. That's it. And it's not lame. Lame? That's the name of Kuno City, bitch. Get the fuck off Kuno's back. This shit ain't about that. It's impossible to deduce what it is about, at least for the moment. If it's important, it'll come up later. Focus on the case. Have you seen anyone suspicious around? Just a lone pig trying to sugar talk some kids. That's That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Yeah, you tell that Figari Kuno? Looks like you're a Figari now, whatever that means. The suspicious question doesn't really work in, an, in antagonistic situations. There are contusions all over his body. Did you do that? Fuck you, fuck you talking about. What is this... Can't, can't shit, shit. <laughs> you guys' head like it's suddenly hurting. He says you're stupid, Kuno. They want to make you stupid again. A contusion is a bruise. I'm talking about the marks your stones left on the corpse. Oh, did Kuno make your shit sniffing harder? Obstruction of shit sniffing? He lets go of his head, suddenly feeling better. This is Kuno's kingdom. Kuno fucking rules here. More on this later, sure. You're testing Kuno's patience here. Get lost, Foglet. I have more questions about the crime scene. Kuno, I found your shot. Oh, okay. You found Kuno's secret door to Kuno's secret shack. It was closed for 5,000 years. How the fuck did you get in? I pushed the panels aside, Kuno. And then what? You fucking there? You fucking Kuno's kingdom? He's trying to fuck... He's trying... He's trying a fuck you again, Kuno. What was with the pig head? Oh, that? He picks up a bit of dirt from his fingernail. Kuno decapitates pigs. That's just a Kuno demo tape. Were you trying to send a message of some sort? Demo tape, like some kind of musician? Cool pig head. I liked it. I got one too. This one. Point to your head. It's... Sh <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, he looks confused. What is this shit? Fucking on yourself? This is a this is a weird level shit. Kuno doesn't go there. Fuck your shit back to normal. What is this? Well played. No one saw that coming. I found a plate covered with powder residue. Know anything about it? That's where Kuno gets his daily hit of electric. Kuno Shazam. Kuno rides the fucking lightning in there, pig. Bet you'd like to ride lightning too, wouldn't you? You feel tired and old, but you couldn't have that sparkle in your eyes. What's with the tube of ma magne magnesium? Magnesium? Kuno? It's a vitamin pig. Don't you know anything? He looks at you like you just pointed at the sun and asked what it was. You could use some. It's magnesium, right? Yeah, it's it's the mag. You fucking need that shit to stay on top of your game. Kuno goes through like a tube a day, rips mag like a motherfucker. You could use a barrel. <laughs> Don't teach him, Kuno. He's going to use it against you, Kuno. I know all about magnesium. I rock it all the time. He looks at you, eyes bulging. You're not getting this pig. It's, it completely takes away the hangover. It's like you didn't do anything. Like you stayed home playing with your choo-choo. Fuck you, pig. Don't do mag. You're gonna OD and you're gonna fucking die. I've heard enough of this. All right. I really don't like Kuno. Kuno, let's talk about your shack again. I've heard enough about this. All right. More questions about the crime scene. The ladder, ever climb it, points a ladder on the tree. Look at that fucking shit. He screeches. You trying to get Kuno killed? So you would say that ladder is unclimbable? Fuck this Kuno now. Kuno's not a fucking acrobat. It's a trap, Kuno. Don't climb it, Kuno. What's in the greenhouse over there? He don't know. He shrugs. Kipped ass gardener used to work there. Kipped is a prog pejorative term used to describe people of South Seminese or Areopagite descent. It used to be a common first name among the Areopagites or Pagites of Il Ilimara? Not so much anymore. Hold on, the gardener used to work there? Yeah, that's what Kuno said. She couldn't handle the heat, so she took off. Kuno can take it. He fills his lungs with rancid air. His eyes get a little watery. Shit's nothing to Kuno. The gardener, she's actually not a gardener. Turns out she's a u union fixer. The fuck this has to do with the, with the Kuno? Kuno doesn't give a shit about who she is. Alright, let's try empathy. 17%. Where were you when we were trying to get a date with, with, with Lily? What the hell? What the hell? It's not Kuno. It's Kuno Essi. Interesting. How? Kuno Essi is by far the worst of the two. Kuno has no problem being near you, but the other hides behind the fence, afraid of her life, like she's done something, something very bad. She came up with that psychopathic scheme of screaming for help before. Kuno just wanted to talk to you about his name. Kuno Essi was the one who wound up wound him up and directed him. All in all, Kuno respects madness. You cannot help to, uh, to outdo her on that front. You must win yourself a few minutes with him alone. Act on it. Try and separate them. Kuno, ps What the, fu the fuck are you whispering about? He whispers back. He's whispering too. He's going with it, but watch what happens. Fuck you, Foglets, whisper- Fuck you, Foglets, whispering about. 
She puts extra stress onto that word, expecting it will make you uncomfortable. If Kuno wants to whisper, he's going to fucking whisper, okay? He turns back to you and hunkers down. Let's whisper, pig. This is it. You've got him, but be careful. You can f still fuck this up. Don't make Kuno look bad in this. Kuno, listen to me. She's trying to control you. we got to get you out of here. What's up with her? She's terrifying. Crazy scary. Phew. I'm glad she's out of our hair. She's fucked up. Hmm. Okay, one or two. Seems like two is the winner. All right, two. What's up with her? She's terrifying. Crazy scary. Crazy, he whispers tensely. You don't know the half of it. She's not crazy. She's insane. Dangerous. She smoked a man. She's done people in. Probably even pigs. Stop talking to him, Kuno. I'm fucking warning you. You're going to get us in, into shit. She understands what you're trying to do. Yo, see, he pops his head up. Did Kuno not tell you? Kuno told you. Kuno talks to whoever he wants. He hunches down again. Talk, pig. Kuno's got it under control. You did it. You did it. They're separated. He's even turned his back to her so she can't read his lips. What do you mean she smoked someone? You think she has anything to do with the dead man? You said she's an... If she's the killer... <laughs> Uh, what do you mean she smoked someone? Kuno means she killed someone. That's that's right. He's a killer. He stares at you intently like actually a killer. His little green eyes are fixed on yours. He's meant everything he said before, but right now he not only means it, he's, he is sincere. Really? Isn't she too small to overpower someone? Are you getting this? You think I'm fucking telling you a joke here? How hard do you think it, it is to kill a fat ass? He pokes you in the gut. Sweet talk him, then knife him. She pro she's probably killed a pig too. I mean, I'm pretty sure she has. Okay, how many cops did she kill then? Forget Kuno said that. Kuno was just shitting. Kuno was just running his mouth. Kuno's stupid like that. He feels eyes on the back of his head and stops. A cop would be too large for her to overpower, but a determined child of her size can still kill the vulnerable, the elderly, the homeless, or other children. I wish Kim was here. The creature peers at you both from over the fence. There's something searching in her eyes. Kuno, do you think it's possible that she's killed other children? Kuno falls silent. He does not look at you when he replies. Kuno, uh... That's that's what Kuno is starting to think, yeah. You think she, she, has, she has anything to do with the dead man? Yeah, she would like to fuck him up, but she didn't. Kuno wasn't around, and C was with Kuno. Where were you? Look, Kuno's going to put you at ease. We didn't do it. He speaks the truth, my leash. You think she's insane? Yeah, she's psycho. He leans in even closer. None of that ki none of that kitty psycho cat burning shit. She does the real deal. What's the real deal? Snuff radio shit. Believe me, pig. You don't want to know. And he doesn't want to even think about it. This, is, this isn't just another boast. What's that language she uses? Napa Kimpi Fagari. Fuck no. She says it's the song of her people or some shit. What people? Crazy people. The fucking Nakes? I don't know. Sounds boreal. Like something from the tundra. And Taiga covered Katla Isola. <sighs> far, far away from here. As far as possible, really. Do they have red-haired people there? You mean evil little red-haired people like her? Yes, they do. The Suris have the, that ginger gene. Kuno, could she be Suri's? Suri's? Suri's, like the man, that man from Hemdal shit. The kid lights up. She could be. She could be that Hemdal shit. Revachal does have a small Suri's Sur community, or she climbed in a yakberry crate and was shipped over accidentally. Is she your sister? Fuck no, she's not my sister. She's just a stray who got in like a mad dog or some shit. Stray? Yeah, she was just there. He points to the apartment building behind the fence. What was that, Kuno? The little one twists her neck. Sorry, twists her neck looking at the building. Kuno flinches and lowers his voice even more. She was in the hallway dripping wet by the fucking shoe rack in the dark. A shoe cupboard just off to the right. Have you been to this place? That hallway there with the janitor's closet? Yeah, that's the place. She was just balled up near the closet, psycho style. Why was she dripping wet? Kuno's got no fucking idea. Her hair was all wet. I think she's she pissed on the floor too. She was there for three days in the corner every time Kuno went out. You said she got in. How? I don't know. Someone left the door open. Kuno comes home and she's sleeping under the desk under a pile of clothes like a dog. What about your parents? Wow, baby's really upset. Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit. Doesn't even see her there or think or thinks it's fucking Kuno. He points at himself. Shit's all on Kuno. Kuno. Kuno S. Two of a kind. Why is she called Kuno S then? Because she fucking looks like Kuno. You don't know her name? No one knows her name. Kuno told you that shit was... the shit was Psycho Killer. How are you dealing with all this? How's Kuno dealing? How's Kuno dealing? Kuno's dealing just fine. He doesn't need you fucking with any of it. C doesn't either. Kuno's got this shit under control. He spits through the gap in his front teeth. She needs professional help. You can't do this alone. You need backup. I'm here for you. Okay, kid. Okay, he's not gonna accept professional... Well, maybe he will, actually. One is harder, two is more neutral, three is eh. I kind of want to go two. 
Listen, listen, he points to his eyes, then yours. C is is Kuno's go-to. Kuno's protecting her. You fuck with C, you fuck with Kuno. You threaten her, you threaten to take her away. This is what it all comes down to. He needs you to take him seriously now. The boy looks you in the eye. Black pupils trying to focus. I'm going to kill you. I'll run... I'll run when you put the cuffs on her, sneak up on you later and fuck you up, you understand? Understood, Kuno. I can respect that. Who are you kidding, kid? You can't take down a man several times your size. You'll end up dead yourself. I can respect that. All right, he wipes the sweat off his brow. Now we can do business. Business? Yeah. What do you want? Kuno could hook you up with... He starts no longer He starts no longer whispering. Don't hook him up with that shit, Kuno. See, relax. He respects the Kuno. Kuno made him respect the Kuno. You respect the Kuno, he turns back to you. You get all kinds of shit. Kuno is going to gonna get you hooked on illegal narcotics if you run a little errand for the kuno get you get you hooked pig get you hook get his hook in you then kuno gonna get you hooking for more cash in big style pig hooker pig hooker that's right kuno's a candy store for pigs now get ready to be rewarded he concludes spreading his hands like a baker presenting a selection of freshly baked pastries what was that about running you an errand and illegal narcotics kuno Kuno got, gets it from his dad. Kuno and his dad are major suppliers. His eyes bulge. Their veins reach out like tree branches. That's where Kuno gets his lightning on. Problem is, Kuno and his dad had little falling out. Now junkies clawing at Kuno's door. Streets going mad. Kuno's got to throw his dirty popo man at it. Okay, okay. Hmm, this is very interesting. Okay, okay. Dirty popo man is you. He nods at the building behind him. In there is Kuno's violent dad on steroids. Kuno's dad does steroids and speed. If you can take him, you can have half the speed. Who is your dad, Kuno? Kuno's dad Kuno's dad is a fucking monster, he says proudly. He's the most violent man in Revishal. He doesn't give a shit about a single thing. He drinks too. Are you sure you can take the most violent man in Revishal in your condition? Don't expect to t talk this one down. There are some situations your mouth can't get you out of. You won't sweet talk your way around this man. Good thing this psycho drug boss is strictly optional. <laughs> How much fuel are we talking about? Like half, he says very confidently. Half of what? A baggie. But like in this vial. That's half a gram, sir. Half a gram? Yeah, the con the confidence is unwavering. Half a G. Want it or not? But that's not very much material at all. Fuck you talking about. Half a G? This shit is giant. Grade A shit. So clean you can barely see it. You can barely see it because there's barely any. I made up my mind, Kuno, and this is what's going to happen. Okay, Kuno's listening. I'm going I'm going in there, all guns blazing, to get that speed, because I need it. I'm going in there, but not for the speed. I'm going after the most violent man in Revishal. I'm going in there for justice. I'm a narc, Kuno. I'm going to confiscate that crap. I'm going in there for justice. I'm a narc, Kuno. I'm going to confiscate that crap. Lie, you need the speed. <laughs> Two. Sure, whatever. If you survive, make sure you bring that shit back to Kuno. Kuno's almost out. You wouldn't like the Kuno when he's out. Just... Get in the apartment building. Kuno knows you've already fucked your way in. Kuno knows everything. He aggressively points at his eyes. Go to room 12, first floor, and kick down the door. Police violence style, Kuno style. And then it's action time. You're locked in the room with violent fuckhead. That's it, he concludes. Next time Kuno sees you, you better have his shit. All right, Kuno doesn't fucking care. All right, I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for Kim. Kim has to be with us for that. Has to be. Sound of melting snow dripping off the roof. It's strange. It's crawling with locusts in here. All around you, the hisses and trips of locusts fill the musky air. The earthen floor of the shack has been shaped into mounds of mud dotted with, lo with little holes for windows. Like skyscrapers, spires of dirt and sand rising, accommodations for their insectoid inhabitants. Sounds like you found the locust detective. What is this? Heaps of leaves are rotting among the mud cake towers. Dozens of little locusts feed on them, buzzing away with vicious joy. Kuno has really outdone himself here. It's an ode to self-expression. It's the work of a self-taught visionary. I should go and ask him to stop then. Finish thought. <laughs> You're missing a show before. A gift came by completely fucked a tree to pieces. He fucked the tree up. Fucked it good. It was porno. If you want to shut him down, you need to act decisively. It's Kuno. Use Kuno words. Stop using the K word. It belongs in the past. Total retards use language like that. Congratulations, Kuno. You just made yourself a retard. What the fuck? Oh, oh yeah, kids, not approvingly, but does, but don't you mean desert gifts? Holy shit. This is all superficial, kids. The race mystery runs deeper than you could uh, could ever understand. I wish I could. Okay, so I think number two is it because that's the Kuno word, right? Like, that's not, one's not going to work, three is just encouraging, four is no way, and five, I'm going to.
Uh, stop choking Kuno. The Fagari's got you in a chokehold. Kuno's not fucking choking. He grabs his throat like he's choking. Choked you out there. Serves you right for using reactionary shit. All right, all right. Simmer down. I think we all learned learned out lesson one. Like, fuck you did. He lets go of his throat. Kuno's going to keep saying kip forever now. Kipped, kipped, ki he cough. He only gets two kips out before he coughs. Shit. The fuck did you want anyway? You got your, your fuck bag down. Now let's talk normal shit. Oh, you want to have a normal conversation? Yes, yes. Kuno wants a normal conversation. He even sounds a little plaintive now. Ask normal shit, please. I know you took the locusts from the traps the crypto cryptozoologist set up. Yeah, he says slowly, meeting your gaze with sullen defiance. Kuno took the bug. So what? So it wasn't the phasmid. A wave of disappointment washes over you. I was really hoping it would be the reed phasmid that ate the locusts, not you, Kuno. You say you don't give a fuck about bugs and you go and build a whole bug town. It's not bug town. It's the city of locusts, he says, enunciating every syllable. Locusts aren't just bug shit. They come out of the sky like the fucking like a fucking shadow. Shit descends. Stop, she wails from behind the fence, then buries her face in her hands. Locusts coming down like a shadow. This must be the night city he mentioned when you asked him where he's been. Point to the shack. So, so that in there is night city. Yeah, locust city, city of rage, city of lights. There's a tug of war over the name for his fantastical city. It's almost too big for his imagination. The girl forces herself to watch again, the corners of her eyes twitching from discomfort. City of Rage sounds like a cool place. What are you, some kind of artist now? Whatever, kids, I just want to ask. City of Rage. Kuno the pig wants to help you, she moans. That's how lame it is. Please just don't say you're an artist. He, push he pushes his chest out. Maybe I am an artist. You hear that, everyone? I'm a fucking artist now. Oh, man, Art Kuno. He's, he's picked his Kuno type. Did he just say I? Kuno usually calls Kuno Kuno. Hold on, did I hear you say, hear you right? You said I, nod. Making art is a worthy calling. I'm something of an artist myself. Oh my god, Kuno, he's gonna totally he's gonna make you totally lame in like three seconds. Don't let him, Kuno. Yo, fuck you, see. Kuno can be what Kuno wants to be. Kuno's his own man. Kuno's free. He tears at the buttons of his shirt, trying to rip them open. They don't give way. Kuno made himself into Kuno. Kuno can make himself into anything. Kuno can make himself into a pig if he wants. Kuno can make himself into a foglet. Is that too many asterisks? Kuno doesn't give a shit. Don't make yourself into a pig, Kuno. You'll have to take me away. A leaden silence fills the yard. In it, you hear snow melting, dripping from e from the eaves, someone closing a window. So that's what this so that's what this is about. The girl depends on on the choices you make. That depends on the choices you make, young girl. Me and Kuno have discussed this. I promise I won't do anything. Without a word, she disappears entirely behind the fence. For once, the boy's lost for words. He's turned completely red now, with splotches of white beginning to appear across his face. You you got him. Now convince him to leave the cryptozoologist traps alone. I need you to stop taking locusts from the, from the traps. The cryptozoologists are trying to find something very important. Those locusts are bait. I have to ask, what does the city of locusts mean? What's going to happen to the locusts? I don't give a shit. I don't need the locusts anyway. Shit is all lame now. He turns toward the fence. He was right. The girl's face appears again above the fence just long enough to make eye contact with Kuno. She doesn't know whether to be glad because Kuno is finally convinced of the lameness or more worried because of his continued use of first person singular. Kuno is Kuno, not I. I have to ask, what does the city of locusts mean? It doesn't it don't mean anything. It's shit. Kuno just likes to focus with the locusts. Kuno likes to concentrate on shit, build shit when he's zipping hard. Fuck, he turns his face up to the heavens. Pig, he says, finally lowering his gaze to meet yours. You really shouldn't have fucked with Kuno City. Now it's all fucking lame. What's going to happen to the locusts? Kuno's going to let the, let the fucking locusts die. Okay, that's settled. I better be off. The fuck are they trying to catch anyway? He asks before you leave with the traps. The Insuludian Phasmid, huh? He mutters to himself. He recognizes the name. Wait, you know what the Insuludian Phasmid is? Bitches think Kuno doesn't know shit. He says angrily, the fuck out of here. Kuno's tired of this shit. There's silence between the two children. They're not saying anything to each other, nor looking at in each other's direction. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, all right. So that's it for me, guys. So tomorrow we're gonna it's double Ayaya or double Monocoin day. Uh, so tomorrow's stream is probably gonna be a little bit disruptive. Uh, I'm not gonna do the the final tally until the end of the stream. I'm I'm not going to um I'm not gonna like like individually take it down. We'll just add it up at the end. There will be a ten thousand cash in for tomorrow as a special occasion. Um, and that's it. Yeah, I think so. Thank you very much. I will see you guys tomorrow.
And uh, maybe we'll finish this Golisium this week. I think it's possible. I feel like no. I feel like we're going to have another week of this, but we'll see. Maybe we'll finish it this week. But yeah, see you guys later. Have a good one.